Welcome everybody to the Millions Super High Roller Series here in Sochi. We are about to bring you the final table coverage of event number four here, the $50,000 No Limit Hold'em event. And of course, James Dempsey joined once again by my man, Jeff Gross. And Jeff, what a final table we have. Look who's in second place, our man. He just loves the final tables. Holy shit. What a, what a week he's having here. Yeah, Aaron, he's mixing it in the short deck and he's here in his preferred Hold'em. Both Greenway brothers on the final as well. Artur makes another appearance. Obviously, we saw Viktor Manoski mixing it up yesterday, but Makita Patsyakowski is the man out in front at the moment, chasing that $765,000 payday for first. Yeah, we were just saying it's uh, he's been quiet. Been, it's early, though. He's getting warmed up. And also, look at Kerry Katz. Also known as El Jefe, Do doesn't even get a mention. It's just yeah, like, all right, yeah, final table, <laughs> standard deal. Well, that's where he lives. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's wild, man. He's, I'm telling you, don't don't sleep on Kerry. A couple Russians in the mix here. Yeah, Alto returning. So yeah, in small line, right? is M Makita? He's Belarusian. That's part. It's near Russia. Is it, it is, actually yeah. part I of? Think it used speak to be Russian as well. Okay. Obviously, yeah. Uh, back in the day, should we say it was a. Uh, how much is it? Without wanting to tread on too many political toes, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But both Remo's made it through. Fire, no. Nice to see. But this man, Aaron Van Blagram, back on the final table. Having quite the week so far. Couple of big hands for Jeff, hold them. We see this man obviously at in front as the chip leader, but there's there's no runaway lead like we've seen in the finals thus far. He has what, 1.5 million. Aaron with 1.25. Oh, you know, two other players above a million. Luke Greenwood just below a million. In fact, basically two short stacks in uh, Victor and Sam Greenwood. Everyone else very comfortable. Yeah, this is Makita's wheel spinning. He's got the chip lead. One of those hands. Those hands that you know it's a really good squeeze kind of bluff hand and I think think he might go for it 280 it does indeed the wheels spinning you saw him thinking right he was uh yeah he was up to some ill ill intentions here and uh if you are Luke this is an uncomfortable spot although you are the shortest you still don't you know you can right, ladder you're, you're you shortest of these but you're, you're, you've got two short you're fifth of seven Right, kind of like the shortest of the the medium. Yeah, you're in the bottom of the pack, and the payouts are big. That's that's a good point. Not the actual choice, but you're you're yeah. you basically don't want to risk at a final table. Uh, you know, you don't you don't want to be the first at risk, and in this spot, he's actually but, in a pretty good. Right, is this slightly easier spot with Aaron peeling? We saw Aaron yesterday, not one to three bet quite as much. He's, he seems to be uh, keener on peeling these open spree. Does does that perhaps just incentivize this? Make it uh, sensitize yeah. this for Makita just too much. That Lucas yeah, and, and has you know, to go you, with this. And again, guys in a s small field, a lot of interaction with each other. So I'm sure there's something the brothers probably talked about, right? They probably, uh, the Greener brothers were right. discussing some stuff, and that might be something that comes up. Hey, right. you know, be careful. He Aaron flats a lot. And so if he's aware of that, but, you know, great play here. It's going to work just based on we know how Aaron plays. Yeah. Um, and, and not to blame him there, right? It's a tough spot. You right. don't want to go, that's especially his stack. He doesn't want to just get it in with ace jack right that's purely makita leveraging that ICM maybe. situation hundred twelve thousand dollars guaranteed yeah if you just get to fourth you double up exactly your payout so my thoughts exactly makita putting the pressure on him yeah, real close one. And, and jeff i don't care uh, these guys gto all this there's something about first hand on the final table you wake up <laughs> you're just getting settled in the seat yeah. you raise it do i want to go bust in the first hand i don't know I agreed absolutely agreed you got your brother there yeah. you guys are thinking maybe heads up this could be one for the probably told the family to fire yeah, up back come home. check up the stream for <laughs> sure you shove ace queen first hand the guys just got kings and you're out you're like oh yeah maybe that was a bad mistake yeah and then here he is now with another nice hand although it is uh under the gun queen jack suited he's getting in a vulnerable state but you know what he's gonna stick to his charts and he's gonna say you know what this is a it's a pretty looking hand gonna get some credit as well queen jack suited you know you could get some get some slightly better hands to probably fold to this this open yeah and a little bit harder to get through but this time even though it's uh just two blinds fewer than the last open it just gets closer and closer doesn't it when you when yeah. you start looking at 20 big blind opens yeah absolutely three bets uh, a lot harder 
I'm big mine, so you can just leave it. He takes it down. Look at that. Right back. Didn't have to. It's too long and gets to pick up a pot. Next level would be fun. Really no harm done there after, you know, you raise full and you yeah, raise take hands. down, it's yeah. basically good, good. That's, uh, that's put down POS. Lost two blinds, one two and a half blinds. In profit for the day. Game. He's on, yeah, it's going well. Ace Queen also, he might know that hand just ah, is, uh, he's been watching. Yeah, he know, he's, he's, he's knows been watching. He's heard what Jeff be says. Same. It's likely not going to be here. And you've I've not been wrong, Jeff. So you've not been wrong. Smaller. I've actually made some adjustments with Ace Queen too. I, I just... I really don't go for thin value, and I just kind of like play it as like uh, you know, <laughs> like really, just don't try to put a lot of chips in with it. Wow, it's a new new deal. So you need to people stay in the game. Nobody makes sense though. It does if you really think about it. Why it's not so good, you know? Even like king queen makes, especially in short deck. Oh yeah, in short deck, sure. And this is one everyone knows how to play. Yeah, but still sim. I mean, ace king on the button folded too. Great. You're feeling really good, but same time, just like a spot where somehow if you get in with... Well, this is going in, isn't it? Oh, wow. Victor with uh, King Queen and only eight blinds in the small blind against the button raise. I mean, he's not loving it because he knows he doesn't really have follow-up with T, but he came into the day knowing that with 300k. And he's going to find himself in pretty poor shape. Looks like it. Victor, so... <coughs> He's king, healthy favorite, but as we know. It's nice to see Jeff as well, as you mentioned earlier. Arto rushing at one of our final tables. It's been a very trite and feel to it. We are here in Sochi. There are some Russians in the field, I promise you. Jack, Jack, Deuce. Slimmest of backdoor draws appearing for Victor, but really just looking for that queen. Not to be on the seven. And there's an ace, so good game. But Jeff, you come in as the shortest stack. Probably, uh, so we didn't get to see the bubble last night, but guessing he was very happy when the bubble burst, holding just eight blinds. Yeah, big swing. It's nice to get that and, and six the min cash, cash. Sizable, 112,550k blinds. We're talking over two blinds for yeah. min cash. Yeah, it's big, nice. Big, big difference to uh, obviously the, the, the unlucky few who finished near the money. And just before we came on air, Jeff, I was sort of pointing out to you that. Uh, our man Jason Coon was was close to the money again last night, having a getting bashed up a little bit in the tournament so far here. But as we're saying, it's still early and the buy-ins are going up. Yeah, no, it's it is. It's still still time, but it's one of those things. After you get you get early in the week becomes middle of the week, comes late in the week, and then the 250 <laughs> comes. You know, and it's uh, if then here's Aaron, his third final table, and, and maybe in as many events or three or four. Three and four, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, it's something. pretty strong. Here he is under the gun, six and now, ace five of diamonds. Surveying the situation. Now, Makita, ace eight off. See, you can tell, he knows, he's, he does have a, he, the stacks are fairly close, but he does have a lead. And you know, this is a player he may want to put some pressure on just based on what he's seen or known. Um, but ace eight off, you know, it's, uh, it's just one of those hands, like it's a little wild, right? It's a right? little too too crazy, and also Aaron is under the gun. Right, we got to we got to show some respect. Yeah. Sam in the big blind being the shortest <coughs> stack. Those are big swings. <coughs> Gets that through. Rays get it through. If it would have, you know, Makita was thinking of three betting. It looks like not flatting that hand. It's actually third in chips. Sitting really healthy. Get one as well. Thank you. Actually, noticing you know who's not here is a domino. Adam, Adamo, Adamo. Yeah. yeah, he yeah. was big stacked, and he looks like he finished a couple out. But yeah, well, I was, I was mentioning Jason Coon finishing in ninth, Defender but he was uh, he was sandwiched by the two Aussies. Kale well, Burns I was the bubble boy, and uh, Michael Adamo big. was out in tenth. Yeah. So. Yep. What happened late last night? You will need to defend. Some, some action. People were firing. If the first one's an ace, um. I will. <laughs> yeah, well, the jam's oh, gonna get through. Sucks. Four deuce offsuit. You're gonna win. I'm not defending. With this world. 
My post one was nice. Yeah. What was your second one? Three? Eight. Oh. I'd have been in trouble because if the other one was an ace, ace four. Four was the first one. Bad shape. He was very happy. I love him big blind ante when you don't, like you just post the blinds and then seal the blinds and then <clears> you <throat> do like you break even for the orbit. But to be fair, it's gonna be the same if you, if you ever everyone posts twenty. You also if you steal it yeah. once and then you have everything else, it's same. Yeah, but the, well, no, it wouldn't be here because now it would. Okay. Look, yeah. Right. <laughs> I would have missed his ante when I shoved the small blind. <coughs> Alright, Alto in the hijack, popping it up. Carrie is going to look down on a pair of queens. <laughs> so, Carrie has a decision here. Does he want to kind of trap ish, or is he going to just three bet? I went to the stacks, how many blinds he's got. Yeah, just under 30 bigs. Yeah, so, I mean, this is obviously about as good as it gets in this spot, especially late position raise, so. Sticking about. I, I I'm about to say, Jeff. I really hope it goes for this route because I I think the perception of the other players of Carry will be that he doesn't have that many three bet bluffs from the big line, and so he has to play these spots perhaps a little different. And he's done just that. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Really important to be aware of your table image, and I, I think you're exactly right. I'm sure, he could raise. He's going to take it down almost always there. Maybe find the guy with jacks or tens, or you know, getting a flip ace king, but. It's uh, I I agree. I like this. In a nice spot here. Check calling. King four five. Interesting to lead. I I, I kind of like that. I guess he's just uh, saying he has more fives. Right. There's flush draws. Also his opponent. You know, it's like. Carries line. Was it lead lead sixty six? <laughs> Uh, also, you know, having queens on a king high board in that spot's not the worst thing, too, because it's really unlikely your opponent has a strong king. It's like you're right. saying, as he really gets ace king in that spot, and then from there, it's like, well, he doesn't have king queen. I have two queens. If he has king jack, he's not going to be able to really attack me there, and I have more five, so I, th I, I like that. The price, though, you know, if his opponent somehow has a flush draw, he's going to give him decent odds, but other than that, you know, again, interesting played hand, and I think we get it. It's nice to get to see a little bit of uh, the whole cards of Kerry Cat. See how he kind of maneuvers some of his stack sizes, situations, finds himself at another final table, and definitely has some uh, tricks in his arsenal. Kerry, stick to the plan. I am. Tight is right. You know me. Yes. Tight is right. Stick to the plan. Makita says, I know, you know, I know what well, you know that we know. <laughs> and uh, he's telling Carrie, don't get out of line here. It's definitely a hand Makita could elect to get out of line with, right? Ping deuce off. Doesn't play too well post. You have a blocker to some of those yeah. three raises. You have to muscle me or Makita. Carrie goading him. He's going to do it. He's going to get what he asked for. Makita, with this hand selection, I believe will pop carry with a weak king. It's just, a, it's just a good hand to do it, you know? And he only three exit, but again, the, the chips being the way they are, Jeff, doesn't have to go as big as you might usually. He's the chip leader, carries it in that pack. You've got Greenwood knocking around with ten big blinds. All these guys are going to keep a little eye on what happens. With Sam Greenman, I should say. Of course, both Greenwoods on the final. In fact, look at that. We separated them, Jeff. We gave them a little bit of room to breathe. They're still pretty close. They can fist pound at any point. I mean, uh, they separate the rest of the table. It's like uh, we've got the Greenwood oh, yeah. end, and then <laughs> yeah. we've got the ever everybody yeah, else that's end. That's true.
Carry cats, tier one. Nice to have button folds to you, ace king <coughs> suited. And Makita has got the about the worst hand you can have in Hold'em. Artur has got a defending hand. I like he limped it in the Ace King because he's, uh, again, the perception that Makita's going to punish him. And it's so nice to have this stronger hand when he limps in. Fortunately for him, it's going to backfire a little bit. He decides to bet Queen 9 3. A couple of hops. A ball that I guess Jeff, a lot of his limping range does, does yeah. help. Yeah. Yep, and Arthur. Interesting when you get called here, does check it back. And he's going to have a. Arthur has to like to see that check on the turn because he was kind of in no man's land. I mean, right. again, it's gonna, he's going to have queen tens, queen jacks, all those kind of things, better nines, nine ten, jack nine. It's a scary board, but with the eight nine. Got to feel pretty good, and he's actually going to... Right, especially with that river. All right, Deuce of spades, and kind of a balk bet here. 50k, knows it goes check, a check nine? a lot. I guess he doesn't expect carry to bluff too like often. So bet small and carries right oh, on it. I this All right, I got to pay it off. He does pay him off, because, you know, carries away. Also has a lot of draws there as well himself. I thought for sure it sounded, looked like a nine. Raised. Thought that was coming. Yeah, I mean, to to be fair, it really, in that particular scenario, too, Kerry loses about the same because he's going to min raise, he's going to get called. Maybe C bets gets called, but it's it kind of works out the same. And to your, you're right, he, Makita may attack that limp thinking, oh, it is like a queen jack or jack 10, and yeah. You know, so, I like Carrie's plan there. Yeah, it's nice. Carrie's limp there. Then these guys know that he's capable of limping his king there. Yep. It can't be uh, quite as punishing on his limps. It may not uh, have the benefit today. <coughs> the guys now know he's capable of doing this kind of stuff. Then in, in future tournaments, they're going to be like, hang on a second. I saw him limp his king in this same spot last time. Got to be careful. Yes. It's, uh, it's yeah. Sam, Damn. nine bigs under the gun. A7 off suit. Wrong one. It's one of those ones, you just kind of got to do it. You don't <laughs> yeah. like it. Not a nice one, but it is one. I think you were safe. Yeah. And also, you know, you just got to jam into your brother's big blind, right? It's Get true. one over him. I really love today. I was brother's at war yesterday. Hmm. Can't call him with war high. Uh, you guys were like just pounding each other yesterday. I'm two for two, I guess, on... Uh, I had the exact same hand I would have had last night. Yeah. No, one, no one could ever mm -hmm. accuse you guys of colluding. Too much uh, after yesterday's bloodbath. And uh, in Jeju... They just, they just probably doubled each other up like three, four times. In, in Jeju in August, I ran like a big bluff against Sam where I shoved the toe in with a uh, queen 10 on K Jack 7-6 king, two flush draws, and Sam had like 7-5 flush draw on called. Like bottom pair or middle pair flash draw, and someone in the comments was like, "Oh, they were like colluding and dumping in the chips," and I was like, "Yeah, like I wish I was colluding." <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I, I hate losing. Yeah, I that, hate winning. That, that was my way of colluding by like yeah. busting like two of the money. <laughs> <laughs> so I see a question in the chat asking if this is a rebroadcast or live right now. We are. Coming to you live today from Sochi Casino. Of course, we are I'm Jeff on a, about a 45 minute delay ourselves. But this event is today. You are watching Too early. some current high stakes That's poker. <laughs> Akita has a very high winning percentage in 50Ks. This favorite yeah. tournament I have. <coughs> Brandon, didn't you win? Back to back 250s, something like that. I was first and second. Yeah. So second. But yeah, as well, long second as and a 250 is like it. winning any other tournament. I'll take it. Yeah. As long Sam as it's okay and it's on poker go, then yeah. Jack nine, Art are gonna stab Ace King five.
Do you know much about Artur or no? Uh, not, a, not a lot, just, uh, I, I mean, if you look at his Hender mob, it's uh, pretty sparse, and, but I, uh, our Russian counterparts did mention, mention in the other day to say that that doesn't quite tell the whole story. There's some, perhaps some caches are on there for whatever reason, oh, when okay. I speculate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, there are enough. sometimes people don't want their results published. Yeah, it's know? true. So, uh, you know, you can't, you can't always take everything on there as gospel. Also, with those kind of things, you never know. These these guys grind cash games. True. Not often they want to play tournaments, only if they're big enough. And we saw even a uh, true tally yesterday, didn't we? Finally jumped in the 50k, and then he was asked, "How come you didn't play the 25k's?" <laughs> and Carrie said, "Was it was it because they're too small?" And he sort of tanked for a second. And he was like, "Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're too small." That's he didn't uh, want to admit it, but yeah, yeah, no. He didn't mm. want to big time the field, but everyone's got a threshold. It's Ace King of Spades going around on the button. Yeah. Luke was was would have been welcoming some action there. What a buzz it must be, Jeff! Travel the world, playing the highest stakes uh, tournaments all around the world with your with your brother. Huh? Grow, grow up fun. together, and now you're just crushing the poker world together. Nikita, he wants to get it, get going here, but he's uh wow. So here we All do right, see him. He's you knew, you see. Stepping out, I wouldn't have th thought this would be an open, even so. But it does show you, you know. Here we go. It gets gets a pretty good hand to get get out of the way there. Not much you can do with the queen jack off. And I think this is also a function of who he's got. He sees the blinds, Aaron, and then Carry, who he knows Carry probably gonna <coughs> defend pretty tight but you know obviously this is a great hand for carry to see 10-9 suited you know look at i mean king eight's a light open but even so got the lead here you got yep. you got position and you got the best Checking hand leader check in the dark and this is one for makita it's yeah. gonna pick up pretty easily and makita knows he probably has the best hand when he bets but it's just about isn't it yeah he's not gonna bluff you, you don't want to be cooling off you know so carry also is you know more new range than mine <laughs> look at this what do you think? I'd love to see Carrie give the speech when he's got an ace. I don't know. Right. Like he's given a few little talks. I'm assuming he says it, regardless. It must be spicy if he did something. He has 10-9. He has spades. There's a little joy that could be had. Alright, I agree. Better to my range. Kita. Just going his way, you know? Just kind of gets a nice squeeze in to start, sets the tone, picks up a nice pot, gets the light open through, chipping at, chipping away here. Same time though, Kerry, we saw flat queens in the big blind. You know, he does have some. Uh, right. he, he probably wouldn't raise right in almost anything there. So he, he definitely could have some sneaky. We've seen him do some sneaky stuff already. He flat the queens. He limped ace king suited on the button. Here we go. Last so time in the small he blind, four, he's going to limp it. Look at this. Last time he got punished. And uh, computer hand queen seven. We mentioned this yesterday. Heads up. But this is a six max situation queen seven in the big blind we saw him do this before and a little different situation king right. goose off queen seven but st right, well, i think carrie's staying with the chat yeah. you know consistent so he did this with the four five off now he's got nines and makita is uh ah, makita's radar is on checks and pretty good flop for two nines No diamond for either player. Could 
see Makita going either way here. Could see stab stabbing, but then again, he knows, you know, he could do either one, I think. Queen high also could be good. We saw Kerry limping 4-5. Right. I to say that maybe he thinks Queen high just, maybe with a diamond he might stab, has a bit more of a chance down the streets. But yeah, if you're carry, you know, you feel good about your starting spot. The two <laughs> jacks is a great flop. Ten's one of those not amazing cards. You're looking for an eight or lower, really, but, you know. And, oh, it uh, is a great card. That's a great one. Maybe a small bet here. I think Makita could, could call with some worse hands. or Probably doesn't have a five, but. Right, might have some ace highs, some king highs. Yeah. like the bet. Queen eye, tough spot. Yeah, honestly, in this run out, queen high looking okay and would carry bet with six, seven, or seven, you know, some of the just absolute worst hands. Like we saw him limp four, five, could have three, four suited, could have right. a variety of hands. He has a, carries a lot of hands that have no showdown value. Yeah, I think because, like, the thing is if Kerry had, like, 8-9 or something, he'd probably start betting. Right. So it's just kind of like... 9-8, 9-7. Yeah. Probably so all of a sudden, not a lot of hands that you can Speed think of. combo is probably better turn. Yeah. Ow. Yeah. Pretty sure I had to beat if you folded. <laughs> Given the old making out, did a light value bet, obviously. Sure tempted the race. Or were you just I thinking about hero call? Yeah. Kerry really fishes for information. He loves to know what people have. He wants to talk, you know, it's just part of his, like... He's just buzzing there, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he just loves he loves the game. <laughs> yeah, shot That's going to be a, a jam, yeah. Yeah. Could you beat six, seven, It's going to go all in. You see 6-7 suit, he said, could you beat 6-7 suit? <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I had. Just making sure. All in. All in. Sam taking a slight pause, definitely shoving, making sure maybe his, in case his family members at home <coughs> watching or <laughs> grabbing a, a latte or something, wants to let him get back. Carry fold sixes. Yeah, interesting fold that sixes on the button. That's surprising to me. How many blinds is that? It's eight blinds, just under eight blinds. Okay. It's close, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I mean no, I, it's not a mandatory call, but it's... It's definitely worth the consideration, isn't it? Yeah. You know, he's shoving ace four, ace five. He's shoving any uh, pair. Could have worse there. Complete my set of offsuit aces today. I've had seven, eight, and nine. So just need to... A couple more to go. Yeah, I mean... <coughs> now I have enough chips. surprised you didn't think about that. Carry. Six... Probably, yeah, three hundred k doesn't hurt him if he loses it too much. He's Maybe still very comfortable. Can, yeah. He can definitely afford to take the risk. It's not like he was calling off his life. Yeah. Play eight. Yeah. I'd like to see Aaron mix in some. I mean, let, let's be honest. It's not just like oh, you get queens, kings, aces a lot, but he's flatted some, you know, pretty strong. St I like his strategy. He's flatting those t yeah, ace queen off, ace jack offs. Um, but I'd love to see him be flatting now all, more. Right, like set big, up some squeeze, yeah, set up some squeeze traps. I think at this point the players are aware of the type of hands he's flatting. And, I mean, not like he's doing things super different. I mean, those are pretty, no, pretty they're, good they're, strategy of what, what's going on. Just I definitely think hands he's that, leaning. Uh, uh, yeah, they're hands you do a bit of both with. So yeah. far we've just seen him do with a bit of cooling. Yeah. Uh, on a very small sample size it has to exactly, be Exactly, exactly. I'll tell you what, his strategy is is <laughs> going well, very well. Working. He's definitely had uh, the most impressive overall, I think, with the, the most final tables. I'm pretty sure that's the most. I mean, there's a couple guys we've seen numerous times. Two, but yeah. There's also the 50K, so he's the first one. And I guess Artur also was... Artur's had one. Carry, is he? Is carry, carry number two or three? I'm not sure. I think Carry may be on his third final as well, actually. I think second, but you might be right. So for, do we know how many unique entries? Forty-five entrants, probably. I mean, thirty something. 30 yeah, I mean, it's going to be uh, it's going to be weighted more towards uniques in Nanomot Holden than it was in the short deck. Let's see, Nature of the Game. Uh, yeah. Not sure how many as we see Jack Ten Deuce, couple of clubs.
And I'm just having a look here, Jeff, on the updates. And I'm going to do a little final table count here. See what we've got going on. So Sam Greenwood already made one final table. He came ninth in the 25k short deck. The Aaron Van Blokram came sixth in. Paul's had two, at least. Two, yeah. right? Two both short decks. And we've got the event number one, the other 25k short <laughs> deck. 70, I think. Which we saw. Camping the big blind. He just ripped through the field in. We have like 280, 300. Aaron with East King now under the gun. 30, 40. And here we go. Is Makita going to make a little mistake here? He's checking the cutoff against Aaron's under the gun raise. He turned down the last option. That was with Ace-8 offsuit. I've got a feeling Jeff, Ace-Jack offsuit, he's going to uh, give it a go, right? Yeah. Feels like this has to be Oh, a yeah, for bit. sure. And the sick, the, this, is the, this is where there's you know some luck or variance where his radar, he wanted to do it with Ace-8 off. Right, would have worked. Would have worked. And now he's got a stronger hand and... Oh, wow. He uh, doesn't raise. So, again, he does mix this in the, the call range. And okay. also he's in position here. This could be this could be problematic for, for Aaron. This is not well, a this is not a great spot. I you thought know? for sure Makita was going to three-way that. I would have three-way that in that spot. And shown mm, again, that's why he's one of the best. Just calls against Aaron. And wow, flops best on Jack-8-3. A couple of hearts there for Aaron. You can see some spice down the streets. Yeah, we did see Aaron make some, some moves, too, in spots. Remember, he got carried a full trip jacks at the final table in short right. deck. That, that was wild. First event. Does have the heart. He's going to come out betting here. And if you're Makita, you love the flop, but you're thinking, okay, he's under the gun. He's he's leading out here. Does he have queens, kings? Those are the likely hands he's losing to. He blocks aces, and he's got top pair, top kicker. No heart. Um, you got to feel pretty good about your spot, but, you know, if you start getting – starts – Getting a lot of heat here, he's not going to love it, but pretty good spot here to start. 175. It's a very small race. <coughs> this is like a little bit of a exploitative raise. I mean, I think he just trusts Aaron not to bluff him. He does this. I know it feels, again, like a slightly weird line. From Makita. Of course, Aaron's going to have hands that want to continue, like 10s, 9s, some flush draws. And he's going to have some hands that have decent equity, like King Queen, and even this hand that's 18%. Mm -hmm. and he makes Aaron fold for just 100k more. I've got a feeling, Jeff, that he's not going to do that against. Say uh, one of the Greenwoods. I think he's going to have to play that a little different. I think he's just thinking, I don't think Aaron will three bet bluff me on this flop. Yeah, so looking through, of course, Aaron from Blogdom final both those 25k short decks on the final again here. You're too close. Yeah. Carry was in the mix on one of those 25k finals, as you mentioned. And then, of course, we had the 25k no limit Hold'em final table. Yep. Where Arto, of course, was uh, the sixth place finisher. So, Aaron definitely in the way with three final tables. Somebody's gonna have to take some chips from you, Makita. A little too confident right now, buddy. <laughs> He's definitely a little confident raising King at offsuit once again, this time from the hijack. Yeah, you know, I, this is an interesting hand too off where to like a 12 to 15 blind stack, having some raise folds, like even 11 to 
14 blinds, uh, king eight suited, being one of them, or ace four, um, you know, these type of hands. And, and you can see this is a hand that I, I just, like, personally wouldn't really be putting into a, a raise. Like I said, it's, it matters about being chip leader as well. But right. we can see Makita loosening the belt here a little bit, the king eight. And this is a, it's a pretty spicy flop. Everyone's yeah. got a piece. Aaron just giving him a little speech play before. And uh, Makita... <clears throat> Here's the side, and then obviously how best to proceed on this board eight with a second best kicker. Uh, pretty vulnerable hand, as we mentioned. This 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 type of middle pair when it's second pair on the board, you kind of generally want to lead towards protection. And again, I think he just yeah feels that if he doesn't have a queen, it's not like Aaron's just going to go savage here. He actually right. has, he has the one of the best hand to, hand to, do it, right. to get to go for it, but and so I think it's just going to call. We've seen we saw Aaron with a similar spot with open ended on the board where against uh, Ivan Liao, right, where he just called, jack. where he could have maybe attacked even more so that board where he had two overs and uh, pretty good card here for Aaron. He's going to jump in the lead. Still, still vulnerable hand. You start looking at stack to pot ratio, 660k, 460k. Um, it's not 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 a lot of reason for Makita to bet now, though, right? He's been called on that flop. You think Aaron has some queen x, some 8x? You're beating the 8x. He has hands like 9, 10, uh, 10 jack that are now ahead of you. So hard to see him betting this one, but uh, I've been wrong about Makita twice in the last hand, so does decide to check this back. Ace on the river. Not a card Aaron wants to see. Backdoor spades complete. Again, I think Makita may feel he has the best hand here enough to check it back. He beats the other eights. He beats the seven. Aaron wins one's at showdown, gets back to 1.1. 1 .1. Your speech worked. Mm. Peter's thinking, how did I not fluff bet that ace? Yeah. Very unmakito like. It's going to have to be all of it to make me think about it. You cannot always bluff your hands. Sometimes you have to give up. True story. Me. 30, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shit. Everything is on the key today. Two million. Seven deuce is not going to get raised. That <coughs> one, I can guarantee you. Right. Sam with the button, Queen A off. Now that there's just five blinds, with the blinds having gone through him and the level going up. Come on. i to pick up something. So like five bigs? Something to get with you a little 300, bit. 300, yeah. Exactly five bigs. Carry looks down at jack six right, off. Man, how do you get all those through? Is that three in a row? Four. Four? Already. Four, no calls. Well, Kerry had Kerry had one. He's a short stack ninja. Do it. He well, is. You, you guys have direct position on me, so you have the... Uh, you know, if you want to put me to the test, yeah, you're the. When I fold already, I cannot call you. Yeah. Once I shoved it, did it? I don't know. Once I shoved it, it's small. Four more times, he's got the other chips. Pretty cool that Kerry did get this, you know, Poker Central, Poker Go, getting the whole thing up and running. Doing all of it. Shows how much he really yeah, loves poker. That's your goal. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah. It's been working you'll out. You'll eke out second. And second, that's getting greedy. You'll, no, you'll, you'll have 300,000, and Makita will have like two. Makita will have six mil. Arthur limping in under the gun. Ace, queen of hearts. 
This guy's showing how it's done with these sort of 20 to 30 people blind stacks. Also showing how to ace queen, just minimize <laughs> minimize <laughs> exposure. You gave, you gave me the look there straight away. It was uh, it was the ace queen. That's my I'm, the hand I'm trying to figure out still. It's just like I just want to see how different. I want to see this. This is a little surprising though. This yeah, one, I think this gun. would be a yeah. nice fine. one to raise. Yeah, I'm, I'm with. You. I'm kind of find that one surprising. There's some guys who are going to jam behind you. It's a pretty good hand to cool a jam with. Yeah, which maybe he could be inducing in some ways. With, but Aaron going to take a peek here on the button. Carry with a suited ace as well. Got to love to see the limp. Very happy to come yeah. in. Sort of like he's almost like he's like can't believe Perfect. how fortunate that is. Nikita, king for all clubs. Probably going to be pretty happy to see a flop. I'm not. I mean, I guess if he goes carry and Aaron don't have too much of a strong hand. If he does bluff, he just has to get through all to. King four suited, I think. We can just see a flop. Yeah, but three hundred k would get million, done in his mind. One point right? four Artur. Probably. Yeah, I think he's gonna. He might go for it. Oh he does my go for goodness! It. All in. And I mean, Artur, surely <laughs> this is what you live for, right? Take the chip meter of the tournament. Risky. With six left. Wow. But I mean, this is why you limp. He's not going to call. He's going to call. He's not going to call. He's going to call, man. This is why he's limped. I don't know anything about him, but I'm telling you, no, this is not why he limped. He did not limp to get shoved on by Makita. He limped. He just set this up. He's limping to call Greenwood's stack. He's not limp. He can't call here. He can't. He, it's ICM suicide. Yeah, but look what happens if he if he wins this pot. He's got what three million. You really think he's, he's gonna call? No way. I, I think he might this call is, this. This is ace queen. This is ace queen of perfection. He's, he was reading the poem all last night. Yeah. He's got ace queen deep on his team. It's a, it's. Now he's not call. I'm telling you. I'll bet. I'll lay you two to one. He doesn't call. He's good. I think he's gonna call. He's. He's not. He's got dreams. He wants to school. hoist the trophy in Russia. At his, he's folding for sure. Get out of here with Come that. Come on. Big lay down to your small pair. Makita, that is a I, so super <laughs> super interesting spot. Yeah, I would officially you know, give up on like we saw a, a domino <laughs> jam ace queen on a open on the button for a zillion blinds versus Greenwood. I think it's just uh, sometimes you know you just say like literally they can't call. Right, you and, know, he, he, and I mean, a key card there, of course, it wasn't just a random hand. He did it with king full suited, so he's done it with a king, Jeff, which is important because he blocks kings, he blocks ace king. Yeah. Oh, his hand. As you see, if, you, if your man's folding ace queen, I have his hand then uh, hand having a so. king's really big. Oh. And no, and no, also, no, you know, no, king full suited, if you do get called, no, you you're not dead. That's Makita. <laughs> wow. It's crazy yeah, play. Pair than eights. Uh, he was mustering up his courage with that small pair. Oh, man. What are you waiting for? What are you looking for? Two kings? I know, Jeff, though. If you got the ace queen there, that's, that's going to be the play when you limp. Uh, maybe just open jamming. I, I, don't, I don't think he was even considering that that was ever an option. Right. You know, I think he's he thinking, thinking, like you said, limp jam or, 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 or cool short yeah, stack jam. Or Makita might squeeze like to 3 4 right, and he can take a flop. Or, 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 sh or, yeah, shove at that point. But. I mean, Makita just took, Makita that took it an extra gear. He yeah, said, I, like, I know what you know that you think I might do, and I'm going to do it, but a little extra. I'm going to find a way. I'm going to say Nathan. Give me five, six of clubs. Clubs are kind of getting close. Air. Nothing. It's probably better than a small pair. It's probably like a mid pair. It's got everyone a little off confused I think, here. I think, I think a two, fa two unpaired face scout. This time, <coughs> surely Artur's going to jam it in, get his money back. I don't think it's he's. Handy I don't think he's it. jamming, man. I, he's gonna call. I only got twenty blinds. Is it twenty? Yeah, thirty okay. sixty. So. Okay, twenty blinds. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. I go myself. You call. That's <laughs> He can't. He's had enough. He's getting. He's getting abused. Wow. So I. So I was thinking he's in. Th what. What stack is he though? He's in fourth Arthur's or third? Two American Second, I think. Canadians. So I'm saying, so he's, it's, yeah, a, the, it's actually yeah. not a fist Russia pump people. spot. I know, like I the, just wanted to see blood. I get it. But he's, I mean, he has a special... Uh, I, I see what happened. He's limped. He thinks he can call a short stack jam, and we'll, maybe he doesn't expect Mickey to do it in the big blind, but if he does, maybe he can limp jam. Never expect him to be faced to limp in and face a jam from Mickey. Yeah, exactly. I'm not... That didn't even cross my mind either. It's a cool play.
Can you speak Russian? Mm -hmm. Can you speak Russian? Of course. <laughs> Is that what they speak in Belarus? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I guess you can. I didn't know. Sam, Queen Jack Club's under the gun. Constantly on this uh, sub 10 big blind stack. More than happy to jam that one in. A lot more pleasurable than the uh, rag aces he's been forced into action with thus far. Makita with an ace on the button, but ace 7 off, so he's not going to call that. Uh, first one's a real good one. Oh, could have some brother on brother. Ace 6 off. Ace two. Worst. King two. A six. It's not worse. Yeah. Yeah. It, it is worse. Right. Hey, right. The third stack is able to win him. Ace eight is calling. Yeah. Ace eight or more. Mm -hmm. Or T T plus ninety five Look. forty now, huh? Minus six. Ace-10 I snap yeah, call. Yeah. Ace-8 I need to think about. Like Ace-8 I'm probably minutes. using a few banks. Like <laughs> and then you're, yeah. And then you're you using a few banks. Yeah, I think so. Four? That's how it does. It's like. Maybe more. Something five. No. Yeah, yeah I don't see the push 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 Yeah. Okay. All right, Aaron's yeah. stepping a little out of line here. Queen-10 in the first seat. Try and get one through. Obviously, does have Sam with the big one off that very short stack, and in fact, Luke on the small blind on the other short stack. Well, the good news is if you bust, there's a very fun event starting up right now. All right. How much you put? Well, soon. I was well, talking about, of course, yeah, about 50k less, less short deck right starts Do we get more chips in the shortly. Do you know? <laughs> Just a bloodbath. <laughs> That's why it's actually good to play early. You get a chance to build a stack. I think. Well, you gotta get the rake. You gotta get Coming the to lake can be just, uh, I think, disastrous. You gotta get the half rake in. I'll talk going <laughs> after it. You know, maybe C's, maybe wow. get some information. Oh, that's 750 plus whatever's in my hand. Look at this. I mean, Alto's right. Uh, if Aaron's raising Queen 10 up under the gun, this is a three yeah, He's also button. saw the ace five. I mean, ace five suited. It's in the raising range, but it just shows he's, he's not, he's not playing super, super snug. Right. Under the gun, and it's gonna work. Look Probably at that. Call a re -raise and you're telling me you laid down something better than pocket eights. Put Makita all in. <laughs> and Lucas, of ah, course, that ace ten of diamonds there. He was gonna jam yeah. himself, I'm sure. Ends up just to shrug fold. I've never seen Luke. I've never seen you fold so much. Uh, yeah, last time we played final table with Luke, you were like just making the bluffs all the way. Yeah, let's. Uh, the very first tent, yeah, the craze and yeah. the bed and, and Luke yeah. and Sam I mean, were it was fearless. a great bluffing spot, and then it was the chip leader, so then he had to start going all in every. <laughs> yeah. I uh, mean, even if, if I had more chips, I would have to have thought about going all in there, but he has to follow if we can. Makita, 8-5 offsuit, having a look around. Surely not, Jeff. Mm. Yep. Not into, uh, yeah, there's some these stacks here. How much do you have, Sam? 480. Nine blinds. It's less than the shorting. It's Remember, less the, than the starting stack. stack was 150k, so we're talking that the six left the in the money, yeah, three starting the stacks. Yeah. And but Queen 8 really suited. No, and uh, yeah. Aaron. Oh, well, this is going to be a cool, isn't it? Nine points. It is. And it, the thing is, though, Aaron, you know, he, it's a lot of his chips, but he's just got to do it. Yeah. But I just my a second and it's pretty close. Right. Honestly, yeah. I think he'd fold ace nine, nine which is even a little, probably shouldn't. Yeah. But look, you can see he doesn't even want to put it in here. Yeah, this one, I feel like it's just, I mean, against a button, nine of light chip, ace 10 just does pretty well. Yeah. You cover, you get back into the, what, second in chips or thereabouts. Right, but the se on the flip, you're basically out, essentially. I mean, you're about out if you call right. and lose. So, you know, six left, and wow. he does pitch it. That's, that is... I feel like you had a good one on that one. Wow. <laughs> That's... Yeah, I mean, he's in the big blind. He's going to seven more. I'm, ha I'm happy I got I like it through. Yeah, like I don't think he wanted a call, for sure. 
I mean, there were a lot of good hands. He hadn't won a hand in a while. He was, he was getting, he was getting antsy. Wow, yeah, Jeff, I'm surprised already, with that one. Yeah, he already told me, like, I'd been playing so tight, so I just decided. Yeah, I, I set it up for you. Man, well, really surprised. interesting I mean, stuff going on. Aaron there, you, you're cool there, you win, you're, look at that, you're on 25 bigs. I don't know about that one. Yeah, he, he was still in there with sort of six bigs, if you got it wrong, seven. Uh, maybe fewer, maybe like four bigs. Yeah, it's close. I, this is, these are cool. I mean, look at the jumps too. You're talking about starting to get big money, but you know, do you want to go for the win or are you just trying to maybe get a, have a chance to ladder one or two spots max? It's Those are the spots you got to decide. What, what's your game plan? Yeah, I mean, it's a different situation. This is like a pure bubble and, and we saw the min cash is two and a quarter buy-ins. Then, then that's a very different situation, but jumps now are like one buy-in. Uh, can't have Mikita open here. He's taking away my... Uh, Taking away my allowance here. <laughs> well, Makita exactly is going to open this one. He's so making it off under the gun. Queen Jack certainly getting raised. Well, Aaron referencing that Makita letting him get out of line or what's going on, but I'll tell you what, if you're not going to. You're gonna call in the East 10, 10 there. You're gonna get. He's gonna have a field day out here. Yeah. A shove is folded to me, except for when you hit the button. And I fold the queen five seed in this ball with like eight bags. Yeah, it is king seed. Out of twenties. I think also on that king four suited hand, he's thinking: Is he ever limping queens, kings? I block kings. Is he limping ace king? Probably not. Right. So then it's like: Is he limping aces? That's like the one hand that would really just be a disaster for him. And then other than that, like, what does he, what yeah, does he it have? Was, it was does he have jacks, tens? You know, limping. There's and the other two limping, of course, as well. I just can't extra, be strong. Right. Queen jack suited. This is uh, surfs up. Surfs up. One. Aaron's laughing about the four deuce, but listen, if you're getting ace ten and it's not in there, I mean, what are you looking? For? What are we? What are we talking about? Yeah, it's bizarre. This will be a call, and they're going to be gambling. Sam will take it. Flip deck. Short deck here. That really does. Yeah. <laughs> That's that's the mindset. That's how you win flips. If you if yeah. you have the queen jack suited, you just pretend it's short deck. You're, you're like almost for sure winning. Your only hope is to get a set. I can do it. Ace five five. Kind of how it's fair. Great great flop for sevens. Five. <laughs> just to how about a ten a of more? No, ten of hearts. Ten of hearts will be a good sweat card. Ten of hearts would be a good, a good sweat card. The queens a slightly better card for Sam. <laughs> oh, diamonds are good though. Diamonds are oh, now out. Diamonds. You got eleven <laughs> outs. You got eleven outs now. Yeah, not too bad. Maximum pain here for Sam. Oh, okay. We're running queens. Not much pain there. Four, fifty, right? Queens full. It's one of those spots too. Final tails. Everyone always, Sam's it's unkillable. always rooting like against you. Like they want to pay jump. Yeah. Field yeah. to get a little. Even your brother's rooting for you to bust there. That's how dirty this game. Game. It's actually yeah. a massive it's swing like You're for the table too, because really right. Makita goes to two point seven a pay oh, jump like, in the like stack. Really Makita really might just at that point he can un un. He can just crack the, the whip. Maybe. He can start shoving almost in certain just spots, now, just blind. Now, I needed, now, I now he's third in chips all of a sudden. Yep. And then he yeah. Up again. And, that, no, and now a, you're gonna double up. Luke. And a I stack that has. I can't win two in a row. We can rejam pretty just, liberally. Just, oh, could be your bigs. tournament. I mean, I'm just alternating back and forth. Like, you've won plenty of tournaments when you've gotten down the five, six bigs, haven't you? Yeah, I've won. I think two. Mm -hmm. One of them was a Pouty Pogo 50k too. So See, there you go. Now he just yeah. just that's, that's what gave me the the monument. Did you know that was going to be out? I had no <laughs> idea. And then I saw uh, Warren last tweet a picture of it, and I'm like, oh, I bet it's like Trident where they have the banners for everyone. <laughs> and then I'm like, no, it's just me and Ivan. I'll tell you what. James, after after getting to see a cu I, I couple extra little like nuances really in people's games and what they like to do what and have an idea, I, I do feel down there. I think I we should we should tag yeah. team in. Actually, there could be uh, tag team the two hundred and fifty or whatever, anything. You think the field would they let us do that? Would they let us well, share? We could tag in and out, like I'm literally. Sure they wouldn't object. No, <laughs> <laughs> take our chances. <laughs> 
always going to be like potential reporting problems that they might be like the the numbers they're giving are, are fake or One not meeting. accurate. But fake uh, news? You're saying fake Russian news? Is that what you're, you're saying? No, mm. but right. um. Artur. But it's going to be reports yes, out. Yes, he just comes yeah, with a call here. Could they have a three X? He's chip leader now. Yeah, they have a Artur. Wow, yeah. And they can well, them they're basically the same, aren't they? But this is yeah. surely a call. Yeah, you're right. Tied basically. I mean, did you see the guy in the the guys in the suits when you flew in? Or no, because you flew I've, private. Yeah, yeah I flew in. Mm. At the Moscow airport, there's a guy in a hazmat suit with an infrared gun. He's just checking your temperature. Just checking everyone's temperature. Yeah. And uh, sorry. Yeah. That plop's not too is bad for Arthur. Is the virus Jeff. supposed to do worse in the summer, or is, does it, or no? Yeah. Does it matter? I don't know if it's. I think it might make a difference, but. Um, Someone was. Aaron was saying something about that, right? What were you saying? It dies off in the summer? It's all going wrong all of a sudden, Jeff, for Makita. That, but then. Apparently, this. Yeah. Apparently, this study is pretty. Uh, it's in its infancy. There's, that there's makes not sense, that though. ADK on King King 9. Alt has a lot of hands, it just give up. It's mostly descriptive at the moment. Where they just like, oh, best we can tell right now. There are some cards to get Makita in trouble here, Jeff. We uh, turn some equity, like perhaps that one. Uh, temperature is around like 40 to 60 degrees, kind of. That's uh, the ideal temperature for the virus? Well, but that's also what the temperature is in like half the Western world, you know, half the world right now. So, like, yeah. it's, I mean, I guess, yeah, places like Vegas, I don't know what it's like in Vegas or Florida or. Well, like Vegas is about to get super hot, so probably, uh, no, probably yeah, not I mean, a good environment for a virus to be in yeah. 110 degree weather. But then, and then also maybe like I don't know what's going on with the super cold prices either. Maybe that's what's been like. Maybe that's why it's less pre prevalent well, in Makita Canada. Makita does you know, now slow down. down. I don't know, Interesting spot, Jeff Bard. So obviously he has a 10, so he blocks uh, some of the straight draws and can make a straight himself on a jack. So maybe one of the better candidates to check back here and. Elicit another bluff. Obviously, he has some hands like uh, Queen Ten, Queen Jack that would want to check here as well, and that's yeah. exactly what he's done. I like this. I it like it as well because y yeah, you block that. It also looks like you probably wouldn't check back most kings, and it it leaves some rope. But also, if if somehow a straight were to come in, you probably make a boat, or right. it's not really. That's the thing. Yeah, if the yeah. ten comes, you make a boat. If the jack comes, you make the straight. So you're not worried about getting outdrawn that way. Right. Obviously, clubs would be an issue, but. It's pretty unlikely. Yeah, and you think Makita may may potentially bear. I don't know if he would just go barreling with clubs. Yeah. It feels like one of the better candidates to check back in terms of strong hands. Mm -hmm. He's done that. Now, let's see if it works. Will Makita... No, Makita... White flags it. Yeah, he's... He's on it today. One of the great things about gold is like that John Ham looks like... You know, also, Makita's hand... He's... It, you wouldn't put this 10-7 off in like a raise from the small blind range really, so, but it's like... What does he think that he bets flop checks turn? You know, maybe he has a nine x somehow. Ace nine. He's scared of the queen, or what? He's trying to think. What does he have? Like, what can I get value from now? And this bet four hundred again. Um, it's kind of one of those things. In that Makita just doesn't have anything, or it, or he can have some nine x, some queen x, even. And of course, some eight x. Do you see? You know, the wheels spinning here. Makita's gonna just give it up, but. You know, there. You just wonder: is there any any times he just yeah, goes savage all in? But it doesn't feel like on the board pair with the ten seven one you just go for. So yeah, this man now, Alto Motorism, our chip leader. Minimize ace queen uh, exposure. Limp yeah, fold. Yeah, you're yeah. right. He. It was like a, it was kind of a weird whole. The whole hand was kind of weird. I was kind of surprised to see him limit off. It's fun though, man. It's fun to see tournaments and even this day, you know, and when it's just like stuff where we've played so much, we've watched so much to see stuff that genuinely it's is still like, you. like, yeah, it's like, wow, okay, and why? Why is it happening? That makes sense. Now our chip leader in the small blind. Oh, 
Nine seven diamonds is gonna put Luke to the test. Luke with ten bigs. Gonna pass. Yeah, so much tournament poker is understanding stack sizes, understanding push folds, you know, understanding here too, it just for his stack to he realizes the pay jumps, it's like you know, you can shove really wide. It's like if you're Luke, you have ace four off there. You're not loving it. Yeah. They're just like, why I want to yeah. put so my stack at risk and. I feel like those 50% jumps are really speeding up game. Yeah, it's. But you get 40 minutes too, so that does help. Right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, talking about the structures. They are quite quick here, Jeff. You know, uh, about 24, 20, 40 to 30, 60. You know, a lot of poly poker events at the regular maintenance for sure. You're going to have all the levels in between. But these guys. Uh, they prefer to play quick. They prefer to get a whole lot of tournaments in for the week. You've got a different event every day. All the events are two day. They don't take very long. That's that's the idea. Yeah, no, it's great. And no, I was I was dodging the. Uh, I didn't want to have. No, you were hoping someone the bus so you wouldn't get the blind. That was yeah. understandable. Makita now folding an ace in that the cutoff. Usually long. Realizing Ooh, the change of situation here, he has to tighten up a little yeah, bit. This man now gets to. I mean, they were like. Every short stack was doubling. Get up to no good. Does so with threes. There we go. Luke Greenwood down the bottom with nine pigs. Aaron Van Blarkram. And Carry Cats, just a little bit ahead. San Gruber just a smidge ahead of them. Makita, now down to second, just 25 bigs. But Alta Marti, Artur Martirosum has now taken that chip lead and started to extend it, Jeff, as he looks to be the champion here in Russia. It'd be nice to see a Russian win at least one event this week, Jeff. Yeah, I agree with that. 765k, the prize up top, 135. What these guys have locked up so far. Yeah, uh, Jeff, a uh, second prize, 495. Come on, let's someone throw the 5K in there and let's round that thing up. I think so. It's it, you know, it's uh, it's all good. These are these are big numbers. It's exciting. We've seen some very. This has been a very interesting final table so far. Some super super cool hands yeah, and you're right. some surprising stuff. I mean, especially with the big barn ante, it's you know. Carry cats. Gonna pass. Yeah, tough spot there, 13 blinds under the gun. Obviously, uh, Chippy B wise might be a shove, but with ICM, certainly isn't. King nine. Well, if they've gotten word that he's folding ace 10 <laughs> yeah. in the big blind, Aaron, this is a fist bump. He shoved queen eight, sim a little yeah, slightly I mean, he's different. He's definitely shoving this. He's just taking a little time, right? Balancing. Yeah. <coughs> Always going to take sort of 15 seconds before shoving in case he has close decisions. Doesn't want to give that away. And uh, oh, yeah. this is one where you know, like this is again, this is a hand you could oh, easily yeah, fold. Yeah. Because it's just like, what are you really hoping? Queen Jack, Jack 10. I would be actually surprised if he right. put the when came in with this. You can see the difference in minds with. Sam considering ace three off in the small where right. ace ten off in the big was a fold for Aaron. It just shows you, you know, I I just yeah, I can't imagine and it's just not a call. And now he shows seven deuce. Well I get four deuce, five deuce, three deuce, seven deuce in the big blind every single hand. Mm -hmm. He had that nine ten offsuit. Yeah, he had ace ten. Good he also had the ace ten. No. Yeah. When he went on last time at ace 10. Nope, he did say it. Oh, made a call back. Oh. I had the best hand code. When the best code, you went. Hey, Makita staring him down. Luke? No, he just admitted to folding ace 10. That's not an information you want to give away at the table, Jeff. Yeah. 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 Yeah, he would have called you in the big one. Felt like him. But you're not in that great shape. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, listen, I, the ace-10 hand, its a, I think it's a mandatory, almost a mandatory call, but I get it, right? It is a, it's different, like you said. But you're in the money. You're going to have the best hand almost always six. there. And, and so if you, if he does have king-queen or pocket sevens six, or, ten plus all the you know, it's just so hard for him to have a better hand. And at that point, maybe go for it. 
Come on. Then. Same with 14 on the button. He's going to jam it in. And yeah, into, into stacks so even shorter. And carry sixes. This is one of those, again, just like the ace timber a minute ago, you kind of just have to grin and bear this one, don't you? This one has to be a call. I don't know, though. I agree, but it's. I don't think. I don't know, man. I don't think he's going to do it. He just does so well. Sixes Please against. Show me one. This is like almost the exact same as Ace-10 off, right? It's very similar. Yeah. It's like just, you know it's the best hand, but you are just don't love most it's, hands it's you're going to see. It's obviously a slight different situation because Carry is the one at, at risk here. If Carry calls and loses, he's out. Whereas right. Aaron would have the chance to still spin up. Carry channeling his inner energy here, trying to figure out what to do. This is a guy that... Just loves it, like similar to Paul, right? Like they both, Paul created Triton with uh, yeah. Richard Young, Carrie's created Poker Go, does the Aria, all this stuff and, and these events and just like, just want, wants the trophy, wants to make the best decision at all times, is such a competitor and these spots genuinely paint him. He's, it's a. He does make the cool. No King Queen? Oh, somebody had a small pair. Yeah, or ace five, ace four, which would have yeah, been, you know, he's, sure. he's, he's jamming deuces, threes, fours, fives, ace deuce, three, six. So, uh, yeah, I wouldn't have. Ace jack was a snap call. Yeah, so I'm like, all right, I'm in, uh, I know I'm in, okay. I just say this because I'm probably flipping. Unless you I was hoping you had a weak ace or it was close. Jack nine three, Sam takes the lead. Fuck. <laughs> Club hope. Carry backdoor six clubs a club. six, or he's off to the short deck. Just a six now. Right. Aaron standing up. Oh, oh the Carry, come on, man. You've been. Oh, it was close in the sense that it was an upside down one. That's the end of Carry Cats. Add in six. $135,000. And wow, Sam, he, he jammed a few through. He's, he's been ducking and diving, and all of a sudden, he's got a pretty decent stack, Jeff. Yep, another good, another cash, another good performance from Kerry. Ultimately, ends up losing a flip. Passed on the sixes last time. What, would it, what was he had there? A7? What was the hand when he folded eight sixes? It's different, too, because there were still players behind. And That's right, yeah. But I forget so, what uh, he jammed that much, hand. But pretty much exactly shows you the power of first in. Yeah, puts people to tough this. decisions, and it's not fun to call off your tournament life with those is type of hands. Is he second in chips now? One point six here. He's got. To be fair, Kerry kind of reminded him how many turns have you won with five or six blinds. He inspired, yeah. gave him a, you know, a memory, and and uh, he said, "Oh, actually, it was a party fifty k. I did that, and oh, here we, here we are, Par party fifty, party 50 k." And uh, Luke and Aaron, the other two big winners in that one, of course, laddering up. Yeah, I think sixes has to call. Nothing carry can really no. feel bad about here. Speaking of Aaron, here he is Speaking on the button. King bags. five suit. This has got to go in, oh. surely. Sorry. Yeah. Does. And you see Aaron, obviously, he's not. He, he made that, you know, he made it, what I think, is a mistake folding the, uh, the ace 10. But he's not going to shy away from taking the aggressive action. It was obviously okay, yeah. it's not like he's scared of busting. Right. He just... Right. No, he he wants to, like you said, have that front foot, put it in first, have two ways to win Always. the hand. Always. <laughs> yeah, and I think that's something you notice the best players really, they, they really do avoid calling off. There's a lot of times when it's closer, you, you'd be surprised where actually it, it is a good fold in a lot of spots where even you think it might be a mandatory call. But we're in agreement. I think the ace-10 just a little too good. Five left, two Greenwoods. There we go. Can we have Greenwood on Greenwood? Heads up. Who knows? I wonder if they've done it. I'm sure. They play a lot in a lot of these smaller fields, but still, it's hard yeah. to go one, two. There it is. Ace, queen. Let's see. Sam Grit drive it. Just the hand of the week. On my team. Yes, Here it comes. It Everything's is. going right from so far in this final. <laughs> now he finds Ace, queen, and it all derails. Isn't that right, Jeff? Yeah. No, I mean, I'm nervous for him, <laughs> for sure. A 
they say? I don't even know. I think we're Queen 10 and 12. Does let it go. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. Jeff, how are you? How would you? I'm I'm a, I'm I'm the believer. I'm converted. I'm I'm with you. Standard. And this is I mean, the problem with this is it's Makita. You're right. It's uh they're even stacks and and there's just no I don't see a way out. Even with the even knowing that Ace Queen is avoided at all costs. Maybe limp limp and that would have been his only path. Right, but this is a Again, not too dissimilar situation to the one Arto had with the Ace Queen, right? If he faces the jam here. What are we talking? 25 blinds? No, uh. 30 60, less, no? That's right, yeah, 30 60. So Makita's only got, what, just over, tw what, 20? Yeah, 25, less than 25. They both have about the same stack. Maybe yeah. a little less, so yeah, this but. Is, this is it. I mean, I was going to say the jam may, may be the way out, but a less than I a win. Three bet. Gives a. Idea and uh, and this is just the the hand that Sam has to go with to this sizing, right? Yeah, versus him. Versus Makita, exactly. He knows Makita's capable here. It's actually a little. He gave me, but th that's typical on these stack sizes to go less than three x. Right, of course. You're not gonna get peeled. Even though you are out of position, right. and he's call. never peeling two thirty. That's a call and. Uh, well, let's see, Jeff. Let's see how good Sam Greenwood is. Can he turn this hand into a winner? Listen, I'll tell you what, Ace Queen. I have seen. If anything, though, Ace Queen uh, can do some damage with the against Kings. It's, right, that's the, it's the one. It's the it's one, one thing power. that kind of has like it just feels f unfair when you have Kings <coughs> and you see the Ace Queen. You're like, mm, still got life. Mm. Queen high, not enough. A little smile from Makita. He knows he's up against it a little bit here. Five outs. Two cards to come. No heart available for either player, so it's five outs, one to come. Kita knows these are the these are like a year. It's 2020, new decade. These kind of spots, right. do you get six, to be clean? And six it is. figure runouts. Yeah. Makita with a double up, 2.8 million back to the chip lead. Sam down 280k. Back to being our short stack. It's one million. One, two, Big three, pot. Five. Huge pot. Huge, huge one, pot. Two, and there we go, Jeff. He said everything's going right for Sam. He got dealt the ace queen and back to the bottom of the pile. Wow. I mean, anyone who's watched the stream this week is just going to make so much more money from having Jeff's insight about ace queen. This is it. Nothing better you can do. Power fest coming up. Everyone watching, just, just know the ace queen. Just, it's not a hand anymore. Used to be a hand, right? You can go to a flop, but anytime there's any resistance, just, just get out of the way. Just this let it go. Yeah. Let it let it free. If you love it, if you truly love it, let it free. Yes. Just Everyone, I think, uh, rooting for Greenwood there, of course, for ladder ups. Also, Makita just just seems to be on it today. You don't want him with chips. No. Now, look straight away. He goes to Alto. How many have you got? What have you got? Can't help yourself. Huh? Straight away, he wants to know what pressure <laughs> you can put on him. Lead back and then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love him. <coughs> Brilliant. Oh, Sam is going to have a nice spot here. Yeah, just over four <coughs> blinds, nines. His I brother in the big. Watching the clock really closely. <laughs> he got the whiffle in with like five seconds left. <laughs> 280. Alan. Okay, yeah, obviously last hand of the level. And uh, great spot finds a. You're definitely getting called. Yeah. Oh, it's just. I have a very good hand. He does have a very good hand. Arthur needs to find an ace, just like it. Sam did in the last hand. No I would say so too. Sam gets when back I into it again. It, I thought this is an unexpectedly good hand. This is a. Here it is, in the window, with another out behind. Mm. Sam needs a nine, and then he still <coughs> has the fade outs on the end. Sam, also a little insult to injury, just to him. He's yeah. like, I could use those aces as last hand. Only a nine will Three save ten. this Greenwood. Between the eight and the ten. <laughs> ten from the middle. Uh, middle friend. 
That's how quickly it happens. He spun it up and then he spun out Sam Greenwood out in fifth. $180,000. Since you're the best player in the world. That really is a case of the, the two big stacks and the two shorter stacks. Is it 20? Stack of 20? Mm -hmm. What do I want here? I mean, again, our man Aaron just kind of like. Hidden his way aces, on this kings, table, just, just sits here in the corner. Oh, I gotta get ace king. I got uh, the shortest stack. I can't get aces. Well, no, because that, that way I just fold into second and I'll live with that. Give me ace king, gives y'all two aces and kings. Well, I, I just want a three way all We got no chips. You're supposed to be on my side on this one, buddy. No, I'm, I'm, I'm saying I want everyone to bust. I just want a three way all in. Oh, you want them, everybody all And then all fold into second. And, you know, I'm not being greedy. I don't, I don't yeah. need to win. I can let Nikita have the trophy. <laughs> Well, that's unlike a scenario, but here is one of those hands they reference, Jeff. Ace-King in Makita's hand, the two short stacks in the blinds as we play 40k, 80k. Uh, 2.6 you sent, right? Mm -hmm. 4 of 45. Serious business going on now. 225 locked up. Makita collecting just to rip it in. S just a, a horrible situation could occur there, couldn't it? Where he opens and Arthur jams it in and he feels compelled to call with Ace King. And he is going to. And also. Good hand. Fuck. And <laughs> the funny part is, you know, also with doing that with Ace King, you get to show, okay. You know, make people yeah. kill a little card like, oh, I have Ace Jack, and it's like I'm, I'm like, think I'm getting you now. You're a little wary, and yeah, you know, she just are. also can't really call there with the two short sets behind with any hand, so it's nice yeah. to obviously have some strong ones in there when we do it. Yeah, Aaron putting on the shoes. It's like the <coughs> the most advanced putting on the jacket. Yeah, he's got, he's got, he's got his, uh, he's standing up. He's got a chance heart. though. It's heart. Heart. Ten of hearts. Mm. Okay, jack or a five. Yeah, that'll get you almost sitting back down. That is one of the better cards. See, 70, only four out of five times Makita's going to win only. It could chop. Mm, won't be. But it's Makita. Aaron taps all around, out in fourth, 225k, third final table of the week. He's no. doing just fine. He'll be off the short deck. We've seen him uh, already. Knocking around on the short deck events this week. Nothing Two final tables there. One and another model. Repeat heads up. We had just a yeah, yeah. You, you had just one of the latest tournaments. The hand, the hand you lost, or I won when you had the jack two. I was like, I looked it up after, and I was like, oh no, that's just like a good play. That's what? I looked it up after, and I was just like, no, that's just one of the like magic shows. I thought, I was like, that was weird, and then I like looked it up, and I was like, oh man, Makita just... Yeah, I mean, it. I wasn't sure if it's a magic shaft, but I, but I felt that... Yeah, like no, but it, you know, it's one, I mean, it gets in there a lot. Yeah, it is in solar play. Uh, all 80. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> They're going deep into it, it Jeff. Yeah, some one. sorcery chat. Sorcery knowledge getting dropped. Feel is down to three now. This is a pretty uh, weird spot, right? Arthur opening up a lone blind situation. Lucas by far the shortest on the bottom of Queen Jack. I mean, feels like a fold still, Jeff, but he's very short. And it's nine blinds, or no, eight? No, they went up to eighty. Yeah, we're at so eighty. So six, five and a half. No, I'm sorry, six, seven blinds almost. You're playing two and a half blinds in orbit, which now is every three hands. Yeah. I and mean, and there's no, as, as you said, what is it, the risk premium, Jeff, is that we go yeah, with? Yeah, that's what we're going to call it. And it's it's, it's low. It's right. zero. It's, there's, if you want to get back in the game, you're going to have to take a chance at some point. Because the, the other side of the, the equation is, sure, you're, you have no fold equity, really. Right. You're going to get called. You, you double here, you get a million. Let's say you wait, try to get it in with a slight favorite or a flip, right. maybe now you only have 300k or something now you're back to where you are so from that school of thought you know he's this is a fine spot it's 40 to 40 percent to be back in the game yeah i mean 43. he's putting he's putting 540 in to win 700 and he's 43 percent so it's a profitable chip shove i yeah. thought he was big blind and i kind of I, I don't think you heard me but i said all in like undo my breath people and then it's always the reason yeah. oh <laughs> <laughs> so obviously the lone big blind situation confusing things Eight six three. Lucas needing diamonds. 
by the back door, Queen or Jack through the Got front. Got some straight draw, nine or ten outs additional. There's some good cards. That's not one, so nope. tap. Taps the table. It was an actual, yeah, actual zero. I need, I need to call the gaming commission. It's, it's great for Russia over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, two Russian speakers battling it out. Four? Heads up. Uh, are we having a break and changing seats? Yeah. For so our goes on opposite side? 50k. Nice score. Look at that. I mean, just see how Can powerful so laddering is. Like, right. just like it was, it was really tight. Right. So Came into the day guaranteed 112 and a half. Walks away with triple that. Yeah. So we and don't didn't really do a lot. Yeah. Um, just a bit of carnage all around. I mean, it's not surprising to see it is Makita as a result of the way this final's gone. They've been most in action. They played some interesting hands. That's how our players have finished so far. Luke out in third, Aaron fourth, Sam fifth, Gary in sixth, and Jeff. We have reached heads up. There's going to be a short break before play gets underway. So, guys watching, please don't go too far. We'll be back in just a shade over 10 minutes for this heads up battle here at Casino Sochi. So I'm thinking, right? He was uh, he, he was up to some ill ill intentions here, and uh, if you are Luke, this is an uncomfortable spot. Although you are the shortest, you still don't. You know, you can right, ladder. You're, sh you're you shortest of these, but you're, you're, you've got two short. You're fifth of seven. Right. Kind of like the shortest of the the medium. Yeah, you're in the bottom of the pack, and the payouts are big. That's that's a good point. Not the actual shortest, but you're you're yeah. you basically don't want to risk at a final table. Uh, you know, you don't you don't want to be the first at risk, and in this spot, he's actually in a pretty good. Right, is this slightly easier spot with Aaron peeling? We saw Aaron yesterday, not one to three bet quite as much. He seems to be uh, keener on peeling these open spree. Does, does that perhaps just incentivize this? Make it uh, incentivize yeah. this for Makita just too much? That Lucas yeah, and, just and has you know, to go you, with this. And again, guys in a s small field, a lot of interaction with each other. So I'm sure there's something the brothers probably talked about, right? They probably. Uh, the Greener brothers were right. discussing some stuff, and that might be something that comes up. Hey, right. you know, be careful. He Aaron flats a lot, and so if he's aware of that, but you know, great play here. It's going to work just based on we know how Aaron plays, um, yeah. and and not to blame him there, right? It's a tough spot. You right. don't want to go, That's especially his stack. He doesn't want to just get it in with yeah. Ace. Yeah. Just yeah. don't try to put a lot of chips in with that. Wow. It's a new new deal. So you need to people stay in the, in the game. Nobody busts. Makes them. sense though. Yeah. It does if you really think about it. Why it's not so good, you know? Even like King Queen makes, especially in short deck. Oh yeah, in short deck, sure. And this is one everyone knows how to play. Yeah. But still, sim. I mean, if she, Ace King on the button folded too. Great. You're feeling really good, but same time, just like a spot where somehow if you get in with. Well, this is going in, isn't it? Oh wow. Victor. With uh, King Queen and only eight blinds in the small blind against the button raise. I mean, he's not loving it because he knows he doesn't really have follow up with T, but he came into the day knowing that with 300k. And he's going to find himself in pretty poor shape. 
Looks like it. Oh. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> Look there. So, <clears throat> he's king healthy favorite, but as we know. It's nice CJF as well, as you mentioned earlier. Arto rushing at one of our final tables. It's been a very triton feel to it. We are here in Sochi. There are some Russians in the field, I promise you. Jack Jack Deuce. Slimmest of backdoor draws appearing for Victor. But really, just looking for that queen. Not to be on the seven. And there's an ace, so a good game. But Jackie coming as the shortest stack. Probably, uh, so we didn't get to see the bubble last night, but guessing he was very happy when the bubble burst, holding his stuff ready to flat the queens. He limped ace king suited on the button. Here we go, last time. Nines in the small he line. Four, He's going to limp it. Look at this. Last time he got punished. And uh, computer hand, queen seven. We mentioned this yesterday, heads up. But this is a six max situation. Queen seven in the big blind. We saw him do this before, and a little different situation. King right. goose off, queen seven, but. I like the carries staying with the chat, yeah. you know, consistent. So he did this with the four five off. Now he's got nines and Makita is uh Ah Makita's radar is on. Checks. And pretty good flop for two nines. No diamond for either player. See Makita going either way here. Could see Sav stabbing, but then again, he knows. You know, could do either one. I think Queen High also could be good. We saw Carrie limping right. four five. Not to say that maybe he thinks Queen High just maybe with a diamond he might stab has a bit more of a chance down the streets. But yeah, if you're Carrie, you know you feel good about your starting spot. The two <laughs> jacks is a great flop. Ten's one of those not amazing cards. You're looking for an eight or lower really, but you know. And oh, that uh, is a great card. That's a great one. Maybe a small bet here. I think Makita could, could call with some worse hands. or Probably doesn't have a five, but... Right, might have some ace highs, some king highs. Yeah. I like the bet. Queen high, tough spot. Yeah, honestly, in this run out, queen high looking okay, and would carry bet with six, seven, or seven, you know, some of the just absolute worst hands. Like we saw him limp four, five, could have three, four suited, could have right. a variety of hands. He has a, carries a lot of hands that have no showdown value. Yeah, I think because, like, the thing is, if carry had like eight, nine, or something, he'd probably start betting. Right. So it's just kind of like. Nine, eight, nine, seven. Yeah. You have like 280, 300. I remember the East King now under the gun. 30, 40. And here we go. Is Makita going to make a little mistake here? He's checking the cutoff against Aaron's under the gun raise. He turned down the last option. That was with Ace-8 offsuit. I've got a feeling Jeff, Ace-Jack offsuit, he's going to uh, give it a go, right? Yeah. Feels like this has to be Oh, a yeah, for bit. sure. And the sick, the, this is the this is where there's, you know, some luck or variance where his radar, he wanted to do it with Ace-8 off. Right, would have worked. Would have worked. And now he's got a stronger hand and oh, wow. he uh, doesn't raise. So, again, he does mix this in the, the call range and okay. also he's in position here this could be this could be problematic for for aaron this is not well, a this is not a great spot i you thought know? for sure makita was going to three with that i would have three with that in that spot and shown mm, again that's why he's one of the best just calls against aaron and well flops best on jack eight three couple of hearts there for aaron you could see some spice down the streets yeah we did see aaron make some some moves too in spots Remember, he got carried a full trip jacks at the final table and short right. deck that. That was wild. First event. Does have the heart. He's going to come out betting here. And if you're Makita, you love the flop, but you're thinking, okay, he's under the gun. He's he's leading out here. Does he have queens, kings? Those are the likely hands he's losing to. He blocks aces, and he's got top pair, top kicker. No heart. Um, 
you got to feel pretty good about your spot. But you know, if you start getting starts getting a lot of heat here, he's not going to love it. But pretty good spot here to start. One seventy-five. It's going to be a very small race. This is like a little bit of a exploitative raise. I mean, I think he just trusts Aaron not to bluff him. He does this. I know it feels, again, like a slightly weird line from Makita. Of course, Aaron's going to have hands that want to continue, like tens, nines, some flush draws. And he's going to have some hands that have decent equity, like king, queen, and even this hand that's 18%. Makes Aaron fold, put us 100k more. I've got a feeling, Jeff, that he's not going to do that against. You know, limping. There's and the there's other two limping, of course, as well. Just can't Extra. be strong. Right. Queen Jack suited. This is uh, surfs up. Surfs up. Fine. Aaron's laughing about the four deuce, but listen, if you're getting ace ten and it's not in there, I mean, what are you looking? For? What are we? What are we talking about? Yeah, it's bizarre. This will be a call, and they're going to be gambling. Fair enough. Sam will take it. Flip deck. Short deck here. That really does. Yeah, that's that's the mindset. That's how you win flips. If you're if yeah. you have the queen jack suit, you just pretend it's short deck. You're, you're like almost for sure winning. Your only hope is to get a set. I can do it. Ace five five. Ten great, great I flop for sevens. Five. <laughs> this, uh, I'm gonna ten of more. No, ten of hearts. Out. Ten of hearts will be a good sweat card. Ten of hearts would be a good, a good sweat card. The queen's a slightly better card for Sam. <laughs> oh, diamonds are good though. Diamonds are oh, now out. Diamonds. You got eleven <laughs> outs. You got eleven <laughs> outs now. Yeah, not too bad. Maximum pain here for Sam. Oh. We're running queens. Not much pain there. Four, right? Queens full. It's one of those spots too. Final tails. Everyone always Sam's it's unkillable. always rooting like against you. Like they want to pay jump. Yeah. Field the mandatory, almost a mandatory call, but I get it. Right. It is a. It's different, like you said. But you're in the money. You're gonna have the best hand almost always there. And so if you if you don't. Welcome back once again to Casino Sochi here in, of course, Mother Russia. We are watching the Million Super High Roller Series, event number four, the 50k No Limit Hold'em. And we are now playing heads up for the title. And of course, the small matter of the $765,000 that goes with it. Although, of course, just short of 500k locked up, so... Uh, a bad, not a bad payday for either one of these. And look at this, Jeff. They start basically even. The yeah. Russian and the uh, Belarusian. Yeah, this is... Uh, yeah, I mean, 40 blinds, not super deep, but still some playability. Be interesting to see how this plays out. Trophy right there in the middle, looking nice. Yeah, one of them's going to get their hands on it. Can you maybe push the trophy a little bit? Yeah, I was thinking that's kind of in the middle of the deal. <laughs> <laughs> nice problem to have, Jeff, when they put the trophy in the way, you know? Yeah, it's not Makita's first trophy <laughs> move. <laughs> yeah, they need to get in the way. I mean, uh, uh, I remember once being in the forge situation of having a, a similar problem with WPT when they just put the money in the way. You right, know, you can't see what the person's chip stack is. Was that Bellagio? Yeah. What you yeah. you got? What place? First, first, first. You want what year? Oh, I, th I thought Antonio, you got second one of, Antonio's one of those. Antonio's oh, he years. when he found it, so it was like 13, it was 2013 or 14. It was his middle. It was he did three in a row, didn't he? Antonio, yeah. Right? It was the middle year, so he was the defending week. champion, made the final again. Yeah, that was one of the, you know, there's a there's a million uh, like stories in poker, but that was pretty special from Antonio going. Three farm tables in a row in yeah. what is a pretty prestigious tournament, and also, as he mentioned at the time, right around his birthday. So yeah, it's like, that's oh, as weak. He loves it. He's just <laughs> feeling good there. His birthday every year, what they give him, they give him a final table in the, the five diamond. It's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Antonio won 
the two made two of the biggest WPT ones, uh, the the LAPC and then the right. Bellagio. Those are two of the bigger buy-in and bigger. Yeah, the, ones. the original sort of huge events, aren't they? Obviously, uh, nice for you to get. What was that purse for that year? It was uh, big back then, 1.5 or something. No, it was uh, it was 8.20. It was the it was the year they paid like 25% of the field for. Oh, they cut it reason. down a bit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not uh, complaining. No, yeah, that's a nice one. Especially like Del Antonio, nice little bad beat. With oh, you got him? Or six left or something, yeah. Oh, really? Jammed the ace four into his ace ten and spiked it on the turn. Oh, wow. Sent him to the rail. He's done all right since, though. You know, no, he's too bad. He's, no, he's he doing picked himself up, dusted himself off. and Yeah, he's, he's no dust next, there. Next year, he did okay. He played this little tournament. Uh, I don't know if you heard about it at the World Series. It was a million dollar The one buy drop? Him. The yeah. first one drop? Yeah, that was... Yeah. He played that, and he did okay in that, so... That's actually a crazy story as well. He wasn't going to play, and then a couple days before, he just started hearing it was going to be really good. He was like, ah, maybe let me make some calls, and then it was like hours later, it was just like, all right, I'm in. Yeah, he's uh, a... <laughs> I didn't, uh, yeah, I mean, it wasn't something I knew he was going to play, and I, I bought pieces and a couple other people, and, and uh, one of them was Jason Mercy, and he had that huge hand, Aces oh versus Kings against Jason, and I remember telling Antonio afterwards, and Antonio was like, well, why didn't you buy a piece of me then as well? <laughs> I'm, like, <laughs> yeah, it's I'm like, I didn't know you, you were playing. It was available, yeah, it wasn't, it was like a day before. 180. Wild stuff, huh? Those butterfly wings, they flap. Yeah, him Crazy and things happen. heads up. Not many million buying tournaments, of course. The Triton Million last year. It's getting gen. more popular now. Hello. Okay, we're definitely not playing short deck. We're flopping flushes. Makita on the button, 10 8 of diamonds. Unfortunately for him, Hotel has none of this. Interesting way he bet it. You saw that one chip followed by the others, just like, all right, mandatory, because he's going to probably bet 100% here on this board. Close to it, right, with the three diamonds having position. Right. Happens to have top of the range there. Of course, that one drop we're talking, we saw Sam Trickett take down the 25K. No, I'm hold him here, of course, was the runner-up to Antonio in that very event back in 2012. Yeah, still a cool 10 million plus score. Yeah. Nikita with the big hand for a heads up play. Interesting to see if see some limps or some raises. Looks like he's going for a raise with the 8-4 off. And uh, Makita, this is one of those hands that you feel very good about. You could, it's good enough to 3 bets. also just t plays so well post-flop and a little bit under rep. I think you could uh, go either way here, but I, I would... I would think call, right? I mean, even yeah. though... A call is definitely going to be the majority of the time, but yeah. you, you're going to free break this some of the time. I think you're right. It's just so pretty, too. It's just such a nice starting hand. Look at that. Look, he's up against the 8-4 off. And also, I guess it comes down a little bit to perception, right? To how does... Uh, I mean, I don't know how much Makita and Arto have played, but you, you're going to have a feel of your opponent and, and whether you think you want to always take a more passive line or mix in a lot more aggressive lines. Checks back the 8. Could go either way there, too. Some protection. It's a lot of bad cards. 9 10, Jack, Queen, Ace. But what a check back it was, given the Makita has out flopped him. Yep. Right, and there are a lot of sort of straight draws that Makita can wrap on this turn, right? 4 5, 5 7, even. You know, just some nonsense ones. 5 9. Yeah, maybe go bigger here, like 250. 4 but 7. 180. It goes fairly uh, exactly yeah, half, half pot. It's nice when there's a lot of plus you can have to actually have top pair. I mix it in there with them. I mean, he's got a nine. You can definitely do this with nine, ten, seven, nine, nine, five, as I say. Yeah. Arthur also does block the um, draws, sure. the, sp the spades and the. Wow, he's coming out with like a block kind of raise. 440. Yeah, this this accomplishes a couple things right. too, because now if you're Makita, you have a hand as strong as top pair with a okay kicker, and you're sort of on defense now because you're like, well, what is he raising? So now if he calls, you're gonna set up where, you know, Arthur has able to check back the river on a lot of rivers and right. not so not have to call. You buy the that. showdown. Yep. 
which um, makes some sense. And you make Makita fold some of those draws of equity, so. Yeah, I don't think Makita was expecting to get raised with his holding. And um, if you're Makita, yeah, tricky spot. You also realize this is potential of a spot. What is he checking back the turn that now he's right. betting the river turn, or he's leading out on? Like you would think he would bet his two pairs or his top pair. So, um, you know, still it's one of those things where you can't do much about it. You can't even if he's up, feels that something might be a little fishy. He's still kind of cuffed there to not being able to do much. So, let's see what the river provides, and uh, this could just go check check. Complete some of those straight draws. Both block a straight. And yeah, you'd expect this to check check now, right? Unless Alter really does decide he's got to get way out of line here. But as you say, it doesn't make sense to have a lot of hands that have checked back flop raised turn, but these guys will be balanced. Ding. So yeah, uh, that from that perspective, I think he kind of lost the min at that stage. Because let's right. say he just calls Makita may size up or go for a, a bet here on the river, and so he kind of lost the min right. in a way. But and you protect your hand against some of those gut shots that bet. Eh? You can see it. Obviously, it's not a play you can make every time, though, is it, Jeff? Although it becomes pretty transparent. Every time you come up with a small raise on the turn, they can just drop the hammer on you. And yep. Off you go. But to have it in there occasionally, it's going to be nice. Very real hand and heads up play, ace 10. Yeah, so we see some separation. Starts off as a, as the, even now, Makita with the, you know, realizes that worst case scenario, if they were to get it in, he would still have 1.5, 1.6, so good start. And he's gonna start limping. And Arthur on a 30 blind stack, roughly. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, again, that part of part of the balance, right? If you're going to limp ace ten, you're going to limp your your five sixes or seven right, eights, and, yeah, and uh, surprisingly, limps when they're still playing just over thirty effective. You think you see that 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 limp come in a lot more when you're talking about twenty big blinds and heads up, don't you, Jeff? Because your opponent's going to jam over the top uh, much wider. But with thirty, I'm kind of surprised to see it in there. Of course, I believe again we're playing no anti and heads up, so even more reason I think just to be raising it up. Your opponent's going to fold some more hands from the big blind when there's no anti in play and if there is an anti. We've got to find a place for this trophy, Jeff. It's they just shine it up. It's it's going to a side table, it's back on the main table. And what's going on here? I'll take it if no one wants it. This is nice. Oh, that's a good hand. <laughs> but hard for your opponent to have you know that's part of the problem you gotta have something then your opponent's got something right, and, and again there's no anti in play not surprising to see Makita forward that one. Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> not a big deal I wouldn't show though right kind of shows like Makita <laughs> like yeah. Yeah, yeah dodge didn't even call but bet Arthur maybe a little frustrating, you know, just kind of muck it. Not that it matters much, but... No, but you're right, yeah. It's, it's especially in, I think, uh, in in full table play, sometimes there's some card show, and I like Manta, but you're right, heads yeah. up. You, he's not your friend right now. Right. You've got to stay in that enemy mindset. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So he'll probably limp again. I mean, maybe he's just showing... I think he's thinking on the stack size if he wants... Maybe he miscalculated. You're right. I think 30 blinds so will be trying to min-raise, but... You know, it's, uh, he's definitely not not full in. So interesting, he's raising with his worst hands, flatting ace 10. And uh, this is a good spot for Arthur to check the temperature. Certainly expect to be raising his hand as strong as Jack's. Yeah, what, well, something like 600? Yeah. A little over 3x. Yeah. Yeah, and it's interesting you say that Makita as well, when he faces his 3-bet in a second, What's going to think? Oh, I limped ace 10. What? So sort of. Now I do raise, I get 3 bet. Maybe I should have stuck to uh, stuck to the limping. 
640, even a little more juice on it, but yeah. Yeah, well, it's it got to play this mine a little bit right. You limped, you saw the flop. Now you raise with 9-7, you got three bet. Maybe we'll go back to limping. Little does he know that his man had jacks. Where do you stand if you're at this table? I mean, any point in the table, let's just say heads up, this goes for an hour or so. Do you like to try to, are you looking at asking friends to send you, oh, what did he have or this hand, or do you just get in the flow of the game and not really matter and, and not worry about that? I think usually if I'm, when I've been on, on the stream tables and I've got something watching, I always ask them, look, don't send me any, any, any everything. Just send me anything that to you looks like kind of out of line from, yeah. from how we would expect, so. Yeah. I agree. Anytime they deviate from what you'd expect them to do, would be the time to send it. Which obviously means you've got to trust the person who's sending the information to be on the same wavelength as you, because uh, sometimes some things surprise others that wouldn't surprise you. Yep. What about you, Jeff? You, you, you want for the information? I used to be. I kind of feel that it doesn't really, uh, by the time that you learn it and then get it, if there's something that's similar enough or going to really matter, I think it actually is better just to be just in the moment, moment, play really just do your best and, and yeah sure if something was like crazy if there's like a hand it's interesting to know but then it might even like rattle you or like right like overthink that specific thing or whatever like even there you know i just i think it's better not to really worry about it because i just don't think it ends up usually mattering much i think it's a big difference as well when you've got this sort of situation where these players are going to know each other and familiar a lot different say if you're playing on a just a feature table on a large field event large field event when you probably don't know any of the players and then you get some information. Oh, okay, this guy's like yeah, seems like to be Aaron, pretty crazy. Maybe. He's like newer to the scene. Maybe you know, right. you know what? I'm thinking like if you're just in a, you know, uh, like say a multi millions regular rather than the high roller like series, players. and there's five six players you don't know, and you find out, oh, that that guy over there was. It turns out he has been going crazy. I saw him three bit a few hands, but I didn't yeah. know. That's information that's a bit more useful than just the intricate differences that people play hands. Yeah, I like this raise here. I saw that. I think he was going to do that just because, again, such a vulnerable hand if you're ahead and find out where you're at. Plus, you have some good turn cards. Right, with the five. Yeah. I'm ready for Power Fest. I'm ready. After watching this, I'm inspired. I'm you know, tough. let's uh, let's get some get some big action. You're going to be so playing these so events. We start this weekend, don't we? The Power Fest. It Sunday. On Sunday. So. A little Sunday grind here, Jeff. Before you uh, you head off, it's gonna be it's a late one if I you're will. playing here. I'm gonna fly, fly yeah. it all the way through. Maybe stay up through the night and, and hopefully hop not the miss plane. the flight. Yeah. What time does it leave? Actually, that could be a. I think we're, we're leaving at like ten or something. I think. Shit. Yeah. Ten or eleven. I'm mm. not sure. That would be a tough spot. I'll tell you what. Especially with what's going on, the I would. Uh, that would be. Uh, it'd be interesting to, to have, but I would. I would leave. I would have to. Blind, or no, I just switch it to mobile. Cut the stream yeah, and go. roll to the, roll to the plane on the, Power Fest final. Really Wi-Fi on the plane? Is the Wi-Fi on the way over? Mm, I don't think so, but I'm saying at least they like, take it to the airport. Though. Yeah, yeah. You could be, do, you could be like on the final table of a power fest, playing on a private jet on the way back to yeah. London. That be. Let's do it. That's how that's how Jeff grows rolls. You <laughs> know, this is the, this is what the the people want to see. That would be fun, but I don't, actually I don't think that jet did have uh, Wi-Fi, unfortunately. Okay, I'm sure we'll have to we'll have to get it installed for you. Yeah. It's, uh, we'll just leave you at the airport. It'd be a tough spot, but I'll tell you, getting home is, I wouldn't want to be here. And The thing is, it's a big difference. Like, there, I saw there was some stuff in Florida where they're they're recommending self-quarantine. I guess it was misinterpreted. They, at first, I thought it was for everyone, but it's saying for the high-risk countries, not right. Russia, not on that list at the moment. Interesting card here. So pretty nice turn for Arthur. Gets double-gutted. He checks it. Interesting that also Makita limped again on the button, and I'm a little surprised not to see Arthur stab this one with what is just a bad hand in ten high, but decent equity against exactly this kind of hand. But mm, it's going to work out. It. Makes his ten. Yeah, yeah, Makita can't check. He's up. Yeah, Jeff, I have to admit, last night I was uh, kind of fished my way to getting a seat on the plane because <laughs> I'm a little bit worried about getting home as well. I figure it's easy to be on that flight. Yeah, no It takes no me to completely the wrong part of the country for me, but... But it gets you direct yeah. there yeah, instead gets me, of going... It gets me back to the UK. I don't want to get... Yeah. I'm currently booked on a flight through Istanbul. And 
Yeah, I thought at least yeah. I might be in the far side just of London and I live just get I live south of London, but yeah. at least I'm back in the right country. You're in the right vicinity. And get a train and all's good. Yep. Скажите, меня можно как-то типа призарегистрировать? Yeah, someone in the shout out to Twitch, see see some familiar faces and people engaging. They said the Greenwoods basically got second. Right. Combined, yeah. that's a good point. Combined Team pounds. Greenwood. Yeah, getting the treat here also, too. Jeff, obviously in the break we went into the tournament room, didn't we? We saw the 50k short deck underway. I noticed those two on the same table again. Greenwood on Greenwood violence. It's lethal yeah. out here. You no, know, I was actually mentioning the Ace Ten spot Aaron folded, which we think is tight, but that's a that's a kind of the issue too. You could in poker there's not really necessarily you could always deviate from the exact you can make in-game exploits depending on what you're looking to do if you want to ladder not let's just say mm -hmm. let's just put this in perspective so greenwood it was luke greenwood right right, that's right nine blinds yeah. now let's now let's put sam greenwood in the big blind with the ace 10 and he folds people may be yelling collusion right and honestly well sam i'll just tell you sam would call right in that spot he, he would he'd know it's the best hand, but let's say he did fold like Aaron did, which you know obviously Aaron's not colluding with Greenwood. You know people might be saying, "Oh, look at this," and this, that could be a talk. You know, so it's like right. you got to remember there's a uh, you got to give a little bit of leeway in these situations and understand that there's not always one exact play and and uh, right and then, think I about mean, that again. That that comes back to kind of the big story was it uh, last summer or the, or the summer before with with Kristen and Alex on that final table and a, a, a kind of peculiar hand played out but when yeah. you break it down the way the hand played out it's definitely feasible the hand did play that way right um, but just because their boyfriend girlfriend accusations are going to be made when a play goes down but yeah and you know you, s you have you'll have friends who are playing poker tournaments got big PC each other no one mentions it because they're not siblings or they're they're not a couple right as you say there's always there's always that percentage of the way you play a hand and Surprised maybe uh, Jeff not to see uh, Alex Fox and a Kristen Bicknell here. Let's well, be right up their street, you know, like a little series of high rollers. Yeah, um, maybe from the. Uh, maybe it's one of the casualties from the yeah, not wanting to travel. Yeah, I saw Kristen just won a LAPC um, side event, so getting her trophy game on early in the year. I see Definitely. Alex took something down there as well, a 25k. What is it? Who is that over there? It was a 20 person. Yeah, 20, 20 around a 25k. Just just snap that one off. Nice and easy. It's Jeremy Osmus as well, and uh, Jake Schindler was supposed to be on this flight on the way over here and then didn't come last minute. Some strong players. Pick up the flop here. 8 3, Jack 10. And uh, it's just going to work. Heads up in the 50k, pretty, pretty uh, assuring that these guys both gonna have a good week here. I guess you know, you say there's still a 250k, there's still 100k's, but it does. Uh, yeah, half a nice million score. cash is gonna help you. You're gonna get, should be okay. Yeah, it should see you through the week. First price certainly was 765,000. Two pretty good heads up hands. And That's a pretty good flop for one of them. Makita, gonna love that. Almost too much of the board, but... He'll take it. Yeah. Also with a little interest still there, right? King high, he has a nine. Certainly wouldn't expect him to go away for the first bet. He realized he beats a lot of hands. 
and has some good turn cards. Makita doing his best not to look too excited. There is one of those okay turn cards for Arthur. Picks up a gut shot draw. Yeah, and if you're Makita, one of the actual worst cards, I think if you're, you know, hands that you could be a little worried about, 9, 10, but is it your heads up, you raise, does it really where you flop top trips? Right. With, does your opponent really have happen to have the best draw? I mean, there's just such a wide range of but, hands. But in terms of making a bluff more credible, right, you've got to be worried that he's got a hand like 9, 10, 9, jack, and jack 10, which have all improved. So it's less likely your bluff this card, I guess. Right. So maybe a card he checks back, I'm not sure. 600. I just, yeah. I, w I, w I, mean, I w I'm not explaining the check back with they say, but he's going to check yeah. back uh, yeah, yeah. a lot of his range. Yeah. Which I think Arthur was probably expecting to check that card. Obviously, you're going to have some bluffs that are going to carry on betting and do that. This hand seems like one of the best value hands to continue with. What do you think if, Ar if Arthur shoved there? What do you think Makita would do? I mean, obviously, like, I'm just. He high fives the dealer, he puts one hand on the trophy, yeah. and, then he, and then he calls. You think so? Yeah. He's just never folding, right? But I mean, he just has enough eights. He has some, like, some floats, I guess, that pick up hearts that might decide to bluff. Yeah. How cool would that be to do that? Do one of those celebration calls, you know? Mm hmm. You'd look silly if you got it wrong though, wouldn't you? Grab the trophy, <laughs> high five the dealer, cool, and lose to the straight. So Makita now over a two to one lead. That's been getting the best of it so far in this heads up battle. Queen six of diamonds, is he thinking about doing something with this hand, Jeff? This feels like one of the ones that you're gonna mix in some suited hands to three bet with. Queen six doesn't play the finest post flop, so maybe one you could have a little go with, put some pressure on Arthur now he's dropped below 30 picks. Yeah, I like it. I think those uh, those hands such as the weak king, king suited, jack suited, queen suited, separation hands like this, definitely good. Maybe queen six he thinks a little too good for that, but still, yeah, I think he, you could tell he was he was thinking about it. Big flop for Arthur. So does queen high, but does pick up spades. Both players will feel good about queen high on this kind of board there, right? Yeah. Arthur gonna bet. Keep the queen six high, no backdoor draw. Queen six of hearts, maybe take one off here. Queen six of diamonds, probably gonna be a fold. Yeah, I mean that no backdoor situation is not ideal, but Makita and a creative player. All right, I'm gonna stick around. Well, that's not a bad card for him. Just loses the king seven or ace now. This one probably just gets the showdown, Jeff. Don't see either player betting now. I could see a Makita lead. Wow, you're on it, Jeff. You are on it. Yeah. I mean, just kind of one of those spots where if you take the lead now, why? <laughs> Like, right, if you had a king or a seven, like, you don't want to just let him check back necessarily. I don't know. I just feel like it, you take control of the hand a bit. One behind. It's just weird. I guess you stop and checking back. Yeah, those those hands that have equity, like eight, nine. And something. also, yeah, you just let. Exactly. Surely now it's check, check, Jeff. I can't see what a bet now accomplishes, but. Yeah, you're not getting ace high to fold. If your opponent had a king, you would just call. Queen high. It's a funny hand. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, what if he if he doesn't have the spade draw there too? Not that the spade draw is so valuable. I mean, he's basically playing queen high, right? His flush. Right. Would happen to be good, but you know, he's, that's got, what's he going to do with him when he has uh, Jack Ten? I, I mean, I think he's still going for for one blind. I think he's 
not falling on flush straw, but yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. It's interesting that that's the size he elected to lead with, just one blind. I mean, looking at guys like Aaron, Carrie Katz, Paul Pua, some of these other guys that have had some good results, m multiple final tables, good scores early, even though small 25K events, you know, you get a third, a second, a fourth, decent scores. You, know, you start saying these series are pretty intense because the buy-ins are big, and some of these 50Ks and 25 guys are in for two, three, four bullets, and the, the thing you talk about, you could be in a million dollars of buy-ins with one with one re-entry in the 250k and, and right. you fly over here you come out and you know you could there's going to be guys that that offer that just yeah. don't even get on the that don't even get some a contenders flag. already you know yeah some top players in that in that mix of course already. it's uh these these series are intense that's why it's so nice to get on the board early just a little confidence a little little something right helps the helps and of course when you get a heads up or you get a win it's a big deal Kids are going to check back his deuce and gin on the turn. Surprise, Jeff, that you checked yeah, on back uh, a limpo. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't go for a prediction there because I would be almost sure he'd bet that one. Kind of fun now. We both thought he was going to bet a deuce. Alter probably thought he would as well. So now he, now he gets to have the one of those fun spots, right, where you've got a hand you're not supposed to have. Yeah, true. But at the same time, if you're Arthur, you would expect he has some showdown value, like a maybe a big an ace high, like you know. So like, it's, was he just going to start betting? You he would bet five six on the flop. He would bet, you know, what hand does he just start betting with now that you're beating? Like you would think he would stab with like jack, ten, right? Right. Like so, it's like what what hand does he check? It's kind of. I don't know. He kind of curious. Called, he called once with the queen high. Ace on the river is kind of a. Good card for Arthur to see. I don't think Nikita has too many aces the way this one's played out. So Yeah, he's going to bet his ace fives, his ace threes, probably his weak aces, ace, right, all he's, ace he's six, gonna ace seven. He's going to raise some of them pre-flop. Yeah, so it's kind of kind of bizarre hand. So yeah, I, if I'm sad, though, I don't think Nikita's got a lot on this board. 640. And that's why he's gone huge, double pot. When you can't have a lot. Means you got mostly bluffs. Means you go big, but I mean, Alto Queen Seven. I mean, this would be a stretch, wouldn't it? I mean, it was already the lightest hand he'd called turn with. You'd imagine. Yeah. I mean, Alto can have some ace highs. That have got to the river. He can have. Uh, I guess some fours, even a nine, maybe. Playing out of position. The th yeah, and exactly in the spot, you're basically repping a deuce, essentially, or just like somehow a random just stone air bluff. And uh, it's, it is a cool sizing, but I just see, yeah, I don't love it. He has a club in his hand, but he would probably bet club draws on the flop. He's in two, got him in the tank at least. Yeah. He's burning some banks. Arthur's just piecing this together. Like you say, the sizing's so big. He's, he's saying, like, yeah, at least a deuce. Three, five, you'd imagine best stuff up if it got there. Hmm. Myself and Jeff both thought, wow, he does make the call. We both thought he'd better deuce in the flop, and Arthur pretty good. Feels like got stuck on that moment, didn't he? He got stuck on the thought that should a deuce, best the flop. He doesn't have one of those. So, uh, well, like, a really nice spot for Mikita, like I say. He has a hand he's not supposed to have and gets paid off to extend a double pot by Queen High. Uh, and Jeff, I mean, we're saying, like, doesn't like he has a hand, but sometimes I think you have to get the benefit of the doubt. And maybe when you've got the weakest hand you can have in, in Queen 7, that's the time you just go, you know what, I have to fold some of the time. Yeah. Um, Take my queen. Maybe I'll call with a four. Maybe I'll call with a nine if I have one. I, I just have some ace highs that got there. I think that... that that's where I, th I don't like the call in particular is because 
all his like jack highs and lower, he's gonna bet the flop. I think. Yeah. Like why? What? What hand now is he betting the turn that he just decides to go nuts with that he didn't go on the flop with? Now big lead. Makita 5.2 plays 1.4. Arta below 20 big blinds. Limps in the first hand. Yeah, I think he's just gonna shove here. I mean, that's still how many blinds though? He's got uh, about like 19. 20. I think it's a shove. Uh, I think. No ante in there. True. I'd be happy to check this one. It's nice to have an ace sometimes in these spots. No way. I just. No, you're right. Let's rip it in. I just, I just feel that. Yeah, that hand two ace three. It's like what, it's just against what he's actually limping. It's just a good candidate. A sub twenty, you're gonna win. Right. Pick it up most of the time. Archer's probably not trapping in that spot and it's uh, a little Maybe bit of momentum set setter and and it's just a good you're just going to be in the three lead. right you got a three in your hand that's not so great yeah playing out of position yeah you just you're, what what board are you really going to like to see ace high i mean maybe then he's i mean yeah i guess on an ace high board he's gonna he's gonna rep right but there's three against the cowboys yeah i think makita is going to start limping uh almost 100 percent here, but this is, I mean, it's suited, right? 3-2, he's probably one of the few hands he'd fold, but the 3-2 uh, suited. I think he's just going to come start limping, and uh, Arthur with the pretty one to see. Heads-up's never over. You know, one one double, and then you're a double away from the lead, so it's, right. it's not so far out of reach. Yeah. Very small raise. Just begging him in there. It's really inviting. And Makita, from this perspective, it's actually like the worst. It's actually a bit annoying because, like, if he makes it 240 or 300, you know, you're just like, all right, whatever, I'll move on. But like, for this actual price with the suited hand, yeah, calling 120 to basically have a chance to end the match. Um, it's, yeah. It's a weird. Si it's hard to imagine this is a balance sizing, 200. Yeah. Well, a little something from Makita. A deuce. And the double backdoor back door. straight draw, backdoor flush draw. Quarter pot bet on the broken board. Yeah, I think if you're Makita, you do realize that too. With that sizing, it, it just screams like Queen's plus, right? Like it's like if he had Ace King even, he's probably not going to give him that price. Right, it so just, it's like I mean, it, it's hard to imagine it's balanced. I'm with you. He probably thinks his opponent has and a that's super okay. strong and, and, and again, in this scenario, it's like you don't have to be super, you know, it, it, you can be weighted where it's it's even obvious and you just, like, go for it there. Oh, wow. Wow. More outs for Makita. No, no. I'll, I'll talk and kind of go any sizing here, right, because it sets up nicely for the river. Only 1.1 behind. Yeah, I think he'll go 300. Yeah, it seems like half pot. Leave yourself three quarter pot. All That's right. Surprising. Lair trap. Makita's got to love to see that because I think if you're Makita, you just take a free one here. You're not scared of the ace peeling off. Your hand sort of, he's not going to give it three. And uh, I don't know. I just don't see a ton of merit in bet in here. What do you think? I'm, I'm with you. It just, I it's just feel like his so, hand so looks bad so if you get jammed on. Yeah. Against Kings, you see that we got 29% mm -hmm. equity. Interesting. Uh, I guess at the same time, if you do think your maybe opponent has ace, could have ace queen or ace x, you're they're not folding ace x's, but I don't know. I'm not in love with that. And I, if no. you're, I mean, let's see what happens now. If he gets jammed on, it's just it's puke. But then Alto may, you know, just go into trap mode. With those, with these kind of hands, no, he does move it in. See, yeah. this is the problem. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not. I don't like so this at all. Cannot get away. Sick. Uh, nicely He's played by Arthur. I, I hate the bet actually. Yeah, I just. Get away. I think uh, given our, I mean, again. Jeff, we're sitting here in the booth. Yeah, we can see he's got kings. He makes course. it 200, but yeah, it does it scream of like a really big hand. The check on the turn was sneaky, though. I guess maybe he, I, you know, Makita believes he would be bet, keep betting his, those hands, though. So I just think 
with Makita's particular holding, he has to be aware of that. Like that, right. whether yeah. he's yeah, yeah, he's getting so. two to one. Decides the call. Obviously, nearly getting the right price if he's against kings, and right. and there are some bluffs in there. Maybe he has some ace highs. He has yeah. some heart draws. Yeah, for sure. So mm. I just think I'm saying, mm. and if you're gonna bet, you gotta be you're just bet calling it off. Right. So it's she like she feels pretty grim yeah. with bottom pair. Which you gotta be aware of it. Like a bet fold would be atrocious. So I think check back would have been nicer. And well, a six three or deuce thirteen outs one to come. His attempt to win this trophy, not to be. And I, I would say that's a misstep from Makita, and and really well executed by Artur to keep in the deuce three suited. He did. He right. knows he's taking a bit of risk with the sizing. It's small, but you got kings. It's heads up, and you're short. And uh, really couldn't have gone any better for him there. Makita still, of course, with the chip lead. Yeah. But well, that does bring Artur back into it. Yeah, I think Makita knows. Like that's the uh, what? It, why did I do that face? Because I think he could have saved himself a, a pile of chips there. But you're right, and it is. It's always that's the that's a tricky thing in the booth. It's fun to kind of predict what people might do, but it it's always even a little different when you're predicting because you actually have the information, right? And you right. see like the like oh this says this and what. So it is tricky. And it's it's easier to just say what what to do when you see the cards you're biased but I do think uh, would have been better the other other way so four million plays two and a half as we move up to 50k 100k auto he's had some big starting hands he hasn't had the best of it post flop that much Jeff in this match but Could Makita go off the rail here and just like three bet this try to like kick a little momentum back say he just doubled and I mean I feel like Makita does like some of these uh yeah. does uh, I, he just when he starts thinking but this yeah. hand is also jack five suited would be great the jack five off it's, it's such a grim hand yeah. I'm, I'm surprised he didn't just fold it to be honest it's close with no ante I True. think with an ante the argument for calling is obviously much stronger but That's 100 here. I mean, yeah, like it. You want to deny a jack queen king equity. Unlikely your opponent has the ace. And if he has a seven, you're going to catch him, hook him on potentially in a, you know, a bad, really bad spot. So look at this. Back up to 3 million. Making a fight of it. What a great game poker is. How f I mean, just so fun. So many unique situations. Even just different opponents, different hand selections, different positions, stack sizes. Just always, it's always exciting. Especially when you're playing for large money, big big names. It's fun to watch them work. The king four suited. That was that was maybe the most special hand of the final table. Right. Yeah. If you weren't watching earlier, that was a case of Alta limping under the gun with I think it was six handed plays still few short stacks around there. He was in second place, and Makita just ripped it in from the big line with king four of clubs as the chip leader, really putting pressure. Uh, of course, there was a, a button limp from Aaron, and a uh, carrier completed the small, so he just decided to have those nine big blinds written in the pot. Yep. Screw you guys. Wow. Arts are going for a, with the, the worst, the bottom of, basically of his hands raising here. We saw what he did with Kings on a limp. He goes a little bigger here, but not much. Right, going 3x rather than 2.5. Obviously, a little deeper now. Makita going to come along with the best hand. Can't know it. Can't assume that when he is limp calling with 8 <coughs> high. Yeah, again, uh, I'll have to perhaps need to size up a little bit, but... See how this one works out. Ace, king, nine. Well, certainly a board that favors his range. Yeah, expect him to bet here. Or, uh, or else he's just going to, it's just a stone cold give up. But 
that can make sense. And that's one of the benefits of when your player limps and you raise with the hand like 5-3 or one of the worst hands and you get a board like this, you get to rep it. So you really, that, that's what it accomplishes, a yep. big part of that. And uh, nice executed hand. What was the sizing, 200? Okay, yeah. So, yeah, and that would have been a one, one, one pump chump be yeah. done there. He gets called there. He's, he's not, that's just a... Just a shot. Momentum certainly the way of Arta. Yeah. Body language tells you a story, doesn't it? Yeah, Makita looks a little perturbed. This one may go a little while, Jeff. He's got some legs. I see a lot of debate in the chat on the Party Poker TV Twitch channel about that call from. Uh, Makita, you saw he was getting uh, two to one and, and was just under 30% yeah. equity. So he was saying you can't call there. Well, you can. I mean, this is kind of the worst spot he's going to be in was hand like kings. And obviously, aces would be slightly worse if his has gone. Them. But there are going to be occasions where he's somehow ahead there. And you factor those in, it becomes a call. Remember, no ICM, of course. Situation heads up. You're just playing pure poker. Guaranteed 495, playing for 765. Shows the deuce. Deuce has been a good card for him. He got his big over bet <laughs> with the deuce, but then the deuce three suited cost him a big pot. If my deuce was a diamond, I would play. <laughs> so in Belarus, they speak Russian, but also Belarusian? Is there a language? I think it's is just, it just the one language Russian? in Belarus, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> hmm. Whoa, big hand and Arthur on the button going to decide to now limp. They're even stacked. Blinds 50, 100, so effective. Just over 30 big blinds each. And Makita with a powerful, powerful hand. And he is weighing his options, but just a matter of sizing. I think he'll, whatever, 350, 400 out of position. 30 blinds. Might go 400. Six. Okay. <laughs> just completely savage sizing. And again, yeah. he's, uh, it's one of those spots where, you know, when you, when you do like, when you raise like that, though, let's say your opponent did limp the ace jack. He did limp the right, two you nine. Get him. You're just going to, like, get him to freak out because you're like, well, you know, that's, uh, I, I get it. I was, uh, it's really big though. I, I, I don't, you don't l normally see a 6x raise out of the position. Right, especially a uh, no anti game. Yeah. But Jeff, I had to have a quick look there. Obviously, uh, I was completely wrong. Belarusian is also a language in its own right. So apologies there to any Makita fans. Obviously, these two, I imagine, are speaking Russian to each other. I think most people from Belarus would speak both languages. Yeah. to open this one up. 220, slightly more than min this time. This is the Millions Super High Roller Series. 50K No Limit Hold'em event. Then you assume, Jeff, that after we finish this heads up match, we will switch coverage over to that 50k short deck event that is getting underway in the same room. We have three 25ks. This is the first of the 50s. And then tomorrow, of course, the 100ks kick off. Nine of them and short deck both coming in. Before Friday, the big one starting the Super High Roller Bowl Russia, which will, of course, be exclusively on Poker Go. Arthur raising the button, king eight. Makita in the tank, king nine in the big. Yeah, big, big jump here in the title, the trophy, the glory. The game very even in chips, Jeff. 
all these pots now. We're just playing 30 picks okay. effective. They're all so valuable. And Makita flops best on King 9-5. 10 mm. 9 pardon me. Now a king. Now Arthur's in trouble. Interesting spot, Art having checked back 10 9 5. He's going to check back that flop. Quite a few hands given a wet texture. Having raised pre, Makita's going to hit that with some frequency. Maybe a big, big bet here. Makita seems to be going pretty big on a lot of these spots. 400. There we go. Does exactly that pot with kings up. And second out, he knows Art's going to have hands like this. A king. Going to check back. Doesn't check back a 9 on the flop given Makita has one, he imagines. Obviously, Arts are going nowhere with top pair. My bar, a scary river, which that is somewhat. Hmm. Mikita, Mikita can think that's Jin, right? He can think he's up against the hand, like ace, jack, ace, queen. Yeah. Yeah, I guess he would check back maybe that exactly ace, jack, ace, queen, and then call the turn, think he could have the lead. But on the um, flip side, it, it could be against kind of like ace five as well, right? Would ace five call the turn? I don't know. Right. But still think Makita's, you've got to feel really good here, of course. And if you're Arthur, though, it's a bit confusing. There are draws that miss, though, that he would check out of position on the flop and then lead the turn. I and mean, there's a lot of draws. Right. Jack eight, jack seven. Um, yeah, somehow. Arthur does have a heart in his hand. Seven, eight. Yeah, that that eight in his hand and having yeah, a heart. Yeah, it's not really a great. I mean, I guess the king of hearts isn't really a blocker because you don't think Makita's going to be that big with the king high flush draw, right? But I mean, he doesn't obviously can't have that hand. But the the eight is certainly a bad one. You want him to have jack eight. You want him to have eight seven. You want him to have even maybe queen eight. Nine fifty. Yeah, but at the same time, this is a bit. Well, let's see, I mean. This is a bit difficult, I think, for Arthur to fold, though, because you saw he called with queen seven in like a spot where I thought it's like almost really hard to call. Here he turns top pair. Makita's barreling off there. What aces does he really have? He just calls out of the big blind with lead the turn, so it's like. Right, he's saying he's got two pair plus here, isn't he? Yeah. <clears throat> Arthur makes the call and completely deal. understandable. Down to just 1.5 million. Yet again, Matika, Makita takes a big lead in mm. this one. Back to playing 15 big points effective. Yeah, Makita, it's really, really fun to watch his bet sizings, and you can tell he's uh, he's got special abilities on on really understanding where he's at and what, what his opponent has, too, and what he's targeting. Chip. Look at that. Big lead once again. If you missed the earlier action, that's how they finished. It went Canada, the USA, Canada, the USA. A couple of Greenwoods, Van Blokram, and Carrie Katz were in the mix. Now on the rail. Of course, Victor Malinowski was in the mix as well. He came seventh. Uh, brought seven players back today. That's how many cashed. These two guaranteed just that smidge under half a million. <laughs> Kita on the button, seven five off suit. Now certainly a situation Jeffrey's gonna have to bring a lot more limps into the strategy with Alta having fifteen bigs. So you use a 7-5 as one of those. Also happy to see a flop with the dominating queen five of diamonds. Chip. Queen, jack, jack. Makita gonna take a stab for one blind, but this one's not gonna work, Arto with top pair.
Can't see Makita firing a second time here with no pair, no draw, being called on that flop. A bet's just designed to knock out all sorts of garbage when you've been called. Hard to imagine. Uh, many hands that fall for the second barrel. There are a lot of draws, though. But right, but I agree. I, I, d in these spots, I would just think they're the best course. Best course of action is just to uh, want, you know take a stab wow. and be done when you have no equity. But he's going for just, it. This surprised me as well. It does go for but, it? Uh, is he maybe thinking right? Okay, some of those draws like King Ten probably just jam pre. I, 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 nine I don't and ten. Yeah. What what real draws are they? Eight nine. But then but then we're waiting more towards having hands like a queen or a jack. This is this is an odd one for me, yeah. Jeff. I'm surprised by this. Me too. Well, now makes showdown. Certainly going to check. I check. Queen five. Yeah, peculiar one. <laughs> yeah, I wonder. Does he on the river there? If he has, if he doesn't hit the showdown, right. is he doing something there? But then, surely the second bet. I mean, I thought the first bet was designed to knock out the, the, the most of the no pair hands. The second bet certainly knocks out the draws. So then you're down to just the made hands. You'd think. Right. It's kind of like fake showdown value. I think when he checked, I think he was expecting to win. No, to be fair though, there are some f there are some hands that just call one with with king high, ace high that are just like right. You know, but I mean, yeah. But I, I ace ace highs with 15 blinds. He's limped in on a, quite a few of those are raising up though. That's the thing. Oh, true. Yeah. So yeah. it's more probably like some king highs, but but maybe yeah. I don't, I don't love it. I mean, but then again, listen. He's, he's Makita. <laughs> Makita. And he's finishing tournaments. He's playing the highest stakes. And, and, and he and he's done some stuff today, Jeff, that we didn't expect him to do. That worked out really well. Right. Artur bets his bottom pair. Backdoor straight draws Mikita. The queen high flush draw. With an over and a pretty strong flush draw, would expect Mikita to, to put some pressure here and covering healthily. Seems like a good spot to to go for it. All right. 375 or 400. He's, he seems to go big on a lot of these spots. So. Yeah, obviously Alta starting the hand with just 20 bigs, so any kind of sizing really starts ramping this one up. 400. 400. There it is, he does go pop. And uh, if, if you're Alta with the Queen Deuce, it's, it's really not a fun spot, right? Because it's like, if you're ahead of a hand like this, what are you going to do? And what, he has queen 10, he has 10 8. Right. He's got all this paid draws. You're flipping absolute he's, best. It's just like, you're just guessing blind. You know, it can't really, no defense for that. Mm. We are in Sochi, Russia. See Twitch live and well. Hello to everyone. Let us know where you're watching from. Who do you pick to win? Keita has got a nice lead right now, but heads up, anything can happen. Let us know what you guys think. Akita looking for another 50K title. All right, Makita limping in on the button. Well, well, I like this. He's got a king, king five. He knows Makita's limping wide. I mean, if somehow he has a ace ten type hand or whatever, it's still, still okay. And it's just gonna win that most of the time. So I like that hand selection. Also, post flop doesn't play so well. Gonna get outplayed a lot on that, on most boards without hitting the king. You hear a lot of noise in the background, Jeff, that 50k short deck. Tables always seem to be a little bit louder in the short deck. Yeah. It's a lot more post-flop. There's a lot more just limping and seeing flops. There's also, 
you know, it's just a little more relaxed environment. Ten eight suited, four five. Good board for a bet. See bet here, he's got back doors, he's gonna just win a lot. Unlikely Makita's got aces. Team Makita check raise. This one's a little different. We saw that 6 4 where he hit the pair. It's just the ace right. out there. It's just a little bit different spot. And then no real backdoor draw with his, his kicker last time. It was, what, 5 6 on a 6 4 board? Yeah. Halter, certainly a card you can consider Baron in again, right? Picks up diamonds. Yeah, it puts a lot of pressure on a 9 or a 5. But when you get called, you got to believe. Got to believe your opponent has at least something. Yeah, like it goes, goes big, goes 400. It sets up nicely for a river jam, but and also Jeff, as you said, just puts loads of pressure on those weak pair hands, like the one Makita has. Hard to see him calling again. He's, he's he's skeptical. Doesn't look like a release position to me, but I would think it's hard to hold on here. The problem is, like, what what river are you looking for? Yeah, I can't see. I can call this. Yeah, you can be ahead. He you looks like he wants to, but I, I I just yeah, I agree with you. I would I would, I would think fold, but it doesn't look like he's folding. I'll tell you that. You know, has been limping a lot on the buttons. He still has all the strong hands. He has 10 jack, 10 queen, those type of hands he's going to keep barreling to. The diamonds, but he's going to give it up. I think his spidey senses were on, but yeah. really just He's can't. fighting for every pause, and Makita never gives one up easily. No. Nice play by Arto. Deuce off. No more. Lost a big one last time. Queen seven suited. Guys are trading blows here. Arthur's still in the mix. 2.1 million. I think we're going to play fast. I think we're going to play fast. Ну, это хорошо, что быстро не заканчиваем, потому что иначе мне было бы обидно, что я там, знаешь, на пять минут опоздал. Так нормально. Час пропустил. Saying, but <laughs> explaining pleasantries, King Deuce, ten hey, six suited. If you do, if you do know what they're saying, pop it in the chat. Let everyone else know. Yeah. Self and Jeff are keeping an eye on that Party Poker TV Twitch chat. Got a weak king, suited king. I think you'd see the the raise here, but the King Deuce off. I don't know. Also merit to doing that. I think he just thinks about every hand, doesn't he? Every situation. Nothing's an auto from Makita. All in. Wow. 20 bigs. Says run it. Note to self, I, when I get heads up king. with Makita, I'm going to have a couple extra traps, a couple <laughs> yeah. extra limps. Limp your king X's. Yeah. He likes to jam with those. If you get heads up with Makita, Jeff, you're doing something right. That's true. You're too. playing a big buy in tournament. That's that was the first thing I was thinking. When? When? It's the 250k on the weekend, Jeff. I know you're going to be in there. The Super High Roller Bowl Russia. That's it. We got our champion already. I keep going back and forth. I keep thinking, yeah, you know, got watching everything's dialed in. Then I go walk in the room, like, yeah, these guys look pretty tough. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it goes back and forth. Look at Trickett, though. He hasn't been in this, this doing too much tournament work and he just comes in and rips it off first one he plays here he did get a fortunate 
hand versus Ivan, though, heads up. Yeah. I mean, granted, he was heads up. But I he mean, did. you win a two-man, you got to get a fortune, right? Yeah, and he also made some great plays with against Ivy with the ace four, some other little spots, some other, you know, he was he seemed pretty in tune to the, the situations. Makita limps in, King Deuce, Arto going to pop it up with Jack Tennis bed. certainly a hand worthy of a raise. Yeah, I mean, I know, that, I know the Twitch chat, Jeff, they'll be rooting for you to get in there. Get in that 250k, come on. Get the fans what they want. I could put some up on Stay Kings, maybe sell a couple points there. It's there a, we go. It's a lot. 250's got a lot of meat on it, though. <laughs> You've got to sell a lot of action to get in yeah. the 250, right? Yeah. If anyone's got the contact book, Jeff. I'm going to make, I'll, yeah, slowly, maybe each day send a text or two. Pull, <laughs> yes. pull on Antonio, last minute, hop in, wasn't planning on playing, and yeah. rip it off. I, all jokes aside, like, in terms of watching, like, a week straight, because it's like forced studying, in a way. You know, this is, like, fun. It's good, but, like, how yeah. many times am I going to sit at home and spend six, eight hours a day watching, like, stuff right. I'm not and so it's here it. yeah you get to walk through talk through see interesting plus not to mention we get to know some of these players pretty well and what their current state of mind is and, and strategy like if I were sitting in the 250k and I'm with Aaron if I'm with Paul if I'm with uh you know Makita I'm gonna I'm gonna be like you got some adjustments it's different though because we're a lot of times we're seeing the final table and strategy and ICM and things are different but still get a good idea of what they're capable of and what they're up to after Olympian and King Private Diamonds flops, nothing but a backdoor flush draw. Does decide to stab with that. Makita has the other flush draw, the one from the front. Does decide just to cool again. Like doesn't want to get blasted off it right if you, if you raise here. And oh, hello. Mm, everyone's got something. Hmm. So, this feels like a must bet from Rikiti, do you think? Yeah, I mean, right, five high certainly not good, but other side of that is bet, check. Does does uh, Arturo have some give ups? Sure. Um, yeah, what I guess would he value bet a queen at this point? Of course he could have an eight. It's unlikely to have an ace based on how it's been playing, what, we, what we've seen. With an ace, I think we've seen Makita on the limps he's been shoving, right? I mean, not that he's always going to do that. But um, it's probably going to get called that size. Right, half pot. I mean, Alta has king high. Doesn't block. You know, I guess jack 10 jack is a 10, really good nine, one. 9, 10. 10. Does block the backdoor diamonds, though, which is a little concerning. So I guess the only one that you'd be worried about is the king high. Oh, he does fold it. Hmm. Yeah, I could see either one on that. But. Yeah, Makita can have some queens, can have some aces, can even it's have It's just peculiar. He calls that queen seven such a huge bet spot right. here. Like, the king seems clearly a lot more likely hands he's beating and folds for smaller, but... All right, blinds going up, 61-20. This one's turning into a little bit of a marathon, considering we have a reasonably quick structures here this week. The super high roller guys <laughs> like a little faster the game. There you go, Jeff. The chat's lighting up. Everyone wants to buy pieces of you in this 250k. I could put it we, up. We've got to make it happen. Come on. Come on, Twitch chat. Pressure him. <laughs> Get on him. I might have to do it. Here yeah. we go. Like he's getting the phone out. He's I'm having to think about it. Come on, guys. Keep him. Keep him at it. Makita limping, a6 of clubs on the button, Artur, 15 bigs, checks his deuce for offsuit. Mm. Wow, <laughs> any pair Makita made would be dangerous, Artur would make the straight. Yeah, if you play four deuce, and well, I guess he was forced into that. But if you have four deuce and you flop this board, this is about best case scenario. And uh, I think you uh, makes sense. Just almost just a call here, just so sneaky, right? And if your opponent somehow lumps an ace and ace comes, you could get dream right. of dream situations. Um, so I, I like Colin. He has a diamond, actually relevant. 
happens to be good. And uh, won't connect there. I mean, he's going to win this pot a fair amount in the river, right? When it go, if he goes check check here and he gets to bet, gets to rep some of those flop pairs. Yeah. Not many draws are check calling on this flop. Right, and when you limp, though, Nikita very aware that he has the full range, right? He could have 4.6, four, 4.7, four, all these things. And uh, he is going to back into a winner here. Right, probably no reason now, of course, to bet. Happy to get that deuce to showdown. Not going to really make any better fold unless you go big. You could bet small, though, because it looks like Makita's kind of giving up. What hand would he bet flop, check, turn? You know, maybe he has some, like, ace highs, but... I don't know. You bet he calls with a five or a three in you. In the work. Yeah. No, it's it's too it's fancy. Too fancy. Yeah. It's too fancy yeah. with Jeff, you know when uh when this tournament does finish, obviously we're gonna be taking a break until the fifty K short deck day one. Um in that break I wanna see you hard working, selling pieces, getting yourself in this two hundred and fifty. Listen, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. I may as well just get it over with. Text, yeah, text been, it out been, and see if I'm in or you've out. Been, you've been on the fence. Let's, let's tip you one way or the other. Let's see what happens. Artur, 18 bigs. It's just under 2-1. to one. As these two play out for event number 4, the 50k. No limit hold'em. say we do have extra coverage coming later of course with that 50k short deck it is day one for now of course we stay with this the 50k long deck as the guys call it what day does the 250 start friday or saturday friday, so yeah. three day friday saturday and then friday saturday sunday yeah hmm. three days. so then i couldn't stream sunday <laughs> I don't know if I could pull together a stream if I busted 250k and then like tough, go right? It would be kind of tough. Other side is maybe cash, get knocked out, hop in. There we go. That'd be fun. Imagine you, yeah, you just cash it. Yeah. And bust out and you're playing on a high. 320. Right. Putting some pressure on. This is a weird one because this is sort of like too good to fold, but he's not going to limp jam, so I'll go to a flop. Are you surprised Mikita didn't go perhaps a little bit larger than that with mm. his race? Wow, what a flop for Arthur. Smashes the 667. Makita has, well, he has a heart and he has a nine. Certainly. Hand that can see and get in some trouble here. Yeah, also probably not a ton of hands. He puts, you know, six is one of those cards and hold them. It's like a, it's just a dud. Right. And you're like, what hand is he going to limp call like this spot with? Right, the six so, and the seven. Yeah, yeah they're the both pretty thing. dead cards. So this is a, a gin situation for Artur. All right, he's thinking Arthur's more likely to have a hand like Queen Jack, Queen Ten, these kind of things. 220. 220. And if you're Arthur, I think uh, it's a very draw-heavy board, but your opponent, ra opponent uh, I think you have to give him some rope here. Yeah, I mean, there's no way you can do anything but cool. You've got the button. It's really easy to get this in by the river anyway. And as you say, I mean, he just has a lot of weak hands, doesn't he, Arthur? He's still going to have some of those on the turn, so you've got to mix in some strength. It's all sort of... Well... The other side, the flip Ow. side, I'm surprised, but the flip side is it's a really draw-heavy board, and if your opponent did raise you and has a big hand, you know, which in heads up, it's hard, but like, you know, he did he right. have queen. What's he doing with jacks, tens, queens? Right, yeah, he's getting all of those. He just gets a flush draw that go in. Yeah, so, you know, it's uh, it's also a player like Makita, you want to give him a little rope, you want to also maybe do something contrarian that you think that the book says and wow. interesting, and Makita is going to hook on here. Wow, Makita just thinks this is never a strong hand. And there we go, I mean, we yeah. didn't think he was going to raise this flop. Jeff Makita obviously is thinking the same, but I mean, 
Oh man, that's this the car is, that's gonna get Makita in trouble. Oh, a lot of trouble. This is a literally blocker city. Like for him, he's got a great, great hand to go crazy here with. Does he just lead here? Does he just put it in? Could yeah, stack the pot. Like what's he gonna do? Check it to him, and then he doesn't want to call a, a jam. Um, so yeah, it actually makes sense, right? Just rip it. Eight nine. You balance that. Would he raise eight nine though? Suited pre flop. So like that. There's that. I mean, I but, it, but he can have hands like jacks and queens and stuff here that right. They right. don't want to check again and give a card, but yeah. Okay, does check it. Maybe looking instead, Jeff, to this one going perhaps check check and he gets to bluff the river. Doesn't expect Alter oh. to bluff the second time. Mm. Wow. Damn it! Give me a count. You know, do still watch him? Нет, 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 нет. I think that's also part of the thing. Like in his mind, he probably says, "Like, yeah, maybe ripping's the best play." But, but what am I really right. repping? But like, if he if he checks the turn here, and Arthur was bluffing and just gives up and checks back, then Gita gets the better river and win the pot, right? Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, Mickey just put himself in some tough spots in this someone with some unconventional lines. I think this one he's going to get away from. I mean, I mean he's getting two and a half to one. Jack nine, Jack eight with the hearts. Was did super well. This is ambitious to think he has jack nine, jack eight, eight with the with heart, heart, and yeah. this to raise him on the flop, and then. Seven eight, very logical hand. Seven nine, seven x in general, but I have three. Archer's got to love this. I mean, he's talking about a lot of like pretty suspects, right? The suspect hands, and I'm a fish, but I call. That is his name online, I believe. Fish 2013 yeah. makes the call. He's fishing for an eight or a heart. Yeah. This would be a grim one if Harter were to yeah. lose here. If he holds, he's going to have a massive chip lead himself. Yeah. Coming back twice from uh, over three to one down to have that lead. Queen six suited. What a spot. Wow. A heart on the end, Jeff. That is a grim way to lose. Makita. <laughs> Makita says sorry. There's, there's no apologies in poker, Jeff, but yeah. he feels a little grim how he's just done him on that one. Six, six, seven wow. flop. That one looked to be all Arta. He looked to be coasting towards the big chip lead, Jeff, and all of a sudden he is the second place finisher. Makita Batiakowski, the champion of event number four, 50k Super Herola. Jeff, what a hand. Man. You can see the, the looks. Both Makita almost looks disappointed, and Arthur just thinking, "What could have been?" You know, this was home soil, home spot, huge pot, tough player. You get a big spot, and just can't hold it. Yeah, and there it is. Confirmation of the payouts. Arthur picking up a not too shabby 495k for that second place, but it is Makita walking out of here, $765,000 in the back pocket, and I'm pretty sure. Well, we know uh, Makita will be in the short deck. I'm not sure if Alta is a short deck guy or not. But that is what's coming up next, Jeff. All I know at the moment is we have a break of at least 40 minutes. I can't tell you exactly when that short is going to start, but please do stay tuned. Keep an eye on things. I'm sure it'll be up on the socials. And uh, myself and Jeff will be back shortly with that short deck. 50k day one here at Casino Sochi.
Control yourself. Man, Aaron Van Blagram back on the final table. Haven't quite the week so far. A couple of big hands for Jeff, we, hold them. We see this man obviously at Adam front as the chip leader, but there's there's no runaway lead like we've seen in the finals thus far. He has what, 1.5 million. Aaron with 1.25. You know. Two other players above a million. Luke Greenwood just below a million. In fact, basically two short stacks in uh, Victor and Sam Greenwood. Everyone else very comfortable. Yeah, this is Makita's wheel spinning. He's got the chip lead. One of those hands. Those hands that, you know, it's a really good squeeze kind of bluff hand. And I think, think he might go for it. 280. It does indeed. The wheel's spinning. You saw him thinking, right? He was uh, he, he was up to some ill, Ill intentions here. And uh, if you are Luke... This is an uncomfortable spot. Although you are the shortest, you still don't, you know, you can right, ladder. You're, sh you're you shortest of these, but you've you're, you got two short. You're fifth of seven. Right. You're like the shortest of the, the medium. Yeah, you're in the bottom of the pack, and the payouts are big. That's that's a good point. Not the actual shortest, but you're, you're, yeah. you basically don't want to risk at a final table. Uh, you know, you don't, you don't want to be the first at risk. And, and this spot is actually but, in a pretty good... Right. Is this a slightly easier spot with... Aaron peeling. We saw Aaron yesterday not one to three bet quite as much. He seems to be uh, keener on peeling these open spree. Does, does that perhaps just incentivize this? Make it uh, incentivize yeah. this for Makita just too much? That Lucas yeah, and, just and has you know, to go you, with this. And again, guys in a s small field, a lot of interaction with each other. So I'm sure there's something the brothers probably talked about, right? They probably uh, the Greener brothers were right. discussing some stuff, and that might be something that comes up. Hey, right. you know, be careful. He Aaron flats a lot, and so if he's aware of that, but. You know, great play here. It's going to work just based on we know how Aaron plays. Yeah. Um, and, and not to blame him there, right? It's a tough spot. You right. don't want to go, That's especially his stack. He doesn't want to just get it in with yeah. ace. Yeah. Just yeah. don't try to put a lot of chips in more. with that. Blinds and wow. It's a new new deal. So you need to people stay in the, in the game. Nobody busts. Makes them. sense, though. Yeah. It does. If you really think about it, why it's not so good. You know? Even like King Queen makes, especially in short deck. Oh, yeah. In short deck, sure. And this is one everyone knows how to play. Yeah, but still sim. I mean, ace king on the button folded too. Great, you're feeling really good. But same time, just like a spot where somehow if you get in with. Well, this is going in, isn't it? Oh wow, Victor, with a uh, king queen and only eight blinds in the small blind against the button raise. I mean, he's not loving it because he knows he doesn't really have follow up with T, but he came into the day knowing that with 300k, and he's gonna find himself in pretty poor shape. Looks like it. Victor, so <coughs> he's king, healthy favorite, but as we know, it's nice to see Jeff as well as you mentioned earlier. Arto rushing at one of our final tables. It's been a very trite and filled to it. We are here in Sochi. There are some Russians in the field, I promise you. Jack, Jack, Deuce, slimmest of backdoor draws appearing for Victor, but really just looking for that queen, not to be. On the seven. And there's an ace, so good game. But Jeff, you come in as the shortest stack. Probably, uh, so we didn't get to see the bubble last night, but I'm guessing he was very happy when the bubble burst, holding. Yo, so if you steal it yeah. once and then you have everything else, it's the same. Yeah, but the, well, no, it wouldn't be here because now it would. Okay. Yeah. Right. Good. 
I would have missed his ante when I shoved the small blind. <clears throat> Alright, Alto in the hijack, popping it up. Carrie is going to look down on a pair of queens. <laughs> so, Carrie has a decision here. Does he want to kind of trap ish, or is he going to just three bet? I went to the stacks, how many blinds he's got. Yeah, just under 30 bigs. Yeah, so, I mean, this is obviously about as good as it gets in this spot, especially late position raise, so. He's thinking about... I, I was about to say, Jeff, I really hope it goes for this route because I, I think the perception of the other players of carry will be that he doesn't have that many three-bet bluffs from the big line, and so he has to play these spots perhaps a little different. And he's done just that. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, really important to be aware of your table image, and I, I think you're exactly right. I'm sure, he could raise. He's going to take it down almost always there. Maybe find the guy with jacks or tens or, you know, getting a flip ace-king, but... It's uh, I I agree. I like this. In a nice spot here, check calling. King four five. Interesting to lead. I I, I kind of like that. I guess he's just uh, saying he has more fives. Right. There's flush draws. Also, his opponent. You know, it's like. Lead lead sixty six. Uh, also, you know, carry cats tier one. Nice to have button folds to you, ace king <coughs> suited. And Makita has got the about the worst hand you can have and hold them. Artur. He's got a defending hand. I like it limped it in the ace king because he's, uh, again, the perception that Makita's going to punish him. And it's so nice to have this stronger hand where he limps in. Fortunately for him, it's going to backfire a little bit. He decides to bet queen 9 3. A couple of hops. Ball that I guess Jeff, a lot of his limping range does, does yeah. help. Yeah. Yep, yeah. and Arthur. Interesting when you get called here, does check it back. And he's going to have a. Arthur has to like to see that check on the turn because he was kind of in no man's land. I mean, right. again, it's gonna, he's going to have queen tens, queen jacks, all those kind of things, better nines, nine ten, jack nine. It's a scary board, but with the eight nine, got to feel pretty good. And he's actually going to. Right. Especially with that river. All right. Deuce of spades and kind of a balk bet here. 50k. Knows it goes check, nine check nine? a lot. I guess he doesn't expect carry to bluff too often. So bet small and carries right oh on no, it. He does pay him off because, you know, carries away. Also has a lot of draws there as well himself. I thought for sure. It sound, looks like a nine. Raise. I think he's tough already. He flat the queens. He limped ace king suited on the button. Here we go. Last so time. In the small he line. He's going to limp in. Off. Look at this. Last time he got punished. And uh, computer hand, queen seven. We mentioned this yesterday, heads up. But this is a six max situation, queen seven in the big blind. We saw him do this before, and a little different situation. King right. goes off, queen seven. But st I, I like that Kerry's staying with the chat, yeah. you know, consistent. So he did this with the four five off. Now he's got nines, and Makita is. Uh, ah, Makita's radar is on. Checks. And pretty good flop for two nines. No diamond for either player. Could see Makita going either way here. Could see Saz stabbing, but then again, he knows, you know, he could do either one, I think. Queen high also could be good. We saw Kerry limping right. four or five. I have to say that maybe he thinks Queen high just, maybe with a diamond he might stab, has a bit more of a chance down the streets. But yeah, if you're carry, you know, you feel good about your starting spot. The two jacks is a great flop. Ten's one of those not amazing cards. You're looking for an eight or lower, really, but, you know. And, oh, that uh, is a great card. That's a great one. Maybe a small bet here. I think Makita could, 
call with some worse hands or probably doesn't have a five, but Right, might have some ace highs, some king highs. Yeah. Like the bet. Clean eye, tough spot. Yeah, honestly, in this run out, queen high looking okay, and would carry bet with six, seven, or seven, you know, some of the just absolute worst hands. Like we saw him limp four, five, could have three, four suited, could have right. a variety of hands. He has a, carries a lot of hands that have no showdown value. Well, yeah, I think because, like, the thing is, if Kerry had, like, 8, 9 or something, he'd probably start betting. Right. So it's just kind of like... 9, 8, 9, 7. Yeah. He was calling off his life. Yeah. Like, 8? Yeah. I'd like to see Aaron mix in some... I mean, let, let's be honest. It's not just, like, oh, you get queens, kings, aces a lot, but he's flatted some... You know, pretty strong. St I like his strategies, flatting those you know, ace-queen off, ace-jack offs. Um, but I'd love to see him be flatting now all, more. Right, like set big, up some squeeze, yeah, cause set up some squeeze I traps. I think at this point the players are aware of the type of hands he's flatting. And, I mean, not like he's doing anything super different. I mean, those are pretty no, pretty they're, good they're, strategy of what, what's going on. Just I think hands he's the, leaning. The, the, yeah, the hands you do a bit of both with. So yeah. far we've just seen him do with a bit of cooling. Yeah. Uh, on a very small sample size, it has exactly, to be exactly, exactly. I'll tell you what, his strategy is is <laughs> going well, very well. Working. He's definitely had uh, the most impressive overall, I think, with the, the most final tables. I'm pretty sure that's the most. I mean, there's a couple guys we've seen numerous times, Two, but yeah. there's also the 50k. So he's the first one, and I guess Arthur also was. Arthur had one carry. Is it gets carry? Carry number two or three? I'm not sure. I think carry maybe on his third final as well, actually. I think second, but you might be right. So for, do we know how many unique entries? 45 entrants, probably, I mean, 30-something. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be... Uh, it's gonna be you have, like, 280, 300. Aaron with Ace King now under the gun. 30, 40. And here we go. Is Makita gonna make a little mistake here? He's checking the cutoff against Aaron's under the gun raise. He turned down the last option. That was with Ace Eight offsuit. I got a feeling, Jeff Ace Jack offsuit. He's gonna uh, give it a go, right? Yeah. Feels like this has to be. Oh a yeah, for bit. sure. And the sick. The, this is the. This is where there's you know some luck or variance. Where his radar, he wanted to do it with Ace Eight off. Right. Would have worked. Would have worked. And now he's got a stronger hand and. Oh, wow. He uh, doesn't raise. So, again, he does mix this in the, the call range. And like also it. he's in position here. This could be this could be problematic for, for Aaron. This is not well, a this is not a great spot. I thought know? for sure Makita was going to three-bit that. I would have three-bit that in that spot. Sean, mm -hmm. again, that's why he's one of the best. Just calls against Aaron and well, flops best on Jack-8-3. A couple of hearts there for Aaron. You can see some spice down the streets. Yeah, we did see Aaron make some, some moves, too, in spots. Remember, he got carried a full trip jacks at the final table in short right. deck. That, that was wild. First event. Does have the heart. He's going to come out betting here. And if you're Makita, you love the flop, but you're thinking, okay, he's under the gun. He's he's leading out here. Does he have queens, kings? Those are the likely hands he's losing to. He blocks aces, and he's got top pair, top kicker. No heart. Um, you got to feel pretty good about your spot, but, you know, if you start getting – he starts – Getting a lot of heat here, he's not going to love it, but pretty good spot here to start. 175. It's going to be a very small race. <coughs> this is like a little bit of a exploitative raise. I mean, I think he just trusts Aaron not to bluff him. He does this. I know it feels, again, like a slightly weird line. Makita. Of course, Aaron's going to have hands that want to continue, like 10s, 9s, some flush draws. And he's going to have some hands that have decent equity, like King Queen, and even this hand that's 18%. Mm -hmm. He makes Aaron fold for just 100k more. 
I've got a feeling, Jeff, that he's not going to do that against. Somebody gonna have to take some chips from you, Makita. He's a little too confident right now, buddy. <laughs> He's definitely a little confident raising King at offsuit once again, this time from the hijack. Yeah, you know, I, this is an interesting hand too off we're to like a 12 to 15 blind stack, having some raised folds, like even 11 to 14 blinds, uh, King eight suited being one of them or ace four, um, you know, these type of hands. And, and you can see this is a hand that I, I just like personally wouldn't really be putting into a, a raise. Like I said, it's, it matters about being chip leader as well, but right. we can see Makita loosening the belt here a little bit, the king eight. And this is a that's a pretty spicy flop. Everyone's yeah. got a piece. Aaron just giving him a little speech play before. Right. And uh, Makita. <clears throat> He decided and then obviously how best to proceed on this board eight with a second best kicker. A uh, pretty vulnerable hand as we mentioned this 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 type of middle pair when it's second pair on the board. You kind of generally want to lead towards protection. And again, I think he just yeah feels that if he doesn't have a queen, it's not like Aaron's just going to go savage here. He actually right. has, he has the one of the best hand to, hand go savage to do with it right. to get to go for it, but. And See, I think it's just going to call. We've seen, we saw Aaron with a similar spot with open-ended on the board where against uh, Ivan Liao, right, where he just called, jack. where he could have maybe attacked. Even more so that board where he had two overs and uh, pretty good card here for Aaron. He's going to jump in the lead. Still still vulnerable hand. You start looking at stack-to-pot ratio, 660K, 460K. Um, it's not, not not a lot of reason for Makita to bet now, though, right? He's been called on that flop. You think Aaron has some Queen X, some 8X. You're beating the 8X. He has hands like 9, 10, uh, 10 Jack that are now ahead of you. So hard to see him betting this one, but uh, I've been wrong about Makita twice in the last hand, so does decide to check this back. Ace on the river. Not a card Aaron wants to see. Backdoor spades complete. Again, I think. Makita may feel he has the best hand here enough to check it back. He beats the other eights, he beats the seven. So, no, you'll you'll have three hundred thousand, and Makita will have like two. Makita will have six mil. I'll talk limping in under the gun, ace queen of hearts. This guy's showing how it's done with these sort of twenty to thirty big blind stacks. Also showing how to ace queen, just minimize <laughs> minimize <laughs> exposure. You gave, you gave me the look there straight away. It was uh, it was the ace queen. That's my I'm, a hand I'm trying to figure out still. It's just like I just want to see how different. I want to see this is this is a little surprising though. This yeah, one, I think this gun. would be a. Yeah. I'm nice uh, one to raise. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I'm kind of find that one surprising. There's some guys who are going to jam behind you. It's a pretty good hand to call a jam with. Yeah, which maybe he could be inducing in some ways. With, but Aaron going to take a peek here on the button. Carry with the suited ace as well. Got to love to see the limp. Very happy to come yeah. in. Sort of like he's almost like he's like can't believe. Purple. How fortunate that is. Nikita, king for all clubs. Probably going to be pretty happy to see a flop. I'm not. I mean, I guess he figures carry and Aaron don't have too much of a strong hand. If he does bluff, he just has to get through Arthur. King four suited, I think we can just see a flop. Yeah, but... 300k would get done in his mind then, 1.4 right? Arthur. Probably... Yeah, I think he's gonna, he might go for it. Oh he does my go for goodness, it. all in. And I mean, Arthur, surely oh. this is what you limp for, right? Take the chip lead of the tournament. Risky with six left. Wow. But I mean, this is why you limp. He's not going to call. 
He's going to call. He's not going to call. He's going to call, man. This is why he's limped. I don't know anything about him, but I'm telling you, no, this is not why he limped. He did not limp to get shoved on by Makita. He limped. He just set this up. He's limping to call Greenwood's stack. He's not limping. He can't call here. He can't. He, it's ICM suicide. Yeah, but look what happens if he if he wins this point. He's got, what, three million? You really he's think he's going to call? Leader. No way. I, I think he might this call is, this. This is Ace Queen... This is Ace Queen of Perfection. He's, he was reading the poem all last night. Yeah. He's got Ace Queen deep on his team. It's a, it's no, he's not call. I'm telling you. He's I'll bet. I'll lay you two to one. He doesn't call. He's good. I think he's got a call. He's he's not. He's got dreams. He wants to school. hoist the trophy in Russia. And is he's folding for sure. Get out of here with Come that. Come on. Big lay down to your small pair. Makita. That is a. I, so just super <laughs> super interesting <laughs> spot. Yeah, I would officially you know, give up on like we saw a, a, a domino <laughs> jam ace queen on a open on the buttons. You know, limping. There's and the there's other two limping, of course, as well. Just can't extra. be strong. Right. Queen jack suited. This is uh, surfs up. Surfs up. Fine. Aaron's laughing about the four deuce, but listen, if you get an ace ten and it's not in there, I mean, what are you looking? For? What are we? What are we talking about? Yeah, it's bizarre. So it'll be a call, and they're going to be gambling. Fair enough. Sam will take it. Flip deck. Short deck here. That really does. Yeah, that's that's the mindset. That's how you win flips. If you're if yeah. you have the queen jack suit, you just pretend it's short deck. You're, you're like almost for sure winning. Your only hope is to get a set. I can do it. Ace five five. Ten of hearts. Fair. Great, great flop like for sevens. Five. <laughs> Just to How about a ten of more? No, ten of hearts. Ten of hearts will be a good sweat card. Ten of hearts would be a good, a good sweat card. The queen's a slightly better card for Sam. <laughs> oh, diamonds are good though. Diamonds are oh, now out. You got eleven outs. <laughs> you got eleven outs now. Yeah, not too bad. Maximum pain here for Sam. No. We're running queens. Not much pain there. Uh, four, right. Queens full. It's one of those spots too. Final tails. Everyone always it's it's like always like rooting against like you. Like they want to pay a jump. Yeah. Feel the yeah. mandatory, almost a mandatory call, but I get it. Right. It is a. It's different, like you said. But you're in the money. You're gonna have the best hand almost always there. And so if you if he does have king queen or pocket sevens six, or ten plus all the you know puzzles. it's just so hard for him to have a better hand. And at that point, maybe go for it. Come on. Sam with 14 on the button. He's going to jam it in. And yeah, into, into stacks or even short turn carry sixes. This is one of those, again, just like the ace team we saw a minute ago, you kind of just have to grin and bear this one, don't you? This one has to be a call. I don't know, though. I agree, but it's. I don't think. I don't know, man. I don't think he's going to do it. It just does so well. Sixes Please against. Show me one. This is like almost the exact same as Ace-10 off, right? It's very similar. Yeah. It's like just, you know it's the best hand, but you're just don't love most it's, hands it's you're It's obviously a slightly different situation because Kerry is the one at, at risk here. If Kerry calls and loses, he's out. Whereas right. Aaron would have the chance to still spin up. Kerry channeling his inner energy here, trying to figure out what to do. This is a guy that... Just loves it, like similar to Paul, right? Like they both, Paul created Triton with uh, yep. Richard Young, Carrie's created Poker Go, does the Aria, all this stuff, and then these events, and just like, just want, wants the trophy, wants to make the best decision at all times, is such a competitor, and these spots generally paint him. He's, it's a. He does make the cool. No King Queen? Shit. Oh, somebody had a small pair. Yeah, or ace five, ace four, which would have yeah, been, you know, he's, sure. he's, he's jamming deuces, threes, fours, fives, ace deuce, three, ace six. So, uh, ace jack with a snap call. Yeah, so I'm like, all right, I'm in, uh, I know I'm in okay. I'll just shape. say this because I'm probably flipping. Unless you I was hoping you had a weak ace or it was close. Jack nine three, Sam takes the lead. Fuck. <laughs> Club hope. Carry backdoor clubs a six, or he's off to the short deck. Just a six now. All right. Aaron's standing G -G. up. 
Oh, uh, the Carrie, come on, man. You've been... Oh, well, it was close in the sense that it was an upside-down one. I stand at Carrie Katz. Out in sick. $135,000. Final. <laughs> now he finds Ace Queen and it all derails. Isn't that right, Jeff? Yeah, no, I mean, I'm nervous for him, <laughs> for sure. Aaron having a little think with Queen 10 and 12. Does let it go. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. Jeff, how are you how would you I'm I'm the I'm I'm the believer. I'm converted. I'm I'm with you. Standard. And this is I mean, the problem with this is it's Makita. You're right. It's uh they're even stacks and, and there's just no I don't see a way out. Even with the even knowing that Ace Queen is avoid at all costs. Maybe limp limp and that would have been his only path. Right, but this is a, a again not too dissimilar situation to the one Arthur had with the ace queen. Right, if he faces the jam here. What are we talking? Twenty-five blinds? No. Uh, thirty sixty, less, no. Right, yeah, thirty sixty. So Makita's only got what just over tw what twenty? Yeah, twenty five. Less than twenty five. They both have about the same stack. Maybe yeah. a little less. So yeah, this but is, this is. It. I mean, I was gonna say the jam may may be the way out, but a less than all in three bet gives a. Idea and, uh, and this is just the, the hand that Sam has to go with to decising, right? Yeah, versus him. Versus Makita, exactly. He knows Makita's capable here. It's actually a little. He gave him. He, but th that's typical on these stack sizes to go less than 3x. Right, of course. You're not going to get peeled. Even though you are out of position. Right. And He's call. never peeling 230. That's a call and, uh, well, let's see, Jeff. Let's see how good Sam Greenwood is. Can he turn this hand into a winner? Listen, I'll tell you what. Ace Queen. I have seen. If anything, though, Ace Queen ha can do some damage with the, against Kings. It's, right, that's the, it's the one. It's the it's one, one thing power. that kind of has like it just feels unfair when you have Kings <coughs> and you see the Ace Queen. You're like, mm, still got life. Mm. Queen high, not enough. A little smile from Makita. He knows it's up against it a little bit here. Five outs. Two cards to come. No heart available for either player, so it's five outs, one to come. Kita knows these are the mm -hmm. these are like a year. It's 2020, new decade. These kind of spots, right. do you get six, to be clean? And six it bigger is. run outs. Yeah. Makita with a double up, 2.8 million back to the chip lead. Sam down 280k. Back to being our short stack. Oh, Sam is going to have a nice spot here. Yeah, just over four <coughs> blinds, nines. His brother in the big. watching the clock really closely. <laughs> he got the whiffle in with like five seconds left. <laughs> 280, all in. Yeah, okay, obviously the last hand of the level. And a uh, great spot finds a, you're definitely getting called. Yeah. It's just... I have a very good hand. He does have a very good hand. Arthur needs to find an ace, just like Sam did in the last hand. Otherwise, so Sam too. gets when back I into it again. I thought this is an unexpectedly good hand. This is a there it is, in the window, with another out behind. Mm. Sam needs a nine, and then he still <coughs> has to fade out. It's on the end. Sam, also a little insult to injury. Just to him. He's yeah. like, I could have used those aces as last hand. Only a nine will Three save ten. this Greenwood. Between the eight and the ten. His friend from the middle. Uh, middle friend. <laughs> oh, GG, GG, buddy. GG. Well, that's how quickly it happens. He spun it up, and then he spun out Sam Greenwood. Out in fifth, hundred and eighty thousand dollars. Well, that's unlike a scenario, <laughs> but here is one of those hands they reference, Jeff. Ace King in Makita's hand, the two short stacks in the blinds as we play 40k, 80k. Uh, 2.6 you said, right? Four of 45. Serious business going on now. Yeah. 225 locked up. Makita electing just to rip it in. S just to 
a horrible situation could occur there, couldn't it? Where he opens and Arthur jams it in and he feels compelled to call with Ace King. And he is going to, and also. Expectedly good hand. Fuck. And <laughs> the funny part is, you know, also with doing that with Ace King, you get to show, okay. You know, make people yeah. kill a little card like, oh, I have Ace Jack, and it's like I'm, I'm like, think I'm getting you now. You're a little wary, and yeah, you know, she just it. also can't really call there with the two short sets behind with any hand, so it's nice. Yeah, we have some strong ones in there when we do it. Yeah, Aaron putting on the shoes. It's like the the most advanced putting on the jacket. Yeah, he's got, he's got, he's got his, uh, he's standing up. He's got a chance Heart. though. Heart. Heart. Ten of hearts. Mm. Okay, jack or a five. Yeah, that'll get you almost sitting back down. That is one of the better cards. See, 70, only four out of five times Makita's going to win only. It could chop. Mm, won't be. But it's Makita. Aaron taps all around, out in fourth, 225k, third final table of the week. He's no. doing just fine. 500 on play. Uh, oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> They're going deep into it. Yeah, some sorcery chat. Sorcery knowledge getting dropped. Feel is down to three now. This is a pretty uh, weird spot, right? Arthur opening up a lone blind situation. Lucas by far the shortest on the bottom of Queen Jack. I mean, feels like a fold still, Jeff, but. It's very short and it's nine blinds or no at eight no. they went up to eighty. Yeah, we're at so eighty. So six, five and a half. No, I'm sorry, six, seven blinds almost. You're playing two and a half blinds in orbit, which now is every three hands. Yeah, I and mean, and there's no as as you said, was the risk premium, Jeff? Is that we go? Yeah, with? that's what we're gonna call it, and it's it's, it's low. It's right. zero. It's there's. If you want to get back in the game, you're gonna to have to take a chance at some point. Because the other side of the the equation is, sure, you you have no fold equity really. Right. You're gonna get called. Fallen. You you double here, you get a million. Let's say you wait, try to get it in with a slight favorite or a flip. Right. Maybe now you only have 300k or something. Now you're back to where you are. So from that school of thought, you know he's this is a fine spot. It's 40 to 40 percent to be back in the game. Yeah, I mean 43. he's putting he's putting 540 in to win 700. And he's 43%, I so it's a profitable chip shop. I yeah. thought he was big blind, and I kind of, I, I don't think you heard me, but I said all in, like, undo my breath. People, and then it's all the ways. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. obviously the lone big blind situation confusing things. 8, 6, 3. Lucas needing diamonds by the back door. Queen or Jack through the Got front. Got some straight draw, 9 or 10 outs additional. Some good cards. That's not one, so nope. tap. <laughs> Taps the table. It was an actual, yeah, we actual need, uh, zero. I need, I need to call the gaming commission. It's, it's great for Russia over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep, two Russian speakers battling it out. Four? Heads up. Uh, are we having a Makita with the big hand for heads up play? Interesting to see if see some limps or some raises. Looks like he's going for a raise with the eight four off. And. Uh, Makita, this is one of those hands that you feel very good about. It's good enough to three bets. Also, just t plays so well post flop and a little bit under rep. Think you could uh, go either way here, but I, I would, I would think call right. I mean, even yeah. though a call is definitely going to be the majority of the time, but yeah. you, you're going to three bet this some of the time. I think you're right. It's just so pretty too. It's just such a nice starting hand. Look at that. Look, he's up against the eight four off. And also, I guess it comes down a little bit to perception, right? To how does uh, I mean, I don't know how much Makita and Arthur have played, but you, you're going to have a feel of your opponent and, and whether you think you want to always take a more passive line or mix in a lot more aggressive lines. Checks back to eight. Could go either way there, too. For some protection. It's a lot of bad cards. Nine, ten, jack, queen, ace. But what a check back it was, given that Makita has outflopped him. Yep. Right, and there are a lot of sort of straight draws that Makita can wrap on this turn, right? Four, five, five, seven, even you know, just some nonsense ones. Five, nine. Yeah, maybe go bigger here, like two fifty. Four, but seven, one eighty. It goes fairly uh, exactly yeah, half, half pot. pot. It's nice when there's a lot of plus you can have to actually have top pair. Uh, mix it in there with them. I mean, he's got a nine. You can definitely do this with nine, ten, seven, nine, nine, five, as I say. Yeah, 
Arthur also does block the um, draws, the, sp the spades and the... Wow, he's coming out with like a block kind of raise. 440. Yeah, this this accomplishes a couple things right. too, because now if you're Makita, you have a hand as strong as top pair with a okay kicker, and you're sort of on defense now because you're like, well, what is he raising? So now if he calls, you're going to set up where you know, Arthur has able to check back the river on a lot of rivers and right. out, so not have to call You buy that. the showdown. Yep, which um, makes some sense. And you make Makita fold some of those draws of equity, so. Yeah, I don't think Makita was expecting to get raised with his holding. And um, if you're Makita, yeah, tricky spot. You also realize this is potential of a spot. What is he checking back the turn that now he's right. betting the river, turn, or he's leading out on? Like, you would think he would bet his two pairs or his top pair. So, um, you know, still, it's one of those things where Fusing you can't do line. much about it. You can't, even if he's up, feels that something might be a little fishy, he's still kind of cuffed there to not being able to do much. So, let's see what the river provides. And uh, this could just go check, check. Complete some of those straight draws. Both block a straight. And yeah, you'd expect this to check, check now, right? Unless Alter really does decide he's got to get way out of line here. But as you say, it doesn't make sense to have a lot of hands that have checked back, flop, raise, turn. But these guys will be balanced. Welcome back to the Millions Super High Roller Sochi, event number five, short deck. Bigger buy-in, same game that we've been watching. Twos, threes, fours, fives removed. That's 36 cards in the deck, about 52. Equities run closer, and look at this. Some familiar faces in the building. Here is Tai Ha with a lead, Paul. Wah wow, and Richard Young, seeing him for the first time this week. Aaron Vlan. Larkham in there as well. Michael Soiza, Sergey Lebedev. This is going to be some high-level stuff. Fun game to watch. A little more gamble than No Limit Hold'em. Equities run closer. For example, Jack Ten Suited versus Aces is almost a flip. Just give you an idea. Where's my thing? Oh, huh? here? No, 5 o'clock. Uh, yeah. 8 o'clock. No, it's 5 p.m. now. No, no 5 p.m. 5 p.m. 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock, yes. yes. Paul coming close again to second place. First eluding him again. He's got a lot of seconds in big events. There's Richard Young, co-founder with Paul of Triton, rocking the patch. A lot of Triton patches out there. And there's uh, Michael Soiza. Ty going to call. Soiza in. Sergey. Calls with 8-9, and Aaron on the dealer button with two kings. <coughs> it's a big hand. He's got a healthy stack, and he just rips it. You got two more lammers. What are you folding so quick for? <laughs> How about you? None. The last Zero one. In the last one. Yeah, no more lammers. None. Ooh, change. One. This one. I folded oh, S's, but I can't That's win. my enter. So just put Huh? I can't win with this, so I just it. And Aaron has been spending a lot of time at this featured table this week. Numerous final I tables. City hen. I think Two kings. three. He's going to get beat by anybody who called. For sure. Hmm? I said two kings. It was going to get beat by anybody who called. <laughs> I doubt it. I don't like the big pairs. I doubt it. I don't. We put it's king. To, uh, yeah, it's king. Uh. <laughs> I do. Yeah, I two kings. Like I mean, kings. could could go for a different oh, sizing there, maybe than all in, but all in does the trick. And uh, see Richard Young maybe raises it up. A lot of players we see limp 
Richard going with a different strategy here. Aaron with a pretty hand on the cutoff. I have a 17,000 chip hand. Got a call, suited, suited pretty hand. Paul does not. First bullet. Oh, Everybody first bullet. First entry, yeah. Uh, first entry, first bullet. Uh, try this. This would be bad. Try. That's a flop yeah, Aaron's going to like. 500 day on level 10, with two lemmer, and then I rebuy. Whoa. <laughs> and then I have to rebuy. <laughs> 500k and two lemon. 700k. Yeah, 700k. Big bet. The first 500 is the one. If you lose that one, then the next two are very fast one. Yeah, the, the right tier two is very two, fast. 200k, nothing. Is the 100k is 20 Yeah. So it's very fast. Oh, it's very fast. A little surprised by the bet. The 500k yeah. lasts three buy, three only. Yeah. yeah, three only. Three and GG. Three, three only. Sure. You call shove, huh? I should have oh, shoved. Yeah. <laughs> You're almost dead on the flop. Let's see the bet take down there with trips 10 10 6, pretty dry board. Surprise the size and 23 to 25 remain 25 to 25 actually. Picking up the action here pretty early. Sergey so gonna jam. Wow, 10, 10, like 200. <laughs> Not that 200 here. Yeah, it's not bad. Look <laughs> like a lot. Yeah. You had more chill than me. Paul, interested in this one. What is it? 83. It's very close. <laughs> Sergey takes it down. Take a look here at these players. A lot of short duck experience. Ty, his game of choice. You know, Richard Young plays the biggest games in the world, along with Paul Foy. Michael Soiza, no stranger to the game either. Very successful tournament player. And that is a nice hand with two aces. Gonna limp in. You wanna be balanced again. You know, limp your jack tens, king tens. And it means you gotta, you know, yeah. if you just raise only yeah, when you yeah. have aces and kings, it's pretty easy to play against, so. It goes with the limp. Hoping uh, someone wakes up with ace king or kings, squeezes. If not, you go multi way and realize that a lot of boards are gonna get out of the way. Look at this, like here's a hand on the button, jack 10 suited, which is actually flipping against aces, essentially. Could have squeezed for sure, but does take a, he's in position, such a pretty hand. And uh, we'll go to a flop. Flush is really hard to make, and look at that. As we said, it's a very pretty hand. It's a flip against aces, Check. and Check. he flops the straight. I don't know why it says 45% for Michael when Richard has straight. I don't understand that. I guess to fill up. Not sure on that. That's a bit confusing to me, because I would think that player in the lead would have the lead. lead. Oh, don't no, go. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> he said <Yeah>. fold. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't notice this. What are you talking about? I'm just lump gun. Yeah, I mean, that might be an error. I'm just not sure why I would say that Richard, who has a straight, is behind. And two kings are even not available to make a boat there. So a lot of his outs gone. I think he's thinking, should I raise, should I call? I mean, loses to only jack-10, goes for just a call. Makes sense. So queen is the most available card. It says 50-50. There's a dud. Richard going to have the best hand still. Zeta. This is against 10 jack-10. Jack-10. And Paul knows the situation <laughs> already. <laughs> Look at that. I told you, they're hard to win with. It is. I didn't have any of that. A whole bunch left. It's like a the, flip. Showing the outs. Yeah. You saw a couple of those kings were gone, though. 
And Jack 10 well, for I, Richard I, Young going to win. Uh, people, I try to race. I race also. Yeah, same I'm thing. Not, you win. Same, you same call. Yeah, yeah. You a lead. You're yeah. not a bit. Yeah, I can yeah. Two of the prettiest hands. We were just yeah. mentioning yeah. aces to Jack 10 suit of the equities pre flop. Yeah, gotta figure that out. Mm. And so boom. Race after. That's the kind of genuine problem. Oh, and then I go to. Ten Jack. No race. No race. No race. Too many limit. No, you have 100k can race. Race call. Race call. You 200k can all race call. And good start there for Richard. You get 300,000, but each lammer 100,000, so you can put one in at a time. He's in for, it looks like, the min with uh, 300, so really he's at 500. Thank you. This is short deck, correct. Two, three, fours, fives, not in play, so 36 cards. I'm sorry, no, so, yeah, 4, 8, 12, 16, 36 cards out of 52. Look at that. That's his gut shot, so the seven would make him a straight going to the ace. So it wasn't a total no equity bluff. Take a look at the outer tables. True teller. I'm not that piece of shit. I'm not falling for that. What do you think I'll be turning me into? I know that thing's a disaster. Is it? I can't believe you'd show me. That. All right, fine, okay, I'll show you. Okay, I'll show you. I feel violated. Let's look at Seth Davies. I mean, I, I this. this is the one I've been You do not use that. He does not calculator. use that. That's the worst calculator. It looks good. It's the worst calculator right. ever. Carrie, this one. I do use this. One. You do not use that calculator. We can have a bet on this For one. For real? <laughs> if we have a log of like apps. Let me see that one then. Let me see that one right now. That. <coughs> no, I don't think it's right. Anyway, your turn. It looks good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some familiar faces over there. Pick up the action again here. Not much to give here. These guys, there's some of the short deck experts, so going to see a lot of high-level stuff. King Jack, Jack 10 in the mix. And uh, both players with the gut shot. King Jack in the lead. Seven. Paul going to bet. Paired board, drawn to the, the weak, weakest gut shot. It's out of the way. See Paul there with his two blue chips behind if he needs them. So he's in for the 100, chipped up a bit. Ty Ha, huh? Richard Young made a nice hand there. All right, Jeff. Nice to see Richard Young finally uh, dip in his toes. Huh? We found the buying level that's right. Yep, he's in. Short deck 50k. Saw a big hand. We were just okay. referencing the difference of short deck where aces versus jack 10 suit is essentially 50 50. And we got exactly that shortly after matched up where the. Richard Young had Jack 10 suited, and Michael had aces, and there was a limp pot. Uh, Richard didn't choose to raise Jack 10 suited on the button, which I was surprised a bit, but it went to a flop. It was Michael limped aces, and it came ace, king, queen. Wow. So pretty, Still pretty much a flip. Yeah. This yep. game's always a flip, Jeff. That's uh, what I'm learning. Yeah. And they, uh, Richard held. <laughs> All right, out of tables. There he is. Stevie in the mix. Yeah, it's it's funny, Jeff. Obviously, we're we're learning a lot as we get through this. Well, it's still a relatively new game. I mean, this table looks pretty strong, but look at that man behind. Oh, there's our reigning champ, 
25k short deck. Why long? Alexi, you see some Russian crushers in the field too. And Sergey, who looks like he's off to a pretty good start with his blue chips behind and some chips build up. Again, they get three lammers and you can use all or one at a time or however you like per buy-in. So this is early stages of the 50K short deck. Look at this, a lot of people in, a lot of hands here. All right, everyone at Linton and Paul's raised the bottom of King Jack. I guess we're going to see, I mean, Sergei's going to go away, but I think it will be in this one. Right, Aaron, I suppose, as well, six, seven of hearts. Obviously a very bad hand in this game. Richard knows his partner, Paul of Triton, very well, so maybe he's thinking of, there look at this. Have some ah. of that. <laughs> Ay are indeed, ace queen. I thought only one guy, it's two guys. <laughs> oh, okay, four, four. <laughs> Paul uh, applauding the play. Oh, knows, nice move. He knows. up against you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can see. You see they sandwich you. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Raise, call, all in, oh, fold. Yeah, exactly. Snap fold. Uh, what is this? Snap fold. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> you con, I con. My hand, my hand played three way. You con, I con. I'm bluffing hand, one blocker. <laughs> Nine ten to take it down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Close, very close. Eight, nine, nine, ten. Scan one more short deck action to come for the rest Not of the day. Not enough. Not enough. Fifty k. Yeah, some uh, Twitch observant. Hey, a hundred icon. Seeing Phil Ivy in the background there. Ivy's yeah. been splashing around. Has one final table so I far. I already in twenty four. I have a hundred. Got the tournament bug. He's I mean, out here playing everything. Yeah. Oh, and there's one, one, one more guy. Hundred for sure. I mean, we might have to rename the table here to just the Aaron's table. It seems to be whether it's the final table, the feature table. He's on it. Paul and Paul Logan smart. <coughs> Three, fuck him. Yeah. Is there anyone we haven't seen at all? <laughs> I'm trying to think. <laughs> I'm trying to think yeah. We haven't seen Jeff Gross yet. Maybe that 250. Getting closer, getting closer. As usual in this game, a little bit of something for everyone, but it's Aaron who's stepping out a little bit here with the bottom pair and an eight. Pretty ballsy play, five away. Yeah, Paul's got one of the best hands he can have here with that, and it's even gonna work. He's got the blocker to the nuts, he's got top pair. And uh, that was the most likely hand, but then Richard, he's on to him. He's going to stick around. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I mean, I thought it was a bit ballsy play from Aaron, but I thought it might work just because of the quality of hands out there, but Richard is sticking around. Oh, oh well, plan B is always make the straight. Yeah. Yeah, so if you're Aaron now, you're feeling pretty good. <coughs> I want to change. Aaron, so Aaron's bet sizings are always, he, he does a bit of unconventional stuff there too. Like he hits his hand and he goes pot in that spot. Not worried about too much there. Right. Oh, Makita's got his trophy nearby. <laughs> Hanging on to it. That's so cool. Use it as the as the card marker, surely. You know, just pop it on top of those bad boys. Yeah. There is, well, perhaps the biggest name in poker, Phil Ivey. And there's our champ from event one. Yeah. Battering ram through that field. He. It's a bit of a short deck table, this. Yeah. yeah. Of course, there must be a Greenwood in the mix somewhere. Yeah, they're around. Big stack over there. I don't know who we got there. Is that, is that Liao? Ivan? It is Ivan. Ivan. Oh He's talking about the chip stack. But no, that, you see, those guys' lammers aren't in. Or he doesn't it, have behind. No, yeah, I saw them behind on oh, the wider shot. He does have behind. This is on one shot? Wow. 
I have a little discipline today. Doesn't put the whole thing in the mix. He, he had at least one behind. I did notice one. But yeah, more importantly, a bunch of those orange 25k chips. Big one, yeah. Tie. Building it up. Yeah, that guy obviously uh, figured it out. 4, Definitely a specialist. <laughs> He's heading him up, tells the story. <laughs> a lot of big buying, short deck events, not so many big buying, hold them events. Sergey got the nines, going to limp. This is the hand. Jeff, the other day we saw nines get involved a lot, didn't we, in short deck? I'm surprised Aaron with the jack eight off here. All right, he's getting a little, Colin, getting yeah, a little sauce. It's a really pricey. bad hand in this game. I mean, it's not a great hand in regular. <laughs> I was like, are you going to look? Yeah. <laughs> You're just playing no matter what. <laughs> I'm in. So is it. He's in a good spot for do, to do Got that. one more blue behind. Yeah. I wonder if he look and then raise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be. Queen, queen, six. Nothing going on. Nine's in the lead. No one has even a, a pair other than Sergey. Jeff, you know, I came here with a minimal understanding of short deck, and I'm, I'm actually looking forward to giving it a little go. Yeah, it's fun. You check already. I check Something about this game. Oh. That's not a bad turn, Clive. You got nines. I see Ty and uh, Michael picking up straight draws. And Richard, even with some interest, having paired that nine. I feel like, given it's a five-way pot, and so I get check the flop, he still has quite a few queens, but Richard says no, I'm gonna have a little look. 10K, too small to make me fold. Bad river card for Richard. Can't really be anything now. King Jack, King 10, Jack 10, we'll get there. So okay, they may, may be uh, optimistic here, Jeff, that perhaps Richard was in there with the Jack 10. Yeah, it's going to go probably big. Yeah. 30 into 42. 75%. And Richard not interested anymore. Jack eight hand from Aaron, who's been very solid in, in short deck. It just that seems super out of line. Offsuit as well. I just think it's a surprise to see him do that. Yeah, maybe. I mean, maybe his theory is, you know, the, the ante is still so cheap. He just wants to get in there and play as many hands as possible. But I'm with you. Yeah, but I don't see how just that. like even like a nine ten jack flop, you don't feel or, right. Uh, jack at nine ten seven. I mean, you like nine ten seven. There's just that's about the one. <laughs> yeah. Still not him. Even a flop trips. It's multi way out of back position. Got, how do you play a big uh, pot? Back got, yeah, back hit, back got feet one. He don't use up seat. Come on. Oh, you're injured. Lah. Yeah. 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 Ace, ten, nine, tie with the best of it. Second pair, king of diamonds. Nice turn for Sergei. Picks up an open and a straight draw. Good to see tie bet this one. Jeff, good to see him check. He's going for the bet. 
kind of every hand needs protection in this game, doesn't it? Yeah. Doesn't think Aaron checks twice with a strong hand. Doesn't think Sergey probably checks the button too often with a strong hand. Figures a ten's best. Wait a minute. Let me go. <laughs> Sergey going to punish him for that. Sergey, of course, can have hands like Jack Eight and Six Eight that check the button. So the bet works. Nice play. Yeah. See in the top left there, 25 entries thus far in this $50,000 barn event. Still 25 remain, of course. Fast action in a short deck, but those blue lammers, you can get your chips 100k at a time, 300k starting stank. So although there have been lots of all-ins, I'd imagine by now, no one's actually busted yet, Jeff. Yeah, the lammers add a little extra production for you. A little more bang for your buck. 50k at a time, you can at least get three shots yeah, to win a pot. If it was a pure uh, off the cash test you go, these, these fills will get up there. Okay. Trap me. Maybe. Sneaky, sneaky. Reach up, mate. No, reach up, mate. Don't Oh, well, quads. he'll be trapping this flop. I don't interest Richard. Yeah, the phone goes away. Tension gets turned to the table. He's just praying. Someone have kings. Someone have aces. Someone have something. Check through once again. Yeah. <laughs> Paul's reaction has a king. Look, flush has come. There is a straight possible with Richard plus two. High closing the action has a bit more of a decision about it. But I mean, it just kind of looked like no one wanted anything to do with this pot, didn't it, Jeff? But he's not. Moon flusher. Okay. What? I don't even get. Yeah, change, change, and then fifteen. How do bet? No value. Yeah. We we for people to not pass. Six thousand I call. Yeah, because no ace already. Yeah, yeah, then yeah. we think for the flush. <laughs> oh, <laughs> flush came out. <laughs> Jeff, I'm not much of a watch guy, but that looks like a oh, yeah. tidy little piece <laughs> on his wrist there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Six thousand I call. That's uh. uh not, 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 not nothing. Nothing. No ace. Nothing. Oh, yeah. Only got flush. Ace yeah. also check. That's a uh, yeah, rebuy for the two fifty k price if you need it right, on your okay. wrist, right in that range. Might be selling them short. Definitely one of the bosses in poker, Richard Young, Paul Poir, Rob Young. Will Rob play the 250k? We're not sure, but... We yeah, we so. were talking about, weren't we? We, we had a little bit of lunch, and um, I feel like that's when he's going to flick in, surely. Yeah, it's a fun one. I know he sometimes feels, though, or from the thought of, like, oh, it's, it's his own kind of event. You know, right. it's like if you win it, it's he almost like... It feels bad if he wins it's, it, right? It's kind of like... But... but you know, look at the Triton, look at these events. These guys all play, and I mean, it's it's just part of the game, right? They get to host and put on these great events, and why not get to get to play yeah. some? Also, I, I know as well, with, yeah. with Rob especially, these guys obviously king. love it a lot more. Rob loves the cash games. He's less enthusiastic about playing tournaments. Yeah, true. That's true. And especially a slow tournament. I think he'd more likely to play the 250 if it was this sort of structure than, <coughs> yeah. I believe, 90-minute levels, I think, for that one. I, I for one hope he plays it. Empty, okay, I'm not calling it. <laughs> when everyone else can be playing it. He's going to have no cash games to play. Not, yeah. Aaron.
Baron with a very nice looking King Queen of Clubs. Gonna go after Richard's complete. Yeah. Good call, good call. Good call. See a question in the Twitch chat. Flush beats a full house, right? It does indeed. Flush does beat a full house. Big flop for Richard. Straight draw with his tens. King Queen suited. This is uh, one of the worst boards you're going to see. Right, but Richard's limp from under the gun, called the raise. Reasonable for Marin to presume that he probably has a hand more like Ace Jack, King Ace Jack, King, Queen yeah. Jack, one of these kind of hands. I guess Ace King would raise, right? Probably re raise it. Right. So probably thinks I can make him fold on this flop. turn yeah and Aaron just gives up it was a one and done situation Richard improves to straight but a paired board and a flush possible uh, sneaky gets to check out but I can't really see what Aaron can expect wow. Richard to fold here but He's, uh, Richard as play it's a great check call hand right Aaron raised pre flop remember it's hard to have him to have any value here other than the flush. Nothing. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I'm not sure about that one. Yeah. Should bet more. All in. <laughs> <laughs> what do I think about? <laughs> think about it. All in. I don't want to bet 60. All in. It's not the orange. <laughs> Smoke <Smoked laughs> out. Big Paul, heart. Paul says it there, yeah. best in Not your range. Do all in. <laughs> right. They don't, all they don't call. They can't call. Oh, you have to be happy. Yeah, exactly. What is he really raising there? I mean, it's a the flush. flush is it's sort of like a flush, right? He has to have like ace king of spades. Ace king, ace queen. Uh, yeah. Ace like king, queen of spades, maybe. Yeah, that watch is pretty, pretty sweet. It's a chunky one, all right. Don't bluff a guy with the. <laughs> yeah. With all the buy-ins for the week covered and uh, his, <laughs> on his the wrist, wrist. Yeah. yeah. You know, bluff the guy with the smartwatch. That's, that'll be my way. Yeah, Tan's got he's got a nice band on it though. Yeah, it's a nice got nice the old, iPhone. The old leather. Yeah. King nine, fairly dry. Aces are hard to find in this game, huh? It's no one's just again Sergey. So that's gonna do it. Right, Ty's got a gut shot six for the wheel. Fifteen into twenty. Yeah, I'm gonna look. And Jeff, I see a. Uh, Aero1891 on the Twitch chat says, Rich's watch is a Jack and Co. More like three rebuys in the 250k. Yeah, okay. So that's us. Yeah, for the whole... I was saying this, the week of buy is more, more <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, uh, you know, I'm not a watch guy, but it, it, it just looks like it costs more than everything I own, Jeff. 3K, <laughs> 6K we're going to. Yeah, just your Bellagio win. That will give you that you can choose, cash or that. Cash or the watch. It is a sweet looking thing. I mean, it's it's got a lot going on. Oh. What was that one that Dan Fleischmann's always rocking? That thing just always draws my eye. Can't look anywhere else but at it. Mm -hmm. So Aaron has lost a couple of pots, and now he is all in. Richard with a decent looking hand, but... It's sort of one of those spots where it's like, all right, what is he really shoving here? Am I beating it? I want to gamble. It's hard to uh, imagine King Queen's playable here, right? All right, gamble, gamble. Oh, yeah. 
comfortable favourite here, Aaron. Uh, what is it? Ace oh, Queen. No. Oh no, Jeff. Ace Queen, and it's a, it's short deck as well. Wow. Tara, that's a pr yeah, my pretty. <laughs> oh, diamond action. Whole host of outs oh, added. There it is. I mean. King high flush. Still Jeff knew ace, straight away. Ace queen just straight away. He said, yeah, "Uh oh." Yeah. Yeah. What a brutal run out. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Give me some eight, nine, nine, ten. Aaron, I'm sure will be firing another bullet at this one. Yeah. And then you lose. He's on a good run. Three finals out of the first four events. Jack ten of the. Jack ten of the pro. Nine ten, of course. Jack ten, nine ten, eight nine. Yeah. So the flush got there as well, which is rare. But also the quim tip. It's just. I gotta start keeping track of these things. It's getting ugly for the ace queen. It's honestly, it's almost it's ridiculous. I feel like you're setting it up for me. I feel like you just edit. This is edited. And <laughs> no, it's not. Look at Ivan Liao, poor guy on that ace queen ace four. Our boy tricky. Even. Feeling. <laughs> right. <laughs> Mr. Ocean asking, where's the 50k? No, hold holding from yesterday. That is finished. Makita Batskakowski took it down. Very interesting heads up match. Very close that borderline. Against Arthur Martin Royston. A couple of, uh, well, quite a few peculiar hands in that one. You see your feeling? 30 is 40, uh, is it 30? Below 30? Below 30, uh, like 20, uh -huh. like 22. Uh, Where is it funny cut? 22. Look at like, call. Yeah, 22 and 2. Yeah. But they're talking about my, my position. 40, 40. So, Ace 10, modest hand, 66k. It's about half his stack. But also realizing that, you know, Michael has some king queens and those type of hands. But still, Ace 10, I just, right. it seems like, and you got the limp from Ty. Yeah, Ty's still a concern. Not a huge one, but is a concern. Ty, I'm surprised calls there with nines. nines eh? <laughs> <laughs> we'll That's a good price, I guess. <laughs> reverse psychology, is it? I don't know. Gamble, gamble, Jeff. <laughs> you all in or you all in? I all in. You lim. I all in. You call. Oh, wow. both have. Oh. <laughs> Michael will draw to the royal. Pretty. Oh. Queen? Switching the outs up. Oh, no. I Queen is still moving. <laughs> So is it with the double? Still has one of those 100Ks behind. Down to five here at the moment. going to limp here. I would think it's five-handed, though, ace-queen, off-suit. Oh, oh, he's got oh, 120. Yeah. I'm a little surprised. Wait, what's the blind? Is it it's four? With, with 3k, six on the button. Oh, three, it's six. No, buttons. So. Okay. Yeah. Hey. I don't know. This is where I'm not as familiar with. Right. I'm, I'm still yet to see sort of what people are doing on these sizes. And I think this is one of these spots where we can we can learn a lot from watching someone like Ty. Cause yeah, we know he knows what he's doing. It seems like he's done a lot of work on this game. Mm, don't know. <laughs> feeling. Feeling. Is Jack is feeling. It's pretty easy call. 40 or yeah, 40 MP. 40 something. Well, you're Monday color. Uh, uh, for tournament, you will you, you will go on the on Monte, the play. Monte Carlo. Uh. <laughs> Carlo, I think. You, uh, you yeah, go, uh, go uh. so serious play. Yeah. But to work hard, ma. Cannot be lazy. Richard <laughs> Ace King under the gun. Alright, so they're coming for a raise rather than with the standard limp. Michael King, Jack of Diamonds, next seat. Not gonna play. Kind of a Richard raising the first seat away. That's got to be a strong hand. Ty 
Hi, Ace Jack. Closing the action. Montenegro still going to happen or not sure? Depends. Not sure. Two weeks before we will confirm. Mm. But it's still possibly on, la, right? Depending just on now we it. just go through the event. Yeah. Okay. Depends on the team Monte Carlo. So you should go married millions. Married millions, where is that? Uh? Cyprus. Cyp go still there, then go. Yeah. They got few high roller. It's still on. Party poker cancel, but the casino said they'll put their own one. Casino brand in. Okay. Same event. Same event, no? Okay. Oh, party uh, poker cancel. Uh? Cancel. Yeah. They love Turkish yeah. Yeah. Rec recreation. Consider it. A group like 20 over them. Oh, yeah. they 25k to. Checks through 998. Check on my turn. Right. Ty takes the lead. I'm going. We'll go together. Yeah, sure. Cyprus never go before. Interesting. <laughs> you need to go fried turkey. We fried go the there on the like second. Yeah. Play until 7. Go oh, to Montenegro. May. May la. Uh, yeah. Okay, on. Straight after EPT. Yeah. Just nice. But they haven't, just an EPT haven't, announced, EPT, yeah. haven't announced properly the, the schedule everything, right? They finished by third lah. By third lah, yeah. Nam Nam Ho. Players, of course, talking about all the uh, adjustments to the live calendar okay, in the next few months. Only can fly with the Turkey there. Mm. No way, other way. Turkish airline, Istanbul. Istanbul fly to the south, lo, take cargo. Lo. Two <laughs> hours. <laughs> so so south, south lo, north, two hours. Mm. But Turkey very, very fast. Ah, mm. Istanbul is the best. The, the best. best. Yeah, yeah a, lot, a lot of flights. Yeah, from any flights there. Yeah. Every flight there, easier. Michael Olympian Jacks in the first seat. The beast this year. The short deck beast. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> oh, we have chips. Until you don't. <laughs> Until you bluff it off. Richard checks the button, Queen 10 against the two limps. How do you think I'm getting in, though? <laughs> My feet won't fall. Ace Jack 9, <laughs> big flop for Michael. Set. Richard open ended. Tie even with the drawing dead gut shot. Michael going to bet big on what is always a draw heavy board in this game. But especially one where he doesn't block top pair. Can't see Richard going anywhere yet. With that open ender, he even has a club. Six on the turn. Seven, eight would have got there. No, or less likely of the draws to call the flop. Yeah, pretty great spot for Soiza here. Got to feel really, really good about your hand. Of course, I mean, 7-H is so unlikely. Right, inside just to rip it. Plenty of draws you can rep. Which you can call with plenty worse. I'm not going to in this instance. Awkward when you've got two times pot in, the, in a game like this. Jeff, on the turn, you, you bet there. Three quarters get called. So many bad rivers. You don't know which ones call you, which ones don't. See, so size just to rip it in. Yep. Yeah, some. Uh you know, it's also now I feel the popular short deck cash games, but I wonder the, you know, it's similar to no limit tournaments and short deck tournaments. There's or no limit cash and no limit tournaments similarities, but differences. So I just feel like if I watch the cash game, it might you know, be surprised that maybe some of the stuff where they're not limping right. as much, they're just coming in for raises and spots. And I wouldn't under you know that would be maybe a little loopy to get yeah. dive in there. What do you guys prefer at home? Are you a short deck? Do you prefer the short deck tournaments they're watching this week or the no limit? I mean, I'm I'm interested just because it's so different the short deck, but you know, from what yeah, I'm used to. It my just my personal point, point out this this stage of the short decks just seems 
uh, really wild. And it's like these guys just gambling so much. Right. I, I find it really interesting the intricate decisions that happen when when people have a bit of fear in them. You can't bust when it's when it becomes a tournament. That was much more interesting. Some of the some of the stuff we saw a couple of nights ago was really good. So I'm looking forward to the end of the buying period. Seeing that kind of play again. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Sergi so flopping top two. Everyone checks around. Turn the eight doesn't change the board one bit. Apart from the fact <coughs> Sergi is now behind. The only change is top two fall into the set of eights. And Ty's got to think, I hit Jin here, but why? what is he betting into the field here? You know, there's Jack-9, there's Ace-Jack, right. there's yeah, other sets. And, and he can check those on the flop, can't he? He's looking right. for plus one. So Ty's going to call. I think that makes sense, right? Yeah, you keep some weaker in like this, that will value bet. <laughs> you know, you protect your calling range on the turn when you have draws. Yeah, Sergey's going to have some king. Wow, this is a really bad river for Sergey's. <laughs> it's really hard to put Ty having checked with the hijack on the flop on any hand stronger than king queen. Right. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll <laughs> but the game might be really good though. Like, yes. Uh, now it should it's be. Early times, uh, and lots of draws have missed. How many tables? Don't know. I, I didn't see them being here. I think like eight tables or more. more so, uh, yeah. I guess Ty is just going to call. I don't know. I mean, I where's know. plus I one? So I guess he could take out plus one, probably limping jack nine. So right. it's either it's like ace jack, some sets that are better. Yeah. yeah, you can have kings and queens, I guess. Yeah. They, pr they pretty make more sense as checks on the flop as well, kings and queens, than king queen does. So yeah, yeah just, just the call. What happened on the flop? It was checks, right? Yeah, Everyone so. checked, yeah, so that, ma that makes sense. Uh, so he has buffs, probably a decent percentage. Not getting value from them, so it makes sense just to call with eights. I mean, if, if they got no space, it's a different story, la, like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Thing, la. Ah. If they have no space, then there's a value argument. La, they better now play. then do poker. <laughs> I don't know. Go and check it out. <laughs> Good formulation poker. <laughs> That's tough when you bet get called. You're... Yeah, you, you value bet. Online? The guy tanks and no, calls. Yeah, yeah probably has like a week or two pair or Where's something. More, more, you know? more, more of the time. Until now, there's no cash games or anything. It's only like once in a while, there's some small tournaments. Oh, really? So yeah, they just open a up in the mountain. Yeah. If he had checked the river, what do you think he do, What do you think Ty does? Hmm? What do you think Ty does if he gets checked too there? Oh, you just gotta bomb that. I think bomb it in. Yeah, I mean, just bet big. All those draws, you you're more likely to have. You don't really have too much value. Yeah, the way that one played out. Yeah, he's good. Always super full, man. Very good. Monopoly, Monopoly, a lot of Chinese stories. <laughs> but now I guess no more. That's not the old casino. Mm. Oh, this casino like 50 years away. Oh, wow, 50 years. I think 50 years. Uh, 50, 50 years something. 50 something. Oh, wow. Mm. My age. <laughs> yeah, that's a long time. The casino's Queen, 10, 6. So, again, top and money. bottom. That's why I can expand <coughs> globally, become global. So, a guy with jacks. Yeah. No one else can open. They're building one in yeah. Vegas. The group building one in Vegas. Uh, I don't know what's the name. Okay. The Great War. Great China. War. They call no, no, no. Great War. Now opposite win. Opposite win. Oh. The structure so same like win get sued. Whose turn is it? It's his turn, is it? Yeah. Oh, this is my turn? Oh. It's on me. It's on me now. Check. It does check around to Sergi on the button. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Right. With this top and bottom, right. going to be a yeah. mandatory yeah. bet yeah. here. Singapore, Singapore also have? Singapore, Singapore also have? Singapore and Tosa. Singapore also have? Singapore, Manila. Wow, he bets big. Surprise. I wasn't thinking about the hand, I was thinking about the name of the casino. I know, it's so. He's one of the. Very successful. Casino, most tape, a lot of table, but he's the top. Because also, he got the cruise. Everything. Cruise also, yeah. Cruise also, yeah. Like, actually, he's the. 
Tahu orang Casino King Casino King Global Global Casino King Lot of people in the gaming table mm. on the, In the world In the world Around to Sergei on the button. Here's Jax. Pretty really happy to check this with position. Well, oh, it's gone the other way, Jeff. It's ripped it in. Huge bet. There's everyone out. They fold. Holding pair. Surprising there, Jeff. I mean, yeah, it's, a bit. It's a really bad hand to have if you're called. Yeah. Su surprising, but also... Uh, hand. Yeah, because the limps, right? The limps, like, uh, you're just going to be against Queens, King, Aces there. Right. Ace, King, I mean, Olympian, and... Yeah. Richard Young having a nice start. He's rested, hasn't played any events yet. Comes in, gets the lead. He still has two lammers behind, so. Yeah, flying start for him. Yep. So, uh, still fast and furious action in the buy-in period of this tournament. Oh, his lammers are still in play, so. Chip stacks will move wildly until the end of that buy-in period. No question. No question. A lot of all-ins to come. A lot of... A lot of interesting spots. This is the early stages of the short deck. We did catch, we've had a, this is several final tables. We see two kings for under the gun. See, look at this. Like all of a sudden this is, he's limping his kings, he's limping his 10-8. This is a hand, one hand up. before, and jacks are just for a huge pot Richie for his whole stack. Yeah, this is this. the thing. If someone limped aces that last hand, he just does the whole lot. And look, this is what they do. Kings and aces both limping up early. Wow. All the pairs out. Jeez, this is some big hands. And you know the right stack gets a hand, like they and they do jam some of the, some jacks and stuff. This is uh, as it is, not no other. It's hard for anyone to really have much here. All the big hands right. are out. Sergey so thinking Olympian, or is he just feeling saucy? There's no way he could raise that. I mean, there's 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 plays and there's things, and then there's just. And this is pretty wide already, completing seven eight. Yeah. But gets to go five way in the cutoff. Oh my goodness! Wow! 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 Whoa! I, this is the biggest cooler I've yet to see in in short deck. I yeah. mean, this is high checks second set. I'm surprised that's certainly one you I think you can come out and bet. But you know, if someone's gonna have an ace. They're gonna call you. You always need some protection against those straight draws. I assume and a check raise coming. Sergey with gutter. Well, let's it go. You'd think so, you know. It's uh, why not, right? It's right. like, what do you you want to let Queen Jack suited or Jack Ten suited? Right, Richard's bet from the second seat as well. Yeah, and we don't block an ace. Oh man. Interesting. That one, the, the yeah. <laughs> this is the only glimmer of potential. Yeah, wow. Oh my goodness, Sergey would have drilled it. Yeah, too. but this basically a brick. Neither of these players can have seven eight. So. No, yeah, for sure. Do you? I think you told this one yesterday, right? Yes. Yeah. They all bet. I quit then, he quit now, he dropped the straight. He bet the pot. I wonder, is there any scenario where Ty... Not, I, I just can't imagine... I mean, I, I, you're yet to see. This is like top set, top set. Both are at the like super top of the range. Uh, is there anything that... Do you think there's any thought in his mind even that, that Richard could limp aces behind here? And no, because Richard's been raising up quite a few of his hands from early as well. So I was yeah. kind of surprised when he did limp it. I think Ty's just deciding here now whether to just cool or jam. Right. And I, I didn't like the... I was more of a fan of a check raise on the flop, but now we've reached the turn here. I'd rather just maintain the weakness and just call this. Although it's a pop bet, kind of. Well, that many weak hands you're going to have, but you can definitely rep. 
still some one pair. Ty's gonna fall out of his chair when he sees this. Yeah, this is like this is really sick. Like, I think he's just gonna rip and think Richard has aces up a lot of the time with the right. sizing. Can of Oh yeah, I guess he is. Doesn't have the nuts, but. Yeah. Oh, like that. Better. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All this trapping, trapping, Ooh, guys, trapping, trapping. <laughs> yes. A lot of snakes in the grass here in Sochi. <laughs> Even better. Jeez. Fighting each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. You thought you were drawing actually your oh. head. <laughs> but I folded an ace, so we oh. don't have an out for quad. <laughs> no quad out. You. Oh, oui. Diamond. No, you know, got <laughs> Diamond. There's a picture diamond. Man. It's the Cooler, bro. It's a safe one. Richard up to a massive what stack. Uh, so sick too against the two biggest stacks, basically. Yeah. Small chance, yeah. but he won't leave 70. Why he wants to shoot it, leave it. Maybe if he wants to. If he, if he wants. Probably pocket nine. Most likely oh, pocket, pocket nine. Pocket nine, but I don't think he pocket king. I hope yeah. pocket nine only. Pocket nine, yeah. oh. Good result. Yeah. Richard talking now, of course, like Could as well. King. I guess worried if I about your raise, right? But you won't shuffle. It's seven eight. Because I had to Michael I had saying more likely eight. from the first uh, position. Yeah, seven eight. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I I raised if you call. But I was I was I was a scare like. Yeah, yeah true. Sergey had no path. Couldn't right, get there. Sergey calls the flop bet. He's getting Ty's raised. Ty's gonna check raise. Big, yeah. big hand. If you call, if you call, yeah. if you raise. Yeah, you just slim free flop, sure. Like, I, just, <laughs> I thought I was good. I thought I was good the whole time. You good? So maybe it's king, it's nine. It's king, it's nine. Then fold. <laughs> if I can try, then fold. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Paul jams the cutoff tie. Good fold. Calls on the bottom with Queen Ten of Spades. I'm not gonna fold my. Yeah. <laughs> For sure not. Uh, one hot lucky please. Some chop chop situations. I would love a chop right now. Ah, ah, okay, sweet. picks up the flush draw. Queen. Oh, there it is. Oh, flush. Yeah. Oh. You say flush is hard to hit. Like door flush. Wow. Straight and flush. Pull now, the short one. 58k. Richard Young just, I mean, that is that is a silly, sick hand. It's just bossing it. That's what it is. Jeff, you know, you, you skip the first few events. You save the run good for when it matters. Yeah, it's, it's true. Paul's gonna jam his king ten off in. This one too. <laughs> I'm very bad. So bad your hand? Yeah, it's very bad. Wow, I'm surprised this <laughs> call here too, but I guess it's a very bad very hand. <laughs> <laughs> not quite right. I think you uh, are quite a big favorite. Yeah, yeah. Uh, king six ten is not. Yeah, yeah, king ten bad. never lose. Yeah, king ten never lose. Yeah, King 10 against Kings never lose. <laughs> Montenegro on the bubble. Yeah. You, 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 you. I will not play oh, this hand now. Yeah, you're good, you're good, yeah. Sorry? Eight, 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 I will not eight. play this hand now. <laughs> Too creative. <laughs> not again, yeah. <laughs> Too creative. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too creative. <laughs> picture, picture. Loose, Any loose. picture is a winner. King, Queen, Jack. Big card. Mm. 
ten. Yeah. 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 Matt, yeah, that the, the limp call with Sergey there. I don't know if I like it. I guess 60k. There's dead money, but gamble, gamble. Yeah. You're right. We're here to. You're right. It's short deck. Guys are guys are firing. S six. But he's got two hundred over thousand. He live. Twenty and two. Heads up, lah. He's saying if heads up, then he will call a six suited. Twenty and two. I won't call. I don't know. Depends the position. I mean, if you are cut off button or something, how to be heads up? Any S, you die. The rest 50 50. How to call? No, but versus range, you're 20 NTs, right? Any, yeah. two, any two pictures you will jam, right? Any two pictures 50, oh, you are not here, what? Yeah, you have to flip for the dead money, ma. If you're over, what, you're the S? Uh, it won't be there. I don't have to do the calculation, la, but if it's like cut off button, it's less than 30, call. I think. S some S10 and S6. Less than 30%? S6, huh? This is very bad, oh. Can check it out later. Mm. But like cut off button for sure you're going to call right? Like this kind of suit Yeah, suit it, yeah. How how can you pull the cut off button for Sergey ripping on the gun? He's like shoving all sorts of stuff. Richard's just one I mean, twenty one. That's just such a such a spicy looking hand. Right. In short deck is in particular. He knows against like Ace King and all these other hands, he's doing alright, but he's got a lot of chips. Ten high calling off isn't ideal, but it's you know what? He's got a lot of chips and he's taking names right now. <laughs> Ace. Get on the list. Ace is. No. No. Ah. King Queen. Oh, sure, it's his Ace is there. <laughs> this pose. No, that's just Richard wanting to C5. I have a small chance. Yes, no. <laughs> he's running good. <laughs> he's running good, yeah. He is running Should good. Should admit that. Mm -hmm. Well, a little something for both. <laughs> also, fair fight at the moment. You need a queen, a nine. Mm -hmm. King is safe as it gets. King is good. One twenty-one. One twenty-one. A mere flesh wound. Yeah. For Mr. Young. Hmm. This guy's two hundred. Right? Two hundred yeah, behind too. I mean, I saw some people in chat referencing RIP 50K, but that's not the case. There is Lammers, so he, he just had to execute one of his three. Well, he had one in, so he has used another, now one behind. Each player getting three. You can use them at any time until the rebuy period, and then they go into play. You cash them in for 100,000 in chips. So see those blue chips behind? That is 100,000 chips, but they're not in play if you're all in. And if you get knocked out, you can use that and get back in for 100. So if your 50K gets you 300 kits. 300 chips, uh, 300,000 chips, and you get 100 at a time if you like. Yeah, you can, you can take them all, you can just take one at a time. But I think everyone pretty much just takes them one at a time. Yeah. Well, allows people to gamble maybe that little bit more. And, and Jeff, there's, uh, like in PLO games, there's there's some edges you can generate by being short, and you've got other big stacks around you. You can leverage your short stack, force force big stacks to fold hands, and and get a lot of equity with dead money in the pot. Which is why you might be wondering, well, if you think you're a really good player at this game, why don't you sit in with all your chips yeah. at once? Because then you're deep against uh, the players you deem to be weaker but than you. But but there's a lot of edge to be gained by being short in a lot of these situations. Yeah, uh, PLO we'll see that come up. PLO for sure too, cash games and stuff. So it's, it's good it's to have. It can be a huge in PLO cash games. Yeah. yeah you, you blast it in, the big stack has to worry about, another big stack in the pot has to fold. Same in this game. Really interesting. And and of course you're you're reducing your variance, you know, these are huge barn events, fifty Ks even for the top pros. Yeah. You don't want to just be blasting fifty K in each time. Good card for both to see, that's seven. Uh, one sec. Can you give a uh, three hundred change, right? This is for you, yeah, thanks. So I'm going to check the turn. Mm. Yeah, no, I mean, you must imagine Richard probably has an ace. 
or a draw when he calls that flop. They're not. He could have a hand like Jack Seven or Ace Seven. Didn't I guess. it go check call? Didn't Richard bet twenty? Uh, and me, then if I that, think if that's the case. Yeah, this makes a lot more sense. And I think uh, Sergey could go for a bet there. I don't think that Paul's gonna. I don't think Richard's gonna bet Jack X. Right, exactly. It looked like a one person. And it looks like if he had a draw, if he had like a queen ten, king ten, or something, took a shot. He's probably not gonna shoot at it at the river. But either way, I guess check call is fine. Pull one of the gun, ace nine. Limping in a little loose. Richard Jack Knight would be very loose. It's always at ace seven. The same. Some pretty bad hands out here. Ace King Six or Diamonds. Paul and Michael both with top pair, both with a diamond, but it is Paul and front. Interesting decides to bet there's certainly a hand that plays pretty well as a check call. Turn makes a lot of splits possible. Can't see Paul wanting to bet again. And I don't see any reason for Michael to bet this hand. Check in position, see a river. And there is one of those split cards. Both players with trips. Paul still with one of the sort of weaker hands ever going to bet the flop with. Just an ace, no kicker. And not surprising to see it go check, check. Chop. Oh, you, you were diamond, so lucky diamond. They have to put phone outside. So I keep limping queen nine in the hijack pretty loose. <coughs> so I gotta punish him. Raising up with a bad ace. Mm -mm 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 -mm.
Sergi limping nine ten of diamonds. Sergi also limping tight. Ace queen diamonds on the button. Certainly going to be good enough for a raise. It, six antis to play. So again, nine turn diamonds certainly play well enough. Hard to miss many flops with a hand like that in short deck. Well, he's done just that. 7-7 seven, seven king. Absolutely no use to him. And Ty really has a big range advantage here. He has kings, he has aces, he has ace king. <coughs> so he can never really have a seven. This feels like a mandatory bet. Who's the wreck on here? The wreck? Uh, I'm not too sure actually. Yeah. 51, is it? The first, if you start from the beginning, 51. Yeah. Not 52. 51. 2%, 4%. Mm. Early by 51. Mm. Uh, before 3 or at 3, mm. basically. Oh. No, from the start. From the start, la. 3 p.m. start. La. Talking about the rake, we were referencing it the other day. Half price rake if you register at the start of the tournament. All, all the full come in. Mm. It's actually quite good. Everybody really yeah. starts on time. Yeah. Exactly that. It gets the game going. In the past, some of these high rollers, they start hours late. No one wants oh. to sit down at the start. Limps, no raise. Check from Soiza on the button. King, Queen, nine. Whole chords banished for this one. And she comes out betting 20. Ah. 
Ah, he's coming. We are leaving. <laughs> Under the gun. Three level break. <laughs> break. Okay. Okay. Three level, I think so. <laughs> yeah. Man, break right. count. Seventeen. Yeah, four, five, six. Yeah. Correct. That's <coughs> blah. Lai yo. Third or second. Four point angle. Do you want to say last tournament you used up? <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, the winner of the 25k short deck, the last, the, the second one, sorry. Back in action in this 50k. And see there with exactly 300k. 100k in his starting stack, two lammers behind. And you assume he's a re entry. Jams first hand. 100k, is it? Hmm? <laughs> Boy, yeah. Hey, more here, more. Around starting? Yeah. 100, exactly. Exactly. Land call. Yeah. You get, you get seven, so like he says, cool with his jacks. This one a straight flip. You hope I call as well. <laughs> yeah, I hope you call. Not a flip anymore. King Jack 9, no set for Sergi. You have the same cut with me like that. The A1, oh, yeah, A1 you I won't call. No, unless I have a really good hand. A-King. Yeah. A-King, not only A-King, A-King, A-King. Yeah, you A-Queen. Brick on the river. Way long. We'll flick him one of those blue chips, get out of 100k. A-King, King, King. Like, same hand with me, you will call. Here you think, hope to prove. Yeah, yeah. Either that or it's king of check. Check, check, check. So guy putting up a bit of a stack still has his two hundred Ks behind. What do you have Avalo? In that last hand. It's just it's, it's <laughs> I didn't see. It's queen. <laughs> it's queen. Jacks. Oh, yeah, yeah, top set. Right. King Jack. Man. All in? Michael from the hijack. I'm going to rip in his jacks. Pull with the very real ace ten of hearts on the button. Can't see him folding this one. <laughs> see, even against big pairs, 42%. Jacks. Forty-six, I have. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think forty-six, I think. So high man. Yeah, super. super he's in the tens mm. ah. Yeah, like that one. Oh, he's got more than forty <laughs> percent like, now. King ten ten, giving him trips. Oh, you. Oh. Gone the other <laughs> way. Wow. Jack's full. Just the one out. Jack's never lose. Yeah. What? Oh, yeah. It's four across. It was a club, but it's the wrong one. Cover, cover. Yeah. 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 How much was it? Oh, Yido Jacks. Yido King, hold on. Come 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 on. Black minus black. No need to be 100% exact. It's high, king, queen of spades under the gun. He's going to want to play this one. Imagine as a limp, that's what he does with all his earlier position hands, and that's exactly what he has done.
you send it. Way long. On the button. Ace Jacker Clubs moving in. This lot of his 100k chips. 97,000 the bet. Yo. Shot that. Come. Limped in. Fire bullet. Yeah. Feels like this was a spot he had to go with. Oh, fuck. Interesting. Oh, can't play in Jack Seven. Oh no, no. Do better, man. Eight, nine, or two, da. Jack, no, I'm Jack, Jack, Jack Seven, two. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jack nine, two, da. I call. Yeah. Jack seven, two. Jack eight, also no, cannot. Yeah. Jack nine. Near enough a flip once again. King eight six tie, oh, yeah. taking the lead. Way along with some backdoor oh, draws. Me. Here comes one of them. Need to ten. Ace, too, too, too little, too late. Come on, ha ha, they all. Come on, ha ha. Come on, ha ha. Yesterday you overkill. <laughs> yeah, just uh, you're killing. Overkill. <laughs> the heads up showing you so much luck. The heads up which really is only too many full house in flush. <laughs> he ran too good yesterday. Third bullet on this 50k buy in, in play for Wei Long. Yesterday's champion. You took like first three places <laughs> in last one, in last tournament yesterday. One, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's indeed the case. Paul Per was, of course, the runner up. Tai Hai in third. Of course, yesterday's short deck. Today we had the 50k no limit hold'em final. That was one earlier by, of course, Makita Bedskiakowski. It's a great final table. It's a very interesting play on it. Okay, limping in ace king of diamonds. Yeah, it's gonna work here. Wei Leung. Got a German. His king queen. Easy. And you see here. Mm. We're just thirty percent on his third all in at this table. <laughs> what to do? I like your hand a bit. <laughs> Eventually he has to win one, like right? Hand a lot, right? This one, this but you like Eastman suited a lot. You like this one a bit, like that one a lot. <laughs> <laughs> See? Uh -huh. There it is, queen on the flop. Oh, the Ace yeah. or ten will still do it. <laughs> uh, what? Ace ten? Ten, uh, ten Seven. Ace ten. Oh, there it is, oh. ten on the end. Ah. Way <laughs> long, oh. fifty thousand dollars. You used up all your power yesterday, I tell you. <laughs> Did not last long. It lasted like ten minutes. Uh. I have one S bar as well. Like oh, no, Even no, no, with no. the triple chance <laughs> format, <laughs> still pass quick in this game. Yesterday went like God. He ran too good yesterday. Yeah, but I don't know how many flushes he hits. Yeah, yeah. it was incredible. On the, third, of the, third, the, on the bubble, like two flushes, he took this guy, chip leader. Up. Wow. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> so G, so he, he, he got flood, flood, yeah. flash, flash over flash, flood. yeah, against yeah. you. Yeah. Uh. Then Uncle thought you had straight flash. Everybody was like, oh, straight flash, no, flash. Then he thought I, he lost. <laughs> I, 
the Diolo turnover is in this him they mark. I didn't I didn't even know what he had. Oh, oh really? Yeah, because the Diolo marked his hand. What did Diolo mark his hand? Yeah. He, but he showed his hand, right? Yeah, yeah, he just saw oh. his hand, yeah. Well Dilo thought he had a straight you had a straight flash. Yeah, I guess. Because I said said flash, then yeah. everybody yeah. take for granted already. Yeah. 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 I was like, I missed the six and seven. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> On you, Uncle. Okay, let's see. Very close. That was four guards straight close. Mm. <laughs> Richard and Michael cut off versus Button. No raise. They're going to see three. Huge shot for Michael. Trip nines. <coughs> Yeah, call. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Pretty short. Alex to jam. Oi. Hundred is a hundred. Uh? More. More than hundred. Okay. One one zero. One one nine. Yeah, it's okay. Nobody wants to see. Button mode. Sorry, five six two. Five six two. with eight, 300k. Desperate for no raise behind here. Michael wants to join in with Kingland Hearts mm -hmm. and Paul more than happy to check the button with Ace Seven off. Sees Ace Ten Ten. He takes the lead. After the upcoming break, this will be our next feature table. Baskiakowski, the most recent champion here. Phil Ivey, oh, a man who needs no introduction at all. Aaron Van Blarkram back in the mix. The table, this is going to be Johnson and Stevie Chibbuck rounding it out. All right, we're going to have some fireworks. So we have to do a break coming up in a few minutes. After the break, that'll be the next feature table here <laughs> at the Party Poker Live Million Super High Roller Series Sochi. King King ate the flop here.
Paul electing to bet his eight. Just kind of a one and done situation on a broken board. Ty calling with trips. Richard over calling nines. A little surprising. Not much chance of them being good against a bet and a call. If they are, hard to imagine a run out where you win. Pool gonna have to shut it down. Ty with the bottom kicker, a little concern himself against two players. Richard can certainly have better kings. He does like to bet it. Protect against some draws. If he gets raised, he knows he's beat. Multiple limps in this one. Richard 8 9 off on the button. Not going to put any more in with that. King is hot. King is indeed hot. Nobody has one. Can't see any more chips going into this pot. on the turn gives Richard the open ended straight draw. Sergi's seven still actually the best hand out there. Queen on the end. Paul's going to win this one at showdown which is where this pot is destined to get to. I'll try. Seven is good. Mm. Try late. Early. They're not bad. Kick up a ball. <laughs> Richard Young leading the way on our feature table. 589,000 in chips. And it looks as though. Yep, players are going on their break, so when we come back, we are going to shake things up with that table we showed you a moment ago. Our most recent champion, Bats Gikowski, Phil Ivey, and Van Blarkrum. All in the mix, coming up in just 10 minutes here at Casino Sochi. But it does take it. He's in position. Such a pretty hand. And uh, we'll go to a flop. Flush is really hard to make. And look at that. As we said, 
It's a very pretty hand. It's a flip against aces, and he flops the straight. I don't know why it says 45% for Michael when Richard has straight. I don't understand that. I guess to fill up. Not sure on that. That's a bit confusing to me because I would think that the player in the lead would have the lead. Oh, don't go. Sorry, sorry. He said fold. <laughs> you didn't notice this. I you talk about him, you're gun. Um, yeah, I mean, that might be an error. I'm just not sure why I would say that Richard, who has a straight, is behind. And two kings are even not available to make a boat there. So a lot of his outs gone. I think he's thinking, should I raise? Should I call? I mean, loses to only Jack 10, goes for just a call. Makes sense. So Queen is the most available card. It says 50 50. There's a dud. Richard gonna have the best hand still. Zeta. This is set against ten check ten. Yeah. Like ten. And Paul knows the situation already. Look at that. I told you they're hard to win with. It is. I didn't have any of that. A whole bunch left. It's like a the, flip. Showing the outs. You yeah. saw a couple of those kings were gone though. And Jack 10 well, for I, Richard I, Young I, gonna win. Uh, people are trying to raise or raise also. Yeah, same thing as you win. Same like, same call, call yeah, like, yeah. you a lead, you yeah. know a bit. Yeah, I yeah. Two of the prettiest hands we were just. <laughs> this is short deck, correct. Two, three, fours, fives not in play, so 36 cards. I'm sorry, no, so, yeah, 4, 8, 12, 16, 36 cards out of 52. Look at that. That's his gut shot, so the seven would make him a straight going to the ace. So it wasn't a total no equity bluff. Take a look at the outer tables. True teller. I'm not that piece of shit. I'm not falling for that. What do you think I'll be turning me into? I know that thing's a disaster. Is it? I can't believe you'd show me. That. All right, fine, okay, I'll show you. Okay, I'll show you. I feel violated. Let's look at Seth Davis. I mean, I, I use this. this is the one I've been You do not use that. He does not calculator. use that. That's the worst calculator. It looks good. It's the worst calculator right. ever. Carry this one. I do use this one. You do not use that calculator. <laughs> we can have a bet on this one. Real? <laughs> if we have a log of like apps. Let me see that one then. Let me see that one right <laughs> now. <laughs> no, I don't think it's so the best anyway, one. Anyway, your turn. It looks yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Look at some familiar faces over there. Pick up the action again here. Aaron with a very nice looking king, queen of clubs. Gonna go after Richard's complete. Yeah. Good call, good call. Good call. See a question in the Twitch chat. Flush beats a full house, right? It does indeed. Flush does beat a full house. Big flop for Richard. Straight draw with his tens. King Queen suited. This is uh, one of the worst boards you're going to see. Right, but Richard's limp from under the gun, called the raise. Reasonable for Marin to presume that he probably has a hand more like Ace Jack. King ace Jack, king, yeah. Queen Jack, one of these kind of hands. I guess Ace King would raise, right? Probably re raise it. Right. So probably thinks we can make him fold on this flop. Yeah. 
on a turn, yeah, and Aaron just gives up. It was a one and done situation. Richard improves to straight, but a paired board and a flush possible. Uh, sneaky gets to check out, but I can't really see what Aaron can expect wow. Richard to fold here, but. And Richard, as play, it's a great check call hand. Right. Aaron raised pre flop remember, it's hard to have him to have any value here other than the flush. Nothing. <laughs> 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 And Fleischmann's always rocking, that thing. Just always draws my eye. Can't look anywhere else but at it. Mm -hmm. So Aaron has lost a couple of pots, and now he is all in. Richard with a decent looking hand, but... It's sort of one of those spots where it's like, all right, what is he really shoving here? Am I beating it? Do I want to gamble? It's hard to uh, imagine King Queen's playable here, right? All right, gamble, gamble. Oh no, yeah. Comfortable favorite here, Aaron. Ah, uh, what is it? Ace oh, queen. No. Oh no, Jeff. Ace queen, and it's a, it's short deck as well. It's harder. That's a pr pretty. <laughs> Oh, diamond action. Whole host Ooh, of outs diamond. added. Oh, there it is. I mean, King, high flush. King high flush. Still Jeff knew ace, straight away. Ace queen just straight away. He said, yeah, uh oh. oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Richard, ace king under the gun. Alright, so we're coming for a raise rather than with the standard limp. Michael King, Jack of Diamonds, next seat. Not gonna play. Kind of a Richard raising the first seat away. That's got to be a strong hand. Tight ace jack closing the action. Montenegro still gonna happen or not sure? Depends. Not sure. Two weeks before we will confirm. Mm. But it's still possibly on lah, right? Depending just on now we it. just go through the event. Yeah. Okay. Depend the team. Monte Carlo. So you should go married millions. Married millions, where is that? Uh? Cyprus. Cy go still there, then go. It? Yeah. They got few high roller. It's still on. Party poker cancer, but the casino said they'll put their own one. Casino brand in. Okay. Same event. Same event, no? Okay. Oh, party uh, poker cancer. Cancer. Yeah. They love Turkish yeah. Rec recreational. Consider it. Okay. A group like 20 over them. Oh, yeah. Play 25k to. Checks three nine nine eight. Check on my turn. Right. Tie takes the lead. I'm going. We'll go together. Yeah, sure. Cyprus never go before. Interesting. <laughs> you need to go fight Turkey. We fight go the there Turkey. on the Istanbul. second. Yeah. Play until seven. Go oh, to Montenegro. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. On. Straight after EPT. Yeah. Mm, just nice. But they haven't announced. EPT haven't EBT announced. EBT. Haven't announced properly the, the schedule. Everything. Right? They finish by third lah. By third lah. Yeah. Nam ho. Players course in the first seat. The beast this year. The short deck beast. Yes, indeed. <laughs> oh, we have chips. Until you don't. <laughs> Until you bluff it off. Richard checks the button, Queen 10 against the two limps. How do you think I'm getting in, though? <laughs> Mikey won't fall. Ace, Jack 9, <laughs> big flop for Michael, set. Richard open ended. Tie even with the drawing dead. Welcome back. We are here in Sochi for more short deck action. Makita, 
50k specialist already with a title today is uh, in the driver's seat 169 annies huge lead stevie 444 known as steven chidwick legend often regarded as the best tournament poker player in the world right now definitely in that conversation makita there's a look at the man phil ivy himself and aaron just might as well just stay parked at these feature tables danny tang got his fair share as well uh he's been here confirm if i have 25 NCs or not I just want to be. That's right, right. Tang asking for. 100K. All right. 20 NCs to me. We got less than 100K now. Danny Tang going to rip it in under the gun, okay, ace queen. If it was 20, it would just go in even faster. The mm. Ivy. Let's rock the Russia hat, that lay hat, another hat. Uh, here he's going to ship it. Ace 10. So close. Anyone else on second or more bullets? What, what? Yeah. Many people. I feel you. Oh, yeah. Mama second. What's up, Phil? What's up, man? <clears throat> Danny Tang, Phil, Johnson, quite a lineup. Aaron, some success in the 25Ks, and he did cash the 50K Nolan Holdman. Here he is in a 50K short deck on a rebuy. So buy-in's getting bigger. Price of poker going up this week. Going to be 100Ks, and then there will be the 250K. Kings, John. Cut off, gonna rip it. And Makita, certainly, I don't think we'll be calling with uh, two nines. Doesn't seem like it would make a lot of sense. A lot of chips, and nines, pretty vulnerable hand. Sixes, sevens. If he's thinking with nines, I guess he put it in with tens here. He's gonna fold. He's got a lot of chips, and uh, Stevie also gonna get out of the way. Nice hand there for John Sin, your main event champ from a few years ago. Also at the final table, the first event here. Really nice guy. I got to catch up with him more this week. like to have him on my podcast. L a lot of these guys. Danny Tang was my most recent guest. It's fun to table all day, man. chat with these guys, playing the highest stakes in the world, see kind of their rise. Anyone you guys want to see in particular? Phil Ivey would be great to get on. Could ask him, Makita, Stevie. Phil with the 89 suited. How many chips? 85K. I guess it's a. Uh, I guess he stays balanced with the limp. Makes sense, right? He'd, he uh, he would limp his his big hands. So, kind of protected, getting raised on light. F and Tang, is he going to go for the, is he thinking that Ivy's trapping? If not, I mean, ace-queen, pretty good hand. Phil does still have some, like, these type of hands. I think he also thinks Phil might just shove with, like, kings or queens, so maybe that's going through his mind. Ace-king, would he probably just shove, right? So he sort of sorted this out. Makes sense. I think Phil has more weighted towards more these type of hands than, than aces or kings. He blocks aces, blocks queens. Would fill limp kings or just shove, try to take down the annies. And uh, Phil just decides, you know what, there's all the extra money in there. And still the rebuy period, I believe. 23 at 32. Makita doing a little math. He actually has the best hand, but it's hard to win. You have to beat both hands here, roughly the same chips.
Owen. All right, we're all in here. Ace Queen, eight nine. Phil, gonna hop in. Ace Queen, I'm telling you, I'm out. I'm just out on Ace Queen. There's life. There's outs. There's Phil, still Phil fading a ton here, and uh, he's gonna fill up. Look at that, Mr. Ivy, fan favorite, getting it done. The eight nine suited, limp in, bear trap. Uh, eighty nine, so seventy five. Eight five. Eighty nine. Eight nine suited ace queen. Just I'm tell I'm just telling you. I keep saying it. It keeps happening. We can replay this week's. If you take the ace queen all ins this week, has it won an important pot? It just doesn't seem to win. Wait, 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 Get wait, rid wait. of it. Yeah, it Shout out to Daniel Negrani, the 2.7 hand. He called it for 2.7 million. He was down. That was back in like 05 or six or seven, from a side event a World Series interview. I'm telling you, this hand just doesn't do things. And just like that, so Ivy. introduced the rule today, not use the pawns on TV table. <laughs> Sorry, Makita. I'll remember this. The I mean, enforcer. Last I mean, time when you were playing on GG while we were on the tournament, you know? No, I mean, I honestly, I think this. it's just like, it should be obvious ruling, and I really don't get why they're not really strict about it. Makita cracking the whip. I mean, everyone obviously could step away and like, Look in the phones. But it's in everyone's interest to have like safer games. Makita fresh off the 50k win. He just loses a pot in the 50k and uh, you know it makes sense I guess not to have devices, phones, just in general keep it uniform, no problem. <coughs> Danny Tang. <coughs> Shout out to Party Poker and the Power Fest is going to be. Stevie, you play 400? Three. Playing with you guys this week, Sunday. A bit over three. Starting up, big guarantees, big action. Some party poker pros getting having a good week. Makita with the title, Sam Trickett with a title already. Was it 51? Jack, 9-10, King Jack. <laughs> Three-way, open-ended, King Jack. Danny's all in. Stevie with a pair and Makita with top pair. So Stevie has a decision here. Does he want to... A lot in the middle. Do you want to try to protect this 10 and bet? Makita checking under the gun 
And he does check back. And there's a pretty strong card. Danny Tang gonna make the Stone Colds on the turn. Has to like seeing that. Stevie does improve to two pair. There's no side pot at the moment. Makita also open-ended. Everyone's got something. Short deck hand. And Stevie, thinking about maybe going for some value here. Got to think about the under the gun limp range, what hands. About 85K, healthy bet. Would Makita limp under the gun with King Jack? Suited King Jack. He has a Jack, he's got a blocker and top pair. Not the worst hand to maybe get saucy with, but I'm just gonna call for now. Out of position is Stevie. Danny Tang all in again. Can't do anything else in the pot. And uh, ace, King Jack. Danny is safe with the absolute nuts. Had to fade a nine or a 10. Stevie does have the best hands. And now there is a side pot of 170. And I think Stevie's gonna on this board check it back. And he's gonna actually get some, some good news and see that he won. So no one eliminated. Danny Tang was in the lead and it held. A lot of legends at this table. What do you guys at home prefer? Do you enjoy basically pound for pound, one one between Nolan Hold'em and short deck tournaments this week, and then of course the 250K main event the end of the week. Uh, what do you guys like watching more so far? Are you enjoying the short deck? Type one in the chat on Twitch and type two if you enjoy the No Limit Texas Hold'em more. One for short deck, two for No Limit Hold'em. Curious what you guys think. Let us know where you're from as well. This is live on Poker Go and a short delay as well as Twitch on Party Poker TV, so enjoy. Hang with you guys. A lot of familiar faces on Twitch. Streaming alongside here with James Dempsey, who had to run out for a bit. My name's Jeff Gross. I also stream on Twitch. And uh, looking forward to a big series on Party Poker coming up. Power Fest starting on Sunday. So hope to see you guys there. Good luck if you're playing. That is getting underway Sunday.
right, we see Danny Tang does get that triple. Now here he is with a pretty nice spot. He had the stone cold nuts on the turn, 86K in the middle. Makita with the jack pen, which is a great hand in short deck. And uh, seeing what, what he's going to do here. Going big. 10x. Basically all in. Leaves himself with a couple chips behind. And Makita. A little bit of a decision on this run out. Jack Queen misses, other things miss. Eight nines a straight. He has a 10. Would Danny play a king like this? <coughs> Mikita, cool name, great player. Won the 50K no limit today. Had a huge stack to start here when we came back at this uh, final table, or at this feature table. See the field 23 at 33 left in this, but um, he's got a tough decision here. He blocks Jack Queen though, so that would be like a, an obvious misdraw. Not a great card to have with it. Ah, uh, whatever. Shun. Danny F and Tang in the building on a way up. Look at this spin up. Freeze out. <laughs> Any anyone here would play? I would not. Staying pro and pro amateur. <coughs> yeah, but then will there be enough pros? Yeah. <laughs> How many amateurs do you think you can go play? <laughs> would there be enough no, pro amateurs? I feel like there'll be more amateurs than pros. I guess it depends on your definition. Oh, I don't know about that. I guess a lot of us are going to get seized. All of a sudden, like, imagine like people who would normally get invited. Let's say, let's say a beta host. They're not going to get invited. Five hundred for sure, yeah. There's what, like ten that's supposed to be established short deck players. You know, you know what I'm saying? Right? King Queen eight six Jack right. six. There's definitely players who can play. Makita. Regard is one of the best in this game, coming in with the Jack Six suited even here. Bit surprising, but in the cutoff. Then the VIPs would have noticed right now. I'm sure they'll get. They'll get some interaction, right? And Phil Ivy taking a shot with the best gut shot, and shows you a bit of his understanding of the game and and where he's at, and just you know, it's a executing a pretty nice. Nice fire there, takes it down in the situation. Just, you know, it's just someone who has a, gotta have a feel for the game there to take a bet at that spot. It's not just clicking buttons, knows what he's doing. What a table this is, Jeff. Yeah, and Aaron, and, and he's just had every feature, every final table, he's having quite a week. Danny Tank just got a triple up. We got James Dempsey back in the booth here. We just got an all in and he did hold and then he just got Makita to make a pretty big hero call. He had this nut straight on the turn and then board paired and went for a nice big bet. Got Makita to call Jack 10. And uh, Makita who was double, he had like 670 at the, uh, when he came back from break. He's lost a couple big, big pots. He's in there. Going in post flop with some suspect hands, in my opinion, but he's regarded as one of the best. So, again, maybe just yeah. part of him just wanting to get in there. It's 
Stevie gonna rip it in. I right, see the blue chips still out there, Jeff, so we're still in the rebuys. Re-entry, I should say. Yep. Ask the Twitch chat what they wanted to see. Yeah, One or really two. Level. And a lot of twos. Yeah. For whether they prefer short deck or the Nolan and them more. It's nice of something a little different sometimes, Jeff. And these uh, GTO robots just, just playing perfect hold'em. See some questions. What is the difference between this short deck and no limit hold'em, Jeff? What's up, Value Buena? It is <coughs> a big difference because of twos, threes, fours, and fives that are removed from the deck. That's 16 cards out of 52. Ooh. So now the math is different. The uh, collisions are different. So when you don't have those hands, there's not a lot of bricks. Um, you know, so now 36 card deck, and like also ace king suited. I'm sorry, aces versus jack ten suited is uh, is must still aces slight favor, but it's literally it's like ace king to queens. Right. You know, it's a flip, essentially 53 47 in that range. So there's one example. Also, like an ace king to ace queen, uh, is closer, very much closer in equity. Right, and like ace king versus kings we saw the other day was is fairly close to to even, isn't it? It's like right. 45. Yeah, so there's so you some get these triangles of powers, Jeff. It seems like you know you get the Jack Ten suited to flip against the Aces, but then it still is going to struggle against like Ace King because when you hit you, the Ace King's going to make straights. You know, it's it's very interesting. Yeah, pre flop makes it much more of a post flop game. Aaron, post flop on Jack Jack Ten. More than happy with King Jack. He, he Aaron's bet sizes uh, interest yeah, me yeah, on yeah. like boards like this. You see him really betting big with trips. There was one earlier and today I saw against uh, Richard Young where he had king 10 on a 10 10 6 rainbow and he bet like pot in right. a spot where it just you know it's like he, he goes with these sizings that are almost confusing and I, part of that though is when you hook your guy on or when he comes along you're going to win a much bigger pot the thing is he's, he's consistent with it right jeff he just yeah. bets big when he bets right and that makes things tough because right if you're playing against aaron you gotta you're gonna have to hold on for a lot That's for sure obviously he's gonna lose some value like you say in spots like that by doing it, but on the flip, you get normal protection. Be nice to see Stevie have a run here. Jeff, we've not really seen him feature much so far. Maybe did he make our first final? Maybe. It's going to be 500 if you go all in. It's fun. I like it. I think this is a. It's a really fun game. I, I'm. I would like to see. I think we haven't really got to see the bubble short deck play, which is kind of just based right. on these uh, events are shaking out with the timing and everything, which is fun. But you know, the final table too. There's a lot of ICM and and uh, interesting spots, and it's kind of cool to see the beginning and end of the tournament as well. To see how different yeah, styles are, what people are doing, what hands to gamble with. They're in the box. Like, like separated like this. Ace, king, eight. We're not seeing Aaron's hand yet. Danny completing surprise. Such a poor hand in king six, but perhaps feeling he has an edge in short deck, even out of position with such a bad hand against Aaron. And of course, you're getting a great price at that point. And he's going to win this one. Pretty bad. Queen seven. Queen six. <coughs> a good shot. <laughs> I know. Crazy, as you call. I think this is a guy, Jeff. You're gonna have to line up for a podcast soon. Aaron. Aaron. I yeah. Think I, I want to know more about this guy. I got my equipment with me. You can fire him. I'll take him up. Take him and get it done okay, here. Maybe on the weekend. Oh, something cool. For sure. Okay. If we don't get in the 250, maybe I'll just have podcast row. Whenever yeah. someone's out, just, just come on up. Other guys here, right? Let's do it. But Aaron's a guy I want to know more about. He's, he's burst onto the scene. You don't drink coffee? I do. Not healthy? No. No, <laughs> no point drinking. I had three already. <laughs> three Not coffees. Drinking. I think that's about the limit for me. I, I, looking around our desk here, it's getting a little silly. There's, <laughs> there's a lot of coffees in yeah. the area. Uh, I, I sort of messed up by not getting one on the way back to the booth. I had to take a little break there. 
Jeff kindly uh, running it solo for a moment. Phil Ivey, who doesn't like to see Phil Ivey? I mean, he's uh, been playing a lot of cash games, allegedly. Not been so much turn in the tournament scene, but saw him pop back in Vegas a bit. And then here, been playing these events. Always fun to watch. Been doing it for yeah, so long. Just, you need him in poker. You know, he's the, he's yeah. the goat. All right, Aaron's limp called with a queen. That's all we know at this point. Well, I can tell you he's almost certainly behind. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and say that's Queen King of Spades. That just seemed I guess it could be it could be any of that. Queen Jack of Queen Spades, Jack Queen Ten of Spades. Yeah. You'd imagine Ace Queen raises the cutoff. That's gonna be a Queen Jack. Yeah, that's like a fold, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one of those other options. Maybe Queens. Could be. Yeah, feels almost like asking for someone to ask him to show. <laughs> And Phil leading the way on this one, both with 363,091 antes. Stevie also chipped up nicely. Makita, Aaron, and John all short. Uh, but not I mean, sure. the stack's really balanced out. It was uh, Makita's show with 650 or so, 670 to start this uh, break. Uh, I see uh, someone in the chat saying aces versus Jack 10 suited is 6337. That is not right. I believe, isn't it 50, 53, 47? Yeah, I'll, 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 we're going to double, we're going to get a... I've uh, taken uh, it as gospel. Uh, someone told me that it's basically a flip. I mean, I assumed it was close, but let's have a little look, see. Or, or, what are you using here for this? I don't know, just, I just, I just Googled a uh, short deck calculator, I mean... Uh, yeah, actually. Oh, shit. <laughs> It does. I think maybe it was it. Uh, Ace King to Jack <coughs> Ten suit is maybe what I'm thinking. Try that yeah. one. Or well, maybe it's more of the equity in it in three way is the uh, is where it has a huge value. Jack Ten suited. I checked. Yeah, fifty fifty versus Ace King. Yeah, there we go. Well, that's important difference because it's good to get that right. You know, that's a huge. That is a big difference. So you're still. Still, okay, against the ace, king, that's right. I knew that, and then I, for some reason, switched it up and then started uh, saying that, and that's, that is that is a big difference. So thank you for that catch. Ace, king to jack. So ace is still two to one favorite, which, yeah, that makes sense. If it's, then it's like, if it's aces to jack, then suit is just a flip. It's like, what are we doing here? How did that happen? How did that happen? Check. It's interesting, Jeff. I, I keep I keep plugging <coughs> in Jack Ten in more and more multi-way spots, and basically, if you just get if you get it in multi-way against all sorts of hands, it's, things are looking good for you. Yeah, like, that it's makes hard, sense. It's hard to not get your equity right. We got a huge collision here. Look at this top set and a <laughs> nut flush draw and a gut shot. Wow. Aaron finds himself with these sets. He's had right, numerous big sets. Interesting size down a little bit from what he has been doing, right? 25 into 40 on a very wet board. Right. It's almost like uh, in reversed, which in right. a way can make, probably can throw people off a bit, right? You would think if you had a hand like that, you would bet more. So in this spot, and maybe John is uh, thinking what his best course option is. Certainly not to go away. Yeah, I mean, John, even against a set of 10s, you can see that the set of 10s only 54%. It's a gut shot and flush draw. And he's going to move it in. Yeah, and pretty close to a flip. <laughs> he nods. <coughs> Jack or spade? Remember, a spade all but ends it with a flush beating a full house. Eight outs, two times in short deck. And. It's not going to change anything and uh, bounce in. Runs out, breaks. Covers, yeah. Does indeed cover. <coughs> yeah. 
John with no tokens behind. Johnson will head out. Ace Queen. How's Ace Queen doing? There we go. It's a good point. John wasn't listening. He hasn't been watching the stream. Ivy's been watching. He'd know to just been the Ace Queen, you know? Yeah. Danny Tang. Rising star. Risen star, I should say. He's there. Yeah. He's at the top. He's in the mix. He's not rising anymore. Secret's out. Blinds are up. <coughs> right. Kicking things up, Jeff. 5k, 10k. Yeah, blinds are going up. Big pot there for... Ah. Aaron, Sorry. Danny, thinking about something. Thinking about the comeback he's making, and there's a queen jack limp. Aaron as well. Aaron's been hot with the nines. He's won some big pots, had some big sets. I guess actually one he won, one he lost, where he was in big, big spot. Bill's getting in there with the with the junk. Six, seven of clubs. This might be more of a cash game situation for the... Uh, Six, seven, suited. I don't know. I guess he gets some protection with the first two players limping in. Yeah. Um, it's just oh. hard to really make like a sweet hand. Right. You just, the flushes are almost worthless. But I guess if it comes, you know it's good. You're not really getting flushed over flush. Right. Flush over flush is exceptionally rare in this game. And uh, Makita. They folded too fast. I have nines, but they folded so quick. <laughs> they have all low cards. I can hear people talking. About what? I don't know. I can just hear it's people it's talking it's here. Yeah. I would have played like the commentators the are way? behind yeah, yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> Danny's rumbled us. He's found us, Jeff. Oh, secrets out. We are not just behind that screen, but also behind a door that's pretty firm and is closed. It could be like Jeff and the, those guys are behind me. It's on delay though, so. Yeah. No, but even if they're on delay, they're still talking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guilty. I don't think it's us he's talking about. That's a good point, actually. I think half an, hour ago, half an hour ago we were on a break, weren't we? So it must be uh, some of the production guys back there doing something. Yeah. Be odd if they fired us for the first time now. Anyway, Phil Limpin and Jacks. Danny Tang doing a little inventory. He's got voices in his head, and yeah. he's unfocused for a second. If he had, if he could hear you, Jeff, what would he do with his hand? Bin it, or check it. Just check yeah. and hope. Check and hope you miss. Hold on. Danny likes, I saw him rep the ace queen firmly here, though. Three, hold on one sec. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I'm, you know what my goal, what, I'm work, what I want to work on <laughs> poker is. Uh, oh, I love Phil. What do you say? Oh, Danny asks for the camera, and he goes, hold on a minute, like, Danny Rose, and Phil's like, y you sure? You sure you're okay? You don't, you don't need to know exactly? You know? I love him. Well, he's got a decision here, because this is, this is an awkward one to be peeling. Right, this feels like... But, well, but... He's, he's kind of cool. Try and flop set. Phil likes flops. But yeah, it's so hard, isn't it, to post, play that hand post. Just mm -hmm. jacks. In this game, going to be gonna, You're not going to see a deuce-deuce five flop in this game. Nope. Yeah, the six six seven's what you're hoping, but... It's not usually Even the case. Even then, you're like, uh, you like can have aces, you can have kings. Still yeah. drawing pretty alive with ace king. Queen 10 8. Danny, showing Jeff how it's done with the ace queen for now. A lot, lot, of, lot of opportunities left for things to go wrong. And I thought that Phil doesn't have too often the. the he could have queen 10 suited, but there's. Would he play kings like this? No, probably limp jam, right? Just one of those. Yeah, like big Locked pairs. aces. King Queen suited. He could have. He could have jacks. Make sense. Yeah. Tens, which would make a set. But so yeah. although it was a coordinated board, it's a pretty safe one for Danny to fire out again at. Yeah. It's gonna okay. fold. Ace Queen finds its way to the winner's enclosure nice. at long last. <coughs> no, interesting to note though, not through five. It got. It didn't yeah, okay, get to yeah, get yeah. to the river safely.
Bill's got a rock in his shirt there. Interesting sort of flashy Buddha, I think. Is that Buddha on there? I don't know what's going on, but... Phil's, show, yeah, it's Phil's pretty, uh, shown a wide range of hats, Russia to L.A. The Russian hat went well for him, made the final table with yeah, it. I would have thought, thought he was going to stick with it. Nikita trying to do what Danny did, turn this hand into a winner. So it's probably surfs up based on how he's been playing, but Phil does limp again. Phil's showing a real wide range of limping. Eight nine suit. Phil got a nice triple up with eight nine suited. He limped, got got it all in and all in, called it off, oh. made a boat. Yeah, those are the spots where those sort of lower suits are connected. Right. The most value in this game is yeah. the three way all ins. That makes sense, especially when they're they're sharing up top, ace king, ace queen. Right. Like you said. Takes then, rich. Yep. I think he's still needling Danny. Oh, Makita, I don't think I'm going to bring con convert to the ace queen isn't good. I've seen him just rock it in there several times. He's an outlier, Jeff. Yeah, he Thank can. You. Thank you. Yeah. Hello. Someone asking, is king queen suited or ace jack off ahead in short deck? I mean, still, it's ace jack. It's ahead. Pre flop. It's got to right. be, but it's still pretty close. But I'll just run that one for you, Jeff. Why not? Let's. Uh, I got you on the. Let's figure this all out together. So we're yeah, let's king, talk it out loud. K king ace, queen suited yeah. and. Uh, ace jack off. I guess it would depend a little if there's any overlap, but we'll yeah, just say different suit, suits. And it's, it's marginal, but let's take a little look see. So it's basically again a flip. Uh, Forty-seven fifty-three. The ace jack marginally ahead. Yeah. I could. I will also with a very nice uh, heads up in the chat with someone correcting me. Thank you for that. Um, yeah, that that's good. You know, I, the fact that I that I think I can walk into a uh, 25 or 50k short deck and I think that aces and uh, jack 10 suits flipping. Everyone's pretty yeah. silly. I get like jack 10 of clubs. I'm just like, oh this yeah, okay, everyone's all gonna be like, wow, just gone wild. Yeah, he's, he's, he's really he's going for it today. Like, like oh, little no. do they know, he's just misremembered something. Yep. And it's the last time I trust you, Jeff. Yep. No. Nope. <coughs> All right, Aaron popping it up. King Queen a cut off. Yeah, I'm actually playing. Makita, Jack, Nine, and Diamonds. Pretty garbage hand. The raise isn't much. Just 25k more. I've seen pre players go for sizes a bit closer to pot than this. Does a little a call from Makita. Stevie closing the action. And Makita's hand, clearly not that strong. Stevie may be a little concerned he could be dominated here, but for just 25k more, he's going to try and get in there. Make the nut straight, Jeff. Such a, such a big hand in uh, short deck straights. <coughs> I'm on the regular, and here we go. Double gut shot. Top mm -hmm. pair for Aaron, second for Makita. This is exactly why Jack-10 is so powerful, Jeff, in this game, isn't it? it straights come up so regularly, and with Jack-10, he always going to make the nut straight. Yeah, I mean, Aaron, or this is a hand I think Aaron's going to want to bet. This is, he gets to have kings here. He's got, it's pretty safe. Jack-10 is the most immediate draw. Even though it looks sneaky, it's a double gutter. It's like pretty, you know, people in this game are very aware of hands and spots, and, and that, that would be, you know, a hand you definitely think could be in this spot with how the action's gone. Aaron, again, going big. Jeff was in about this. Um, oh. 100 into 120, no messing around. Yeah. Stevie, maybe thinking, is it, is it, does Aaron ever have a bet fold here when it's played like this? Maybe not off that sizing. And he does have a fun draw, but it's kind of a... Uh, right. I, th I think with a draw this strong, do you think he can, he can just call the 100 and... Okay, mm. he's going to move it. He's going to go for it. And Aaron may... All right, so yeah, he's at that sizing, he's not betting the fold. Right. <coughs> so I think that makes Aaron tough. He bets his sizings 
Suddenly so finds himself getting it in as a favorite here. And really nice how Party does it here. They take away, they show you that the queen is, you know, the out shows you seven outs. The queen is in Aaron's hand. So actually, you know, it's, it's better for him to have the uh, king queen than the ace king in this matchup. And that's going to improve it's him better more. Better to have the king queen now, Jeff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just an eight. <clears throat> more than 291. Dream turn card there for Aaron. Yeah. And that's Stevie. Throwing in one of those blue chips. Good. Trading it for four oranges. That's what I'm saying. It's better to have the king queen than the ace king just because you block. You got right. the out, extra out taken away from Stevie. And then. It's a short one. Oh, there's our champ. Short, short deck champ. Oh, he didn't have from event okay, one. Like, I, my bad. Sorry, Stevie. <coughs> I thought you had me covered. Number three. Oh, did you just ask Keys? Is bullet number three? I guess I look down there first. Time. It's getting expensive. Yeah. For Shang. So this is the third bullet. Did you took time bank card when I was sinking against Denny? I think I spent one. I, I don't remember if I paid one. What's the question? He used the time thing, but he doesn't think he I, paid. I, I did use it for against you when you went like all in, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. And I use yeah. I used three already. Really nice of you. <laughs> Stevie, <coughs> ripping it in. His Jack Niner clubs, he straight away popping in on top with the Queen Tenor Hearts. A couple of middling hands here. And it's definitely gamble time here Most in Sochi. You guys have a hundred, right? Yep. <coughs> Shame. <coughs> See he there uh, out in front. But as always, equities running fairly close. Stevie's still over 40% with that Jack Nine of Clubs. Yeah, well, he has a gut shot straight draw and a live pair draw still on this King 6 10 flop. Turn pairs the 6. 6 outs, 1 pull. Not to be. He makes the house. Stevie. Oh, that was his last lot of chips. Uh, the Englishman will be forced to rebuy. Danny, was it you saying yeah, about 40 players line? Yeah. Line is still alive. I, my guess was 37. It's gonna I go think you'll flush it out. I think you'll flush it out. It'd be 40, 45. 30, 37, I would. No, 37 is clearly over. Yeah, like, yeah I that's what I'm saying. I think 45. I think 45 now. 45, I take under. Under 45? Yes. <laughs> I don't know, it looks like uh, there's 35 right now. <laughs> John yeah. Cena didn't Maybe. jump straight back in. White kid hasn't been in yet. Yeah, and there's some gambling going on, Jeff. How many players are going to be in this tournament? Yeah. Yeah. Was if uh, playing a 50k short deck was it enough? Time, like the last 20 minutes. Yeah, like I mean people are just busting and coming back in. So. Like 21 of the 34 remain. Still right. in the binds. Oh. Danny Limps, 8 9 suited, not a bad hand to just get to see for free in position here. Danny moving his way up. Aaron with the big, the big stack line. again. He just seems yeah. to figure it out. Just play. gets there. Danny, Danny probably going to want to start betting, right? He limps, he gets to have the most powerful hands. Unlikely he's right. behind here. Ace Jack would maybe be like the only hand. Well, that has an ace. I mean, of course, some house could be sevens or. Right. They got the I random button hand under. always. Could have something. He actually has a gut shot. A sneaky one, too. Like yeah. 16Ks. It's going to have a look see. It's going to get sweat. Well, not the worst card for Danny. Has a 10, blocks Jack 10, has picked up a gut shot draw if he happens to be behind. And also a queen. Well, one of the hands maybe could be behind against was ace queen. Might check the button. 
Well, less likely now. Yeah, I think it's still good enough to bet here, but could go either. either it's way close, right? You want a little bit of protection. You could both get some hand like Queen Jack, Queen Ten. They're going to want to corner one here so you can get some value. There's also weak aces, the worst aces that he's forced on the button, can't right. fold. Ace, ace nine, ace eight, ace six, that would maybe take one off. So you got <coughs> carry Rob and Paul on one table. <laughs> so Rob did play this event. All right. I thought I, I saw him circling around. I didn't think he was sitting, That's but he's, he's getting it begin. going. It is when the real game begins. Carry <coughs> Rob and Paul. The bosses. Yeah, the boss table, just missing Richard there. Yeah, I was about to say, where's Richard at? Let's go find him. He might be there, actually. I think he's at uh, one of those tables. What are you doing, man? You been staying up late playing the cash games? No. No? Just tired. Wore out. <coughs> How can they be 700 and then we have 500 here? But they just got new player random. Like, they're going to, I assume, they're going to move someone from they're the table. Take somebody from there, maybe? Yeah, they will. Yeah, he looks like he's doing it right now. Do, 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 do. Danny with that weak ace on the button again. You see, it's like the butt, the big blind, and hold him. Except that the weird difference is here, you're just in more because you're basically f almost forced in with limping. Uh, you're right. just in there. There's a little limping, and at least you got position. Yeah. I beat sixes. Does not beat that. Jason Kuhn yep. going at it on the floor. Looking for his first cash of the week. <laughs> Something's got to give, right? Keeps ripping these bubbles off. The more the more, uh, the more more bricks he builds here, Jeff, the more I'm making him favorite for that 250. Yeah, it's true. He's going to come in fired up. See a Phil Limp, Jack Tensuda getting pushing it up. Is Phil gonna get away. Phil Phil definitely he's got a wide range. I mean everyone's showing that they're limping a fair amount under the under the gun, but I think Phil's definitely stepped out even just a bit. If you're gonna look at Pips, I've seen him just in there with a few extra ones that maybe some of the others are playing. All right. Probably shows shows you a bit of his comfort level of the game. Willing to go post flop and understanding what he's repping and and uh, looking to get to flops. And there's a real hand. That is the hand, Ace King of Diamonds. Beautiful Are you hand. Ten in front. And Makita's up stuck here. He had a lot of chips. Still, <laughs> still 200, but he is down turned a bunch. Hard for him to be too sour today. He just already ripped off a first place in the 50K for over 700,000 to start. So Beautiful day for him. Yeah. This morning, picks up 765, drops in a 50K. Yeah. All right, we've messed around with uh, Xi Zhang's name. We seem to have uh, <laughs> got it right now. He's limping nines. Danny overlimps. Jack nine of spades. Hmm. Phil Wait. on the button. May see some fireworks here. Yep. Yeah, rips and, it in. And uh, Makita is uh, not going to fold this. Yeah, we've. Uh, I can't imagine. Although when he starts thinking, yeah, no, he can't fold. Right? No, he's Phil's not folding. No, he's, he's loving he's life here with these king of diamonds. This is a beautiful spot. Yeah. He's only got 200k as well. Ooh. He'd be in for anything. Yeah. This will thin the field. We'll see heads up and uh, no ace king or queens out there from the other players. So, guess you would think that favors Makita. Yeah. Uh, the deck card's got to help. Makita as he looks to make a pair. How much is the biggest cut? 
Danny. Danny, this is what we're talking about. Like, so these three way all ins. Yeah, it Jack. Be a really good shape with Jack like Tensudity this. may put it in, but. <coughs> see, even when he's got queens right on top of him. This was like 18 this would, kings. This would be an interesting one to see the equities on. What it? 284, right? Oh, see, 29 percent oh. yeah. in this instance. But if he was ace king and like say kings, I think he'd be over 33. He'd be probably the favorite. Obviously, uh, they're yeah. not quite the same chip levels. Jack. Jack. If it wasn't a jack, it would have called. It's a strong hands. I blocked neither of you. We call the floor too. 220. Ace. Do I have a. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Last one? Yeah, I thought I had one more allowance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just a queen for Phil. So I'm running around to help. We have more chips now. That'll be that. Phil is left with a few chips though. 70,000 more, more than we have 284, yeah. Makita. 220. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you eating? What are you eating? Is it not dry? How much you got there? Very good. Yeah. 25, yeah. Oh. Right. So Phil left on the short <laughs> stack. Saw Danny short, less than that, tripled up, then won a big pot, and it's definitely it's one of those games you can get back in it pretty quick. There's a lot of close equities Four. and a lot of all-ins. Moves fast, especially with the anti-format, being short, just ripping it in, you pick up so much. Um, uh, hot water. Is there a reason they're seven-handed, six-handed, five-handed? Five -handed. Thank you. Oh, Rob's oh, not, not playing. playing. Rob's Rob's just you. hanging oh, out. Oh, Rob I, is not playing. Rob's that not that not makes playing. sense. Yeah. All right, gotcha. <laughs> It, it confused me as well, but... Oh, okay. <laughs> the AP treatment. <laughs> yeah, not often, uh, Jeff, a tournament's going on, you can sit in an empty seat at the table, just have a chat, but if you're one of the bosses, <laughs> the rules are a little different. Yeah. Yeah, don't just try to hop in to a seat and sit and chat with the boys at, uh, <laughs> yeah, at these events. What's going on there, Jeff? We're switching up. We're using last names all of a sudden. It's okay. Getting, keeping everyone to know where everyone is. formal all of a sudden. Except for Phil, of course. Phil's always Phil. Yeah, it's like Ronaldo or Neymar. Right. Just one name. It's like two hundred. Oh, Ronaldinho. What's that guy been up to? What's, what's he doing, man? Uh, anyway. I don't know oh, if you've wow. seen that story. But no, what happened? Oh, he's, he's currently <coughs> in a jail in Paraguay. Like. What? He was, uh, he was caught entering the country using a forged passport. 100 I called Being detained. You, so he's been refused bail. He's now uh, yeah. awaiting trial. What, just like trying to be undercover, like incognito? Yeah, That's kind of bizarre. Something, something's oh. gone on, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. But uh, he's, he's been denied bail. And uh, he's just there in, in jail. Former Ballon d'Or winner. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice to be able to talk football, Jeff, with uh, an American. I know you played. Yeah. And I'm aware, I didn't know, I wasn't aware of the, that's a wild, that's, you're going to have to check in on that. That's it's a funny, bizarre yeah. story for sure. It's buried down under like 700 pages of, Is of it stuff about a virus, but you'll, no. you'll find it in there. All in 19. Makita ripping it in from the cutoff, going to get it through. Phil rips it in. Nice jack. All right. So 60k. Makita may want to give him a spin here. From the hijack. I fold. Hold in. What? Wow. You get punished. He rips it in with ace eight. Danny finds Oops. queens behind. And whoops indeed. 
Danny in great shape I here. I think you win, to be honest. With I Queens. Really do feel... Okay, oh. that's better. Like, that's, that's a huge that's pop. slightly better now. Whoa. But I still want a Queen, please. Pretty good scenario for yeah. Danny. It's about as good as it gets, really. Right. Right. Still. Two queens, you're going to face just one overcard and they share it. And you block the... Uh, okay. Oh, whatever. No? Okay. Maybe check. Queen. Eight. No, it's a jack, jack, six. But yeah. oh. Queen. Just ace, jack, or eight. Queen. Safe. Danny Tang, ladies and gentlemen. Scoop. But seriously, Danny, would you take jack, jack, six? Uh, yes, I would. Fill off for a rebuy. Should I th uh, yeah, I would. I don't know. Frustrating, Phil. Sees, that's how that's over how queens ace, do yeah. it. That's how to hold. A little different what? spot. Over over an ace for sure. Yeah, but I mean over a random flop. If I could pick, I'll pick queen queen six. No, I'm saying like, is jack jack six is plus e for you or not? No. The, the best one is when they completely don't connect, right? Yeah, but we, I mean, Just don't ask. Yes, trips. Yeah, don't ask I'm too much. I'm still winning the side for Yeah, yeah, but that's what I'm asking. Is I'm it, not winning too much, though. I'm not winning much anymore, though. Okay. Makita's basically <laughs> asking, would you take a different, would you, would you take, take that flop pot? or would you like to take a random one? All right. He's saying, would you rather just lock up the side pot, lose the main pot, or would you want to run it? And I think run it is the answer. Yeah. Uh. Xi Zhang, also yeah. known as He, right? He was. Yeah. He sounds more intimidating. Yeah, we're gonna stick with those first names, even if things yeah. have mixed up all of a sudden okay. on the graphics. Aaron finds himself in a dominating position for one of those lammers. He, he is uh, having his his afternoon late lunch, <laughs> and not too interested. He's got another blue chip if he needs it. <coughs> well, he can turn away now. Pretty good flop. Yeah, struggling from here. Well, they both make a straight. He's got outs for a chop. <coughs> All right. We're excited to see how Aaron builds these stacks, Jeff. Just yeah. uh, right place, right time. Definitely the rebound because of that runner, runner flush. Ace queen against king queen. On this table. Yeah, of course we saw that earlier. The hand he's referencing, wasn't it? He was he was forced to rebound. Got it with ace queen against king queen. And Came running diamonds for him to lose to a flush. Oh, he, he, yeah, the queen two hit. Or was that? Oh, yeah, yeah but he, they shared oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. it was, oh, yeah. Just uh, it would look a pretty safe flop for him, but as Jeff keeps telling us, don't put it in with that ace queen. Yeah. <laughs> the guy uh, who you play heads up with. When you, yeah, when you when you jammed with king, king whatever, yeah, mm -hmm. the ace queen of hearts. He calls mm -hmm. there, probably wins the whole thing. Who knows? Yeah. Now we're talking about the final table he and Makita shared earlier. Makita, of course, the champion that event. Call? No, for race. Aaron finished in fourth place. Like, yeah, I know. Come on. I mean, I, I don't mind any. either way. It's just, I really don't care. Like, you could go whatever you like. Well, that's your the law, Jeff. There's two chips in the middle. If you didn't interact with the other chip, if you only use one chip, if you would interact with the other chip. It's fine. Let's go. <coughs> Not wrong, Jeff Lair of the Law, but you heard Danny saying, oh, come on. Like, this is a very friendly group, isn't it? These these high rollers. It's a little different. The rule is clear. He, he just threw him one chip. It is a cool. But intent, perhaps. Now you forced me to check. I don't know why you <laughs> waited so long. You know you ain't going to raise after I was trying to raise. <laughs> Anyways. <coughs> So, Makita realizing he probably has likely ace king, queens or kings, he's trying to raise. Right. So now he beats a lot of that, but still no reason really. Just kind of right. He beats down. a lot of it, but a lot of it's drawing very thin. Right. So you can afford to check back here. 
Mm. Aaron again comes up betting big, this time 25k. Now, Makita beats all those hands. Aces yeah. up. Yeah, literally, uh, unless it's Ace Jack or Jacks, and I don't even think he raises Jacks. That's where, where in this game reading so important in knowing your opponent because you kind of start realizing what your opponent is capable of and how they play tendencies and then certain boards and spots. Um, and, uh, well, this is quite a river. <laughs> <laughs> he goes big again, 75. And it is a bad river, yeah, for that reason. <coughs> He's worried about Ace Queen. He's worried about potentially clubs. 9 10, not a concern with if he tried to raise pre, he doesn't think. Certainly, Jack Tenor Clubs, King Tenor Clubs. Very real concerns. This yeah. sizing is no way this is Ace King, so. And Makita does cool. It's. Oh, yeah. I are indeed. <coughs> it, again, it's easy saying because we can see the cards, but there aren't that many hands left, right? That Aaron could be bluffing with. Yeah, especially yeah. with the ones he was he meant to raise pre. Right. It's like, does Ace King even bet there? That's the him? thing. Well, if it does, bet. it doesn't bet pot. I don't think. Right. Right. Although he has favored those larger sizes. Those larger sizes have been on earlier streets. On yeah. the river. Makita's been, you know, just. Uh, Pretty straightforward, nothing out of line. Yeah, it's true. It's like the, the rules are the rules, but there's been he's kind of called Danny on the phone. Then he's calling about the chip. He's sort of been policing the. Uh, yeah, I mean, in fact, Nikita was, you know, he said it was whatever. Like, yeah, he said do what you want, just but what? I mean, he knows the floor, what they're going to rule. Right. The floor has has to rule that. Yeah, the floor has to rule the rule guide to complete the right thing. Yeah. Do you see this uh, a lot in private games, and and these tournaments aren't private games, but they're. The closest close thing you're going to watch to it because yeah. these guys all know each other. They know no one's trying to shoot an angle, and that's the reason for that rule is people can't angle. Yeah. <laughs> Queen Jack 6. <coughs> he with the open ender. Danny. Well, missed. He has a not no pair and a gut shot to Broadway. Really hard for he to bluff this one. I'm gonna try. Danny takes high, taking it down. Mm. It would have been like this. That's why I didn't get it. <laughs> I mean, unless you go do something weird like all that, <laughs> like one point two x partner. Think hard, and maybe still hard. <laughs> I think you're calling no matter what it was. And then he roll over a queen. Then. Yeah. <laughs> a six, I would bet. Yeah, no. Whose eight was that? Whose eight was it? It was mine. Yes. Aaron limping in first seat with sevens. A lot of chips in his stack now. 900k mark. Danny with the worst hand in the deck on the button. Pairs his jack, checks it back. Time comes a seven. Aaron bats out again, big 25 into 30. Three sevens. For real? For real? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There are two outs. I hit as well. I was like, don't have a. Oh, don't, man. Don't be sitting there with Queen 10. I'm in trouble. <laughs> Four handed. Like, what are we doing? <clears throat> How many players left? There's 18 players, and we have. I think they have to keep this just so. If someone registers, it's easier. 
for what's the seven people max, right? Like, no, because if they break one table, yeah, and then four becomes, people register, it's yeah. they gotta redo it. Makes sense. So we just play shorthanded for a level and a half. All in. Eighty. He ripping in ace nine. Aaron, nine ten of clubs. Pretty sure he's gonna call this one. Yeah, he's got a Richard Young type stack from oh. earlier, just kind of flicking Worst it in. Worst card ever. No, but in this one. This one better though. Yeah. Yeah, nine ten suited. Yeah, even though he's dominated, no more still yeah, pretty still, close. Yeah, he's, he's in mean, the forties. All right, oh. here we go. Um, he's struggling on that one, Jeff. Flop me dead. What That's a pretty strong flop. It's tough to nice come back from that. And there's the 10. <laughs> yeah, the needle 10. <clears throat> ace, ace, nine. How do you get that flop? No sweat, no nothing. <laughs> Not interesting. Yeah. Sorry? No. A seven, eight ace or something. Open ender, you hit your, your yeah. ace. Oh. Makita A7 on the button. Does decide, of course, to check with that hand. Queen A7. Well, takes the lead. Danny with some nice backdoor draws, backdoor diamonds, backdoor straights. And Makita, right, it's going to be half of this hand to win the showdown unimproved. So he's happy to try and improve, checks it. Then he takes the lead, but very jewelry board, as always is the case in this game. Sardin it, Jeff, in, uh, in the first seat, if he bets here, he gets called, he gets bluffed on so many rivers. <coughs> yeah. He probably has the best hand, but hard to get to showdown, does bet. And it's going to win the pot. Yeah, nothing uh, best Makita can really do there. <laughs> All right, our man joining oh the fray, Jeff. Look at this. There's our guy. He's back. Hold on to your hats, ladies and gentlemen. Stakes are going up. How many hands did he's all in, Jeff? I set the line at three and a half. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm on it. I'm under. You about. About half the field is gone. Those blue chips still in play means people can still enter. Those are lammers. So if you get all in and you are out, you still have a lamb behind you, get 100k chips, come back in. And if you have those blues behind when the rebuy period ends, then those convert into 100,000 per blue lammer. So you see those blue chips behind. They're not in play on the current all in situation, but they're worth 100,000. Ivan discipline there. He still got his two. <laughs> yeah, well, Ivan showing his different range here. Well, I mean, I think he just rebought. That that could be the case I too. Think that's almost certainly the situation <laughs> here. <coughs> and I think I'm right in saying, Jeff, that there's one more level after this of Barnes. I think I remember the other night finishing at 6k, 12k. I'll, I'll try and confirm that. Yep. <laughs> Make me young. Kill a kid, a lot of bad sunglasses, right? 
Yeah, long as Angus is there. 39. Yeah, it's getting there. That's it. We still got a whole level and a half. Yeah. There you go. We have a level and a half. Aaron set it for us. So it is this level and one more of Bayern's. Mm -hmm. All right. Ivan's folded two. <coughs> Someone check his temperature. <coughs> jack nine nine. He with a jack. Danny also with one. <coughs> now this is interesting, Jeff. See, we were picking up on these sizing. Aaron goes small here with a draw. It's 15 on Jack 99. One third pot when he goes big with his hands. I wonder if these guys are picking up on this. I imagine this man is. Yeah, Makita has got him in a bad spot as it turns out. Well, we don't know what Danny's got exactly. He's got Jack X. Well, the two Jacks are out, so. Interesting, too, on a board like this, multi-way, right, Jack X, you're just kind of, there's really no good spots. You're either against a draw and it's going to be hard to hold on, or you're just dominated or beat if you have a weak Jack there. And the same thing here. Makita has a draw, so blocks draws. It's easier to believe that Aaron has a hand than a draw, but maybe he's thinking he can uh, take him off a Jack now. Yeah, because if he, he would flat, just a nine, so... He could do that. Now, if, you're, if you have a jack, you have to worry about a nine. I don't know how many ace -X floats there are, but. Yeah, it does go for it, 55, and that should be the end of this. Yeah, nice hand. Queen nine, queen nine. I wasn't sure if I wanted a queen or not. Yeah. 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 Yeah, feel short deck too in these spots. It's uh, it's kind of you get your 100k lammer, and then you try to run it up, and then if you get to a certain point though, then it's kind of like all right, I'm double starting, you know, now you're kind of in the mix to like go deep, and right. you don't necessarily want to be gambling so much. Yeah, there's certainly a bit of preservation comes into it. Chip ownership, that's what Hashim likes to call it. I love that term. Never heard it before, and then it makes a lot of sense. Wow, Ivan's folded three. Holding. Something ain't right. <laughs> Jeff, we need to go out there and check he's okay. Yeah. Worst hand. Seven deuce of short deck. Mm. Yeah. He gets one through. <coughs> Picking up those antis. Here we go. Took four hands, but he's in. It's a premium, Jeff, under the gun. 10-9. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. How much is that? Come on, Mikita, come on. <laughs> How much? <coughs> 80. 80 million. Carry the one, factor in it's <laughs> Ivan. <laughs> yeah, the factor in it's Ivan. Makes things easier. 80, you said. Oh, it's on the other side. How's it not? I don't know, it's easy on the other side. I don't know, it's easy on the other side. I don't know, it's easy on the other side. 
Ten of ugly look a hand though too, right? You're just like gonna be behind the king ten, king jack, king queen, and yeah, it's, it's like uh, it's, it's gonna just, gamble. It's just kind of not great. Ooh. Happen. Yes, I know. King ten is a snap call. Yeah. Oh, king nine. Oh, yo, I'm a basic. Let me know. Just a good hand. I'm I'm good. I'm good. Dramatic run out. Need the king on the turn for the extra. Excitement. It's not being split Pick by one and one thousands. Uh, this one's a Can we check with four? This one's a <laughs> Do you know if we split five thousand like for a smaller counts or we not? We like there thousand. is fifteen thousand to split. Is that goes like ten to out of position and five in position or eight and seven? So, okay. so, so give, give me two take yeah. two thousand back. Yeah. yeah. Keith is completely correct there. What happened? No. <laughs> One thousand chips from play, of course you chop okay, them okay. down. Tips. I very poor already, Nikita, you still want to steal my chip. <laughs> I'm gonna take all of them now. Okay. <laughs> I hope so. We can take it all. No no, I give you all. I give you one double, then take it all. Okay. It's <laughs> fair. Falling. He moves it in 200k. Ace queen. Not been listening. Yeah. Does get it through. A guy I know, Jeff, from back home, Pete Hedges. I'd love to see him get in the mix in this kind of game. It's, you know, you know, you, everyone's got those friends who just got a little bit too much gamble in their poker game. This might be the game for him. So how much you have there? Like yeah. 250 or less? Uh, 220. Total? 150, Ooh. 2. 220. So 230 total. This game certainly suits the degens. If you're one of those guys, you've got a little bit too much okay. gambling in your game. Maybe short deck is the game for you. End of 10? Yeah, definitely a good game to do that. For sure. Definitely a game to see five. Okay, Kander. Still. Because of how many short stacks there are right now. Yeah. Like under 200. With no lambers, they're going to be jamming. Yeah, all lambers are getting in a play now. After nine, after 10. After nine. After so, like, nine. yeah. Oh. So, the whole level people are going to be contact. All of it. And we. Okay. 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 <笑>即是我現在不要說領先領落後我都有少少沒什麼信心做什麼你沒有用呢傻了你真的因為個夠疏縮了疏咩<咳><咳> <Yeah. 咳> you have a lot I do 775 Thank you. <coughs> wow, a little loosey goosey here. Jeff from Danny peeling, but he's deciding in position against Aaron. They're so deep, he wants to have a go at winning all those chips. Pretty interesting flop. Seven gut shot, eight or nine are good. All right. And he's got position. Aaron this time slicing down a little bit. So if you're 
Danny and you play this hand, this is definitely a board. You even have a spade in there. I mean, not, that's got to be a very small consideration, but still a pretty big flop for your hand. Sneaky, too. If you hit, you know, that's uh, not the card Danny drew up. No, that one all Aaron. So, 7 8 is a straight. Two nines could play like this. What what if you're if you're Aaron though gotta right, feel he's pretty just getting good. Big. Just trying to blast <coughs> Danny off hands like this off spade rules. You gotta be careful there because there aren't many weaker aces in this format, you know? Right. So I'm ready for ace ten to be out there. That's about it. has found himself at this feature all day. 50k earlier, takes it down, final table, and then today, then some gets serious there, time. Gets there, I lose. What straight can I have? You can have anything. I can have a flush roll. Did Danny have anything? <laughs> no free cards. There's too dangerous. Ivan. All right, he's got a real one. Got too many chips to be given a free card. Aaron with Queen Jack. Under I think it's going to be a call against Less than 100. Less than 100, I got. Better pull it out. No King Queen. Ah, son of a bitch. Better pull it out. Better pull it out. Nice hand. Aaron, I mean, sorry, it's a nice hand. This is a. Uh, smaller card. These are pretty close equities, even though he's dominated. I'm okay, I'm okay. And that is. Uh, That's a pretty good flop. I haven't. Had this happen last time where he had a big lead. There is some ching. Gonna hold it. Alright. Ivan off the mark. Aaron still with plenty of chips. Nice, nice. Thank you, boss. Just continues from the other day. All the other days. Can't beat you, huh? Gotta rock those shades, man. Ivan, those, those are sharp. Ivan gets a double. Him and he at the bottom there. 42 Annie still, plenty. 200,000. We see Makita middle of the pack, and Danny found his way from 50,000, tripled up yeah. with King Jack, spun it up, and there he is, Aaron, Mr. Final Table, Aaron Van Blarkham, having himself quite a series so far, and on a rebuy here, but 800,000. I think he has his two lammers behind, maybe, or not, but either way, he's got a lot. And right. sitting healthy, kind of. Yeah, we saw him go, go, he got forced to rebuy. We saw him bust it earlier, but yeah, obviously the next bullet going a lot better yeah. for him. And you're right, yeah. I see blue chips in front of him still. Yeah. So he does have those extra 100Ks to come on. Yeah, what a series he's having. I mean, uh, you don't get a lot of prizes in poker for consistency. You know, you're better off winning one than you are uh, making multiple finals if you don't close them out, but. Uh, he's given himself a lot of chances to win tournaments this week. Yep. Okay. Mm. See a couple of pairs in here. Tens are shared. Wow. And man, wow, the wow, set wow. of nines. I've seen a lot of set of nines. They're the there. hot pair. Jack ten. So no one really oh, hits this board oh. hard other than Danny here. And with bottom set, no reason to ever slow pay, right, Jeff? You, you don't block any of the higher pairs. You just you bed and hope to get some chips in the middle. Yeah. Jack ten. Like had higher hopes for that flop. <coughs> Yes, Oh, no, 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 no. I will do this. 
You would hundred percent would. <laughs> hey, you ripping a it. nice queen. Aaron asking for a count. I think a little bit too much with the players behind still to act. Makita, you have three something. Yeah, like three sixty maybe. Three thirty, three sixty. I have 180 million. Oh, he's gonna go for it. Ice queen? Yes. Oh, very nice deck. Oh, he's doing well. Nice read. Wait, he's back to the wall. Oh, that's not good. I'm kind of surprised, Jeff. I think uh, players acting behind. Pulling off Jack Nine, a little gambly, but what a flop! You don't like him? Do I dare say it? You, yeah. Should that's I do it? Or we, is it getting older or no? Do you, are knew, you guys starting to see what's going on? He knew that he had Ace Queen, and Ace Queen never wins. Oh, no. No. Nope. <laughs> <So it's laughs> like and that's. I'm, I think Ace Queen's like two for thirty this trip. And Aaron up to a milli. A no, cool milli. Two for thirty. It's just a theme. Just saying. Just saying. Mm. Yeah, listen, if Ace Queen and Hold'em's bad in short deck, forget about it. Right? It's just probably way worse. Yeah. Think about it, because the, the hands you're when you're ahead, you're really it's like they're just gonna make straights a lot or whatever, and then you're against Ace King or Here it is, Jeff, our next feature table. Look at these guys. Paul, Seth. So Sir guy. Look, I mean how much Paul has. A lot. Seven plus there. Seven. Mr. Coon, Jason over there has got a big stack brewing. Finally, huh? Yeah, he's got some Jason get some run good baps on our feature. He's got some yeah, a lot of chips on. there. Don't see a lot of those blue chips anymore on this table. They must be to be uh, getting them in. Ah! Mr. Phil is back. Don't see, can't see what's going on with these chips. Mystery, mystery. Well, we know he must be uh, pretty close to starting, given he busted from this table just a few hands ago. Yeah, but if he's played three hands, it yeah. could be whatever. Yeah, you're right. He could have a million by now. He didn't order me one That's what I'm getting after the stream. What do they got there? Well, I want to try something new. I've been having the same thing. It's good, but got to mix up the, the yeah. food orders. Yeah, I gotta Mine, throw a little versatility it there. It looks good though. Well, you had that nice I little beef it. in the uh, black pepper sauce there. That's pretty good, right? Yeah, no, it's good. It was, uh, the food here's just been on point all around. Mm -hmm. I gotta mic him up. We have actually two minutes left. Go ahead. Yeah, you can raise pre flop. People are asking, but the general play is to limp most of your range at the beginning at least probably on the on the bubble there's more raising and shoving but snap for some revenge no uh no who's there He just rebought and got his exact same seat again. Is that what's happened? I suppose it happens in small field events. Nice, man. Nice, man. Something good? No yeah, Queen Jack, right? You don't have a draw in day. All right, we're going to have a new feature here soon. Going to be going to get some other specialist. Yeah. Ivan didn't get long. Look at those shoes. Are we're those, are those diamonds in those level? shoes? Wouldn't that? surprise me. Yeah. They're moving to regular table. Yeah. yeah. Do, 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 do. Ivan Liao, ladies and gentlemen, legend of the game. Really already had a great week here as well. He's got his shrine on the wall here from his millions win before. Feels comfortable in Sochi. That probably that four that spade on the river he 
Holy lost to Tricket, probably caught him off guard. Oh, yeah. He was <laughs> yeah. running pretty well here. So he rebuys, gets the same table, goes back to jamming. Pretty safe, but there you go. Undo. Ivan, I mean, limped in. You're back. Oh, you're back. Bye. Oh, so good. And B. Okay, he calls. Cool. Got nines. Mm. He with the old, uh, the old you, favorite Jack Ten. Like? They seem to go to the overcards a lot, but it's uh, nines not the worst hand. Blocks the straight. It's pretty heavily here, so. so uh, well, no. nine on the board, but he with a gut shot draw. Queen would get him there. Mm. That almost he ends it. Me. Jack or King, not to be. Yeah, I guess he wasn't dead, but. Right, <laughs> <laughs> he just switches outs, didn't he? He still had four outs, yeah. just different yeah. ones. Yeah. That is the last hand <laughs> for our break. These guys will be switching out. Our new table will coming in. Appears to be a little bit deeper than this one. It is Aaron who takes the chip lead back to the tournament floor. Danny Tang, as Jeff said, had a lovely little spin up here. Ivan, already off the mark with this bullet, Makita. Lower down, and well, he, he's firing a few bullets today. Uh, champion from the 25k the other day. Not off to such a great start today here at Casino Sochi. Please don't go far. We'll be back in 10 minutes for more of this 50k short deck event here at the Million Super High Roller Series. Aces that last time, he just does the whole lot. And look, this is what they do. Kings and aces both limping up early. Wow. All the pairs out. Jeez, this is some big hands. And you know, the right stack gets a hand, like they and they do jam some of the, some jacks and stuff. This is uh as it is, not no other it's hard for anyone to really have much here. All the big hands right. are out. Sergey thinking of limping, or is he just feeling saucy? There's no way he could raise that. I mean, there's 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 plays and there's things, and then there's just. And this is pretty wide already, completing seven eight. Yeah. But gets to go five way in the cutoff. Oh my goodness! Wow! 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 Whoa! I, this is the biggest cooler I've yet to see in, in short deck. I yeah. Mean, this it's is high checks second set. I'm surprised that's certainly one you I think you can come out and bet, but. You know, if someone's gonna have an ace, they're gonna call you. You always need some protection against those straight draws. I can see my check raise coming. Sergey with the gutter, well, lets it go. You'd think so. You know, it's, uh, why not, right? It's right. like, what Rich do you, you wanna let Queen Jack suited or Jack 10 suited? Right, Richard's bet from the second seat as well. Yeah. And we don't block an ace. Oh man. Interesting. That one, the, the yeah. <laughs> this is the only glimmer of potential. Wow. Oh my goodness, Sergey would have drilled it. Yeah, too. but this basically a brick. Neither of these players can have seven eight. So. No, yeah, for sure. Do you th I think you throw this hand yesterday, right? Yes. Yeah. They all bet. I quit then. He quit now. He blocked the straight. You bet the pot. I wonder is there any scenario where tie? Not. I, I just can't imagine. I mean. 
I, I, you're yet to see. This is like it's top set, top set. Both are at the like super top of the range. Uh, is there anything that do you think? There's any thought in his mind even that, that Richard could limp aces behind here? And no, because Richard's been raising up quite a few of his hands from early as well. So I was yeah. kind of surprised when he did limp it. I think Ty's just deciding here now whether to just cool or jam. Right. And I, I didn't like the. I was more of a fan of a check raise on the flop, but now we've reached the turn here. I'd rather just maintain the weakness and just call this. Although it's a pop bet, kind of well, that many weak hands you're going to have, but you can definitely rep still some one pair. Ty's going to fall out of his chair when he sees this. Yeah, this is like, this is really sick. Like, I think he's just going to rip and think Richard has aces up a lot of the time with the right. sizing. Can fall. Can oh yeah, I guess he is. doesn't have the nuts, but. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Sick. All this trapping, trapping. Oh, guys, trapping. <laughs> trapping, trapping. Yes. Whoa. A lot of snakes in the grass here in Sochi. <laughs> Even better. Jeez. Fighting <laughs> each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. You thought you were drawing actually your oh. head. <laughs> but I folded an ace, so we oh. don't have an out. For quad. Don't need, don't need, don't need. <laughs> no quad outs. You. Oui. Diamond, no, you know, <laughs> <laughs> There's a picture diamond. Man. It's the Cooler, bro. It's a safe one. Yeah, you think it's a baby. Richard up to a massive what stack. Uh, uh, Phil with the 89 suited. How many chips? 85k? I guess it's a. Uh, I guess he stays balanced with the limp. Makes sense, right? He. Uh, he would limp his, his big hands. So. Kind of protected. Getting raised on light. Oh. Danny F and Tang, is he gonna go for the is he thinking that Ivy's trapping? If not, I mean ace queen pretty good hand. Phil does still have some like these type of hands. I think he also thinks Phil might just shove with like kings or queens, so maybe that's going through his mind. Ace-king, would he probably just shove, right? So he sort of sorted this out. Makes sense. I think Phil has more weighted towards more these type of hands than than aces or kings. He blocks aces, blocks queens. Would Phil limp kings or just shove, try to take down the annies. And uh, Phil just decides, you know what, there's all the extra money in there. And still the rebuy period, I believe. 23 at 32. Nikita Maki doing a little math. He actually has the best hand, but it's hard to win. You have to beat both hands here, roughly the same chips. here ace queen eight nine phil gonna hop in ace queen i'm telling you i'm out i'm just out on ace queen there's life there's outs there's phil, still phil fading a ton here and uh, he's gonna fill up look at that mr ivy fan favorite getting it done the eight nine suited limp in bear trap 50k win he just loses a pot in the 50k and 
uh, you know, it makes sense, I guess, not to have devices, phones, just in general, keep it uniform, no problem. <coughs> Danny Tang. <clears throat> Shout out to Party Poker and the Power Fest going to be. Stevie, you play 400? Three. Playing with you guys this week, Sunday. Bit over three. Starting up, big guarantees, big action. Some party poker pros getting having a good week. Makita with the title, Sam Trickett with a title already. Is it fifty one? Jack, 9-10, King Jack. <laughs> Three-way, open-ended, King Jack, Danny's all in. Stevie with a pair and Nikita with top pair. So Stevie has a decision here. Does he want to... Out in the middle, do you want to try to protect this 10 and bet? Makita checking under the gun. And welcome back to the Million Super High Roller Series here in Sochi. This is, of course, event number five 50k short deck. And this is our new featured table. Um, well, look at the names in both. Of course, Phil Ivor we saw on our previous table busted, so has just re-entered. But Paul Poor leading the line here, narrowly ahead of Jason Kuhn with Seth Davies and Sergey Reich bringing up the rest of the table. Playing 6K antis with 12K on the button. I believe last level of Bayerns. Do you rewrite this line? You can, yeah. Do you? Uh, would I? Yeah. Yeah. I would pro probably do it at the end, though. Close. Yeah. I think that's the best part for the stack. So close. I mean, or you can just gamble, but I mean just in dollars and cents. I think it's slightly better to do it right then. So okay, limps. Oh. Seth 60. also limps. Paul going to pop it up left in the hijack right. with his ace queen. Yeah. Where's Jeff when you need him? Right, we got a limp for 12 and then 60. Obo sebs tegos. Jason, going to call with a very playable king ten of clubs on the button. Mm, we're pretty deep on this table. See those stack sizes. There's not quite so much limp jamming going on with these stacks. So, Turgi forces to just call. Cool. And, and that's why Jason uh, can call on the button. And also why Paul's a bit more comfortable raising up ace queen. You're not going to get jammed on as often. This is the far more interesting stage, shall we say, of this tournament. Hand. We're going to see some deeper play. Some navigating post-flop, which is 
where this game comes into its own, in all honesty. Paul, flopping best, but a scary looking board in Ace King Jack. Checks the pool. Blocks the nuts. Has top pair. Mighty. I like this. 90k bet. He has some very strong hands, but he was people that raise it. He can have aces. He ha can have kings. He can have ace king. Jason's second pair. Gut shot, backdoor clubs. Can I make waste? Her guy with a, well, a pretty good bluff candidate in two queens, but. It's optimistic, I think. If you're a lot deeper, I think he could start to do some stuff here. And yeah, can't do anything this shallow. Oh. We'll be at the deepest table we've seen so far Jeez. today. <laughs> oh, it's queen of diamonds, damn it. Had the price against that one. All right, Jeff, back in the mix. What a table we've got, huh? These battlers. Yeah, so many special high-level players. Hard to not have a special table, but this one does extra have a little extra this, thing. Just kind of pound for pound. It's there's no there's no lightweights here. Right, and this is it. I mean, any time with a pool, you've got Phil Ivy in there, and it's nice to see Jason on our table. Hopefully we get to see a little bit more of him. Uh, hopefully taking down one of these events. And of course, <laughs> Sergei and, and uh, Seth. Seth's another guy, Jeff, I don't know a whole lot about, about his rise to the sort of stakes of pokery. Yep. And if, uh, it's just always in there, mixing it up in the biggest binds. Yeah. I think him and Jason chopped a 5K hard rock at the uh, Seminole for like a million and something. There's a huge event entry right. field and, you know, kind of got, and, the, and they started playing some t 25Ks and such and then right. sort of in the 300K and. Nice. So yeah, he just, just kind of, he's, yeah. been, he's been going up a little bit old school, huh? running it up. Mm -hmm. Super nice dude. I don't know that much. Shame there's not a golf course here, otherwise I'd be able to give him a little game. Is he known for golfing? Yeah, he loves his golf. <laughs> yeah. Man, you're, living in, you're living in Florida, you must be playing a little bit of golf or not at all. Not really. I could start taking some lessons, but... It's a time-consuming game, man. You're a busy guy. You've it does take a lot of time, yeah. No, I, start, I, I did the lesson deal, because it is fun to be able to go out and mix it up, even if you're in the... 90s, you can get out there. Right. You start in the, you're hacking up, and you can't get off the tee. It's you can't go out with the boys, but when you can, yeah, you tough. can tee off. As long off as you can be consistent, like shooting the 90s, bit, you can yeah. have a little gamble, you can have a bit of fun. Yeah, I'm in that zone. Maybe the low hundreds, but in there. All right, just yeah. you just suddenly realize you're on a microphone, huh? You you, you, you want to cook your future bets. Poor poor, 977,000. Good start on our feature. Coming in as a chip leader and extending that lead slightly, having won that four-way pot. Yeah, it's a tough game. Uh, you have to stop scratching that one when you're busy as you are, playing your poker, streaming, commitments to party poker, and of course, a young family. Podcast takes, that's, that's a lot of time too, which I enjoy a lot now. I, honestly, podcasting is uh, just a lot of fun. Spend, uh, it takes uh, people probably don't appreciate how much you, you spend a lot of time researching and planning each podcast and yeah. of course editing these things down it's hard to, you know it's hard to honestly it's hard to get the I mean because people are in different time zones you gotta like plan it out match it up and then they have to and then sometimes their technology like they don't have the right equipment to right. do it themselves it's just kind of like a it's just not as simple as oh hey let's do it tomorrow too and they're like okay yeah you know. but yeah no it's fun see uh Sergey building stack here as well, 470, Seth 627. So we're, we're getting to that part of the tournament now. Average stack would be, I guess, well, it's kind of hard. A 600 technically, but there's some lammers and All in. All in. the lammers are executed now, or everyone's using. No, we, this is the last level. Last of level so 
Yeah, but doesn't I'm not seeing a lot of the blues around. No, I think this table is, is chewed through them, given how deep they all are. Yeah. With the exception, I one assumes of Phil, having seen him bust from the previous table. Mm -hmm. I can't see if, if Phil has them either or not. Doesn't look like it. Be, they'd be nestled quite neatly behind his uh, chips, wouldn't they? Yeah. I'm pretty sure we can still we can still take them this level. Seth. Below average hand in this game. Queen 7. It's funny how the dealer button really does just have such a weak hand so much. It's interesting. Makes sense, I guess, but... I expect Seth, if he's playing this hand, to be betting here. Right? He uh, realizes, too, that Paul's just kind of forced in there. Yeah, so s cut off button's really small blind, big blind. Except. Yeah. No, well, it's actually sort of exactly like that. Cause it's, yeah, because you're at a position. Yeah, and, then, and then they get to either act or not act. But then after, and then after the flop. Yeah, it's yeah, like same same small blind, big blind. But obviously a slightly more overlaid pot. Mm -hmm. And equity's that little bit closer. Jason in the one. King 10. All right, I thought we might see a little bit more of this, Jeff. With uh, this table being that much deeper, you can get away with raising some more hands because it's less incentive for people to jam behind you as everyone's so deep. So before, when we'd see someone, if you'd raise King 10 up and early, people are just going to jam this ace queen straight on you. And uh, with the sort of 200k and you're stuck in these spots, a little bit deeper. Gets a few more options. Wow. So interesting. This is also probably player dependent, too. I mean, he probably maybe knows Kuhn, Kuhn maybe takes a little more aggressive lines because that that's a, uh, yeah, a lot of limping we see normally. But I guess like you're saying, stack size, different stages, right. different different things you're going for. Yeah, and that's, so the guy ripping that in, that seems a little... Bit wide. Uh, it, it's, it's obviously like, he's not ripping ace jack. Um, is ripping ace queen as the bottom hand he rips. Mm -hmm. But this is this is it, five handed. Gonna be a little bit more going on, but you can see J Jason is gonna raise more hands than he would do if everyone was short, so therefore perhaps that ace queen uh, a little bit easier to jam with now. Yeah. Down to 18. Getting to that, that sweet spot, getting close to. Yeah, I think every time you see someone bust out, you're going to see the field size number go up by one <laughs> within a few minutes. Yeah. Everyone here to fire bullets. Paul with the big hand. Holy. Wow. Huge bet. We're going to limp in Queen Jack. Phil lurking behind on that short stack. Also completes with what one can assume is a dominated hand. King, Queen, or Ace, Queen would be jams. Jason with a nine in the cutoff also completes. And uh, 
Sergi with Jack 8. <coughs> Pretty bad hand to have, but on the button, just gets to say check. And we got some hands, some removal here. Jason with a 9 of diamonds on this 10, 6, 7. 8, 9 of diamonds, 10, 9 of diamonds, two possibilities for sure. As well as, of course, pocket nines. So a guy with a blocker to the straight, gut shot to the higher straight. And Jason is going to bet, so 9 10 or 8 9 seem like the more likely. Got the diamond in there, too. yeah. Nine diamonds. Yeah, I mean, he could card. have, the, I mean, he's bet 20 into 54. This could be a, a super 8 9 diamonds gin hand. So a guy with a draw to the highest straight four? and a blocker calls. Fuck. Man. I guess go a lot around here today. And pair up. Hmm. Deep hand here. 94k in the pot, so a guy with half a million behind, so. Jason bets a third pot. Again, really, it's hard to see how he doesn't have a very strong hand now with that 10 pairing. Too good. Too good, he says. What do you reckon? Mm -hmm. Is he honest? I had her. <laughs> I had all of it going on. There we go. Sounds like he did have the 8-9 of diamonds, Jeff. Yeah. Or, yeah. Some diamonds, had some trips, had some straight stuff. Oh, I just had it all. 10-9 of diamonds. A race, <laughs> a race flop wouldn't work. No? Wouldn't work? No. Maybe it had to, maybe it had to race anyway. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, <laughs> some people watch would like it. I had Jack 8. Jack 8 with a Jack of Diamonds. Uh huh. I guess it's a good one. Make your straight. Not good for you. <laughs> Ivy Phil, with the all in. Flicking it in there. Pretty good hand, but down to 51. Jason is going to give his mate a spin. Phil more than happy for the action. Best of luck. Holding the best of it with Ace King. Keep you around a while. Oh, it's it's looking good. Thing. Looking a whole lot better now. Phil will double up. Jack comes for the rub down. We'll go away down 51. Tea or something? Green tea is okay, yeah. Yeah, can we share green tea? Oh, that's friendly. It's sweet, huh? That's nice. Probably. No bluffing here. Sharing green teas. What's happened to the world of poker, Jeff? Man, high stakes is... Used to be back to be smoky savage. rooms, yeah. didn't it? Yeah, people... The other, who was it the other day? Take, Carrie was asking to take yeah, the meal when he knocked out... Uh, <laughs> that's right. Said, uh, Timothy Adams, Timothy, Timothy said, I'm just going to... Your food's on the way, I'll take it. Yourself in the thing that's caffeine. Yeah, I want to... The old days. Smoky basements. Never know who's got a gun. Now we're just sharing green teas. <coughs> I'm 
Naughty weight. Some weak hands in here. Uh, Jason with a royal draw. Phil with a straight draw and flush draw. This could get spicy, Jeff. We've got two big draws here. Phil is, well, he's got 0% equity at the moment, and he's coming out betting. Let's see. Uh, it's a pretty sick spot for him. Nine or club. <coughs> Chasen just calls with the far superior draw. Just, I see just pool. got some chips. Yeah, pull with the same gut shot. Not going to join in. I mean, we say, you know, you never see flush over flush in this game. We saw it the other night. May we see it this evening. For Phil's hope. For Phil's sake, we hope not. Don't slow down. Right, and, and Jason will be happy to check this one back winning with such a big draw. It's hard for him to think he has the best hand right now. And well, he makes Broadway. He makes the nuts, right? Yeah, he's got the nuts. Broadway nuts, but four card out there and Ivy. Right, Phil, the problem is Phil's led this one five way, right? Doesn't have that many Jack X, I don't think. Yeah, it's like Ace Jack exactly, or. Right. That's it, really. Yeah, I think it's a bit optimistic bluff. Even though, you know, he's got the worst hand he can have, quite literally. <laughs> he's got the nut low. Got lucky in a way, though. Yeah. It's could have gone really south. I mean, a, a club and the nine or ten of clubs rips off, and yeah, it's bye bye Phil. GG. Almost. Or the six of clubs as well, of course, because there's me uh, being a bit slow, of course. Flush being a full house. So Phil, Phil, obviously worst possible hand. Just trying to think any way to do something, but Decent. nothing. Decent flop. <laughs> 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 Clubs? <laughs> Clubs? So guy, I'm surprised, Jeff. We've seen him play quite a few hands. Limping ace a off plus one. Uh, a little optimistic, Phil. Yeah. Not in love with this, but I'm not going to give too right. much. Uh, kind of let it. Yeah, be. we're learning. Right. It just the. Uh, it just doesn't feel right. No, it doesn't. Seth and Phil both flopping a pair and a gut shot. Pretty good flop for Phil. Forty. Forty? Yeah, I mean, if you're Seth... I can't feel really good about this. You do have a blocker to the nuts, but it's just too uh, too dodgy. Yeah. Phil's got to be happy to have that over 300k after that. That uh, he was down to 50 first of all. Second of all, was at risk of getting coolered. Oh, how many bullets? Bye. Five. Fifth Very bullet, good. Jeff. <laughs> nice Fifth <spicy>. <laughs> bullet. He's <laughs> in for 250 in this bad boy. Maybe not. Wouldn't be so smiley normally, but he did take first for what 425 or something. Right. So I was putting just some of that check back how much he play. got for it, but straight back into play. Yeah, 378k he got for first prize in the first event. In this one for 250.
，你睇。Pass play tight, and uh, he gonna get right back into. It. So, I guess that's it because he just bought in for the full three. Then he took all maybe, the lambers. Maybe the maybe you got this one last level to buy in, and the lambers are forced in or or something. But you certainly can buy in this level. How yeah. Much is it? Well, I guess they just force you to take all of them this oh, level the for hand. some reason. Pretty good hand to find, but right. right. So okay. Seth's probably wishing this was a hundred, but three hundred. Look at what they're doing. We're gonna have us a table. It's action, baby. Action table, yeah. Let me put those shades on. Those are cool. Is that Ivan? Then? Oh, it must be Ivan. I hear the shades being mentioned. Oh no, so guys, oh, shades. Get see through cuts. Yeah, now I can see what you guys have. Damn, that is a tough spot. Very cool. Yeah, those are nice. Seth doing some math, thinking, what is he shoving here? You don't want to see ace, ace queen, yeah. kings, and take it down. Mm -hmm. Very pretty hand. All right. Good luck. Yeah, see you later. Good luck, boys. Yeah, take their money. Don't tell our money. All right, Seth making his way back to the outside. It is Ivan. Of course, who else could it be when they said action table? Oh. Oh, they're still uh, going to share the tea, Jeff. How sweet. Tea and, tea and hit and go on the tea. Can you bring me one of these? Sure. I have a plenty. Uh, no problem. Serious, serious lineup here. Saba. He's lost. Nice king for Phil at 300. Rips it and rips it. It's gonna win it. Really haven't seen that many aces. We saw a really, really sick hand aces to kings on the ace versus Tai Ha right, versus yeah. Richard Young on the was limp, limp behind with aces and it came ace king dud. About as nasty as you'll see. Yes. <laughs> That's not right. Oh, you can't man. tease us like this. You Good can't exercise. give us Ivan and take him away. Good luck, good luck. Sir. Sir. Hey, hey, tips. <laughs> tips for you. <laughs> Oh, speaking of aces. Here we go. They're big, they're black, they match, they're on the button. The dream. And Phil pretty unlucky here that he has such a pretty six hand. He gets six. to limp and... Well, at least he's going to be able to call this bet. 66k. Queen Jack of Diamonds. The sizing is big, but not too big. On right. This. I think he could almost... Maybe Paul could even go on a little yeah. more, but... Just a five and a half x. Paul gets the call here with Queen Jack of Diamonds, I think, but no. Pen food. Ma? Mm. I'm surprised, Jeff, I think. 
<laughs> again, <laughs> again, we're not, we're not sure <laughs> the intricacies <laughs> of this game, but two black S. Oh shit. <laughs> Two black aces, Mr. Paul on the button there. Cut off both pretty playable hands and Phil just uh, forced in here basically with the one of the worst hands. Does check it. And uh, he gonna hit trips. Phil with absolute air ball. I guess Phil's thinking it favors more his range here, and he actually is right. going to take a little stab at it because the hands that he is limping, there's not many 9Xs. I guess 8-9 suited, 9-10 suited. Other than that, yeah, Jack-9 suited, there's not a ton. Right, it's a little surprising he has 9-10 off to us. Right. So yeah, it's only worth a stab from Phil. And, uh, oh, this is a business. <laughs> Bad card from Phil's point of view. If you yeah. try and bluff. Last call, last call, ding, ding, ding. Yeah, this is really unlucky for <laughs> for he, Shai Jing, but not even just from, he's going to win the pot almost certainly, but just more so now his hand goes from like super under rep disguise to kind of obvious he would have a king here. I mean, he's going to be worried Phil could have a king, but I think he's going to have to check back. Just sort of doing a little looking around other stacks. He actually has about the same stack as He Zhang. Wow. Oh my goodness. Wow, this actually is super sick because I guess Phil, even Phil's got to realize he might, King is like likely here. Right, but can Phil just try and rep the nine? I mean, right. Phil looks like he's got nine. He bet the flop, he checked back turn, and I know uh, obviously in Holden we wouldn't try and rep this, but. Short deck. Yeah, this is a this is a crazy run out. I mean, it's jam. sick that if can't, yeah. And he's gonna give him a chance. Oh uh. wow, Phil, just not interested. <laughs> mm. <laughs> what did he show? I don't know. I think he's trying to act like he checked back a king. Like, but maybe showed the queen like it was a king almost. No, I don't know what he was doing there. You saw him flash. Why kid in the mix? Why can Yang? I think I heard them saying that in the earlier that he hadn't bought in yet. So he's literally just waited the last possible moment to see if Anti's going up. So the buy-ins are finished. So you literally thought I'm going to wait to the last possible moment, jump in here with my uh, 300k and try and spin it up. Sergey. Oh. Wow, feels up to 49. Oh, they said 45. Remember, they were talking about the over under. And it felt, it felt right on the number, did it? No, he oh, was saying 45. It's at 49 already. It's a big, big field. Big purse here. There he is, Wai Kinyong. Coming in with 37 annies. 
Not the worst strategy, right? Half the field's gone. You got your 300 and you got to right. run hot. Double up. Just spin it up. Pretty clustered hands here. Everyone's got sharing a card. Queen Jack, Queen Jack, Queen Ten, Ace Jack. And he call. Jason perhaps think about running a little something. Oh, Whoa. That's what he's gonna do. Wow, I thought he might run something like a raise. I didn't think he was going to run something like an all-in. Beautiful hair. Very beautiful hair. Phil, I'm not going to call Queen 10 off. Jeff, this is a little wild, this one. Mm -hmm. I was about to say, I think he might, he might try something here. But <laughs> Cut off traps. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Sort of bluff. There's never a bluff in this game. You can just All get there. Uh, a6 off. No. A6 off is a bluff. Yeah, A6 off would have been a bluff. No A6 off. That's how you get invited to uh, some home games. A little Ace-9 yeah. action. Uh, he's not too deep. I was flipping against Kings. <laughs> A6 off is almost flipping against Kings. <laughs> almost, yeah. Radar's on there. It was almost what he had. Ace-9 off. Similar. Paul's got his ducks in a row there. Chips in order, lined up. Just fold the sevens. Mike and Young gonna come in with the king ten. Complete Zany. Phil with one of the worst hands. Ten six off. Back to two sixty. Zhang with the king nine suited. Happy to get in there. Pretty hands here. Is there a big one? It's hidden in the dealer button. Not a, not a lot of premiums though. Could be a. Nope. Not yet. Nope, not yet. 50. We have hit 50 entrants. Wow. Big one. Jack 10, 6. Uh, he with a gutter. Backdoor clubs. Jason, top pair. Wyken, second pair. He can have a little stab, all right. I say a little stab, he's gone pop. Interesting. Guess it done. Interesting bet there. I guess the seven or eight on the turn give him extra outs. Block some straight draws. Yeah, put pressure on a weak jack too. What's a weak jack do? Right. Which we saw. Holds. Hello, big flop. Flops the piece. Yeah. Jason chicken over his pair. Paul's certainly going to bet. 
gotta imagine, right? Paul, Jason's gonna have, look at this, he's got pretty good flop and easy for him to nick something here. Paul gonna bet. Jason gonna find himself in a bit of a dicey waters here. Yeah, pulling the button certainly has all the two pairs and you can have nine, 10. He's gonna have he's gonna have a 10x 9x bluff like an 8 9 8 10, um, you know. Sure. This is uh, one of the cards that Jason's gonna hate but actually love. Give him um, some additional outs. Also, King 10 now is the nuts, but Paul's still got to feel very good. Right, it should in theory slow pull down. Right? If he'd bet right. the flop with the two pair, he's supposed to check back probably. So Jason has a blocker to the new nuts. And, um, yeah, it's an uh, interesting spot here now for Jason to think. What hand does he have on the button? As you say, like the, the natural bluffs, what, 8 9, 8 10. Uh, but he has a set of 8s, he has a set of jacks, he has 9 10. And also, he's just pull poor, so sometimes he just gets you. Yeah. Pull over one million in chips. Clear lead on this table. Jason tucked in there in second place. Two Spaniards splitting things up. Look at the, the symmetry we got going here, huh? Yes, Malaysia, three. USA, Spain, Spain, USA, Malaysia. Yeah, that, the USA flags looks pretty close to Malaysia. Yeah. Mike and Young, a very, very late entry. Last man in the, in the tournament. I saw him at the last break, Jeff, uh, just kicking around the poker room. Obviously, he was just literally waiting. Yeah. To the last possible moment to get in. Pass. Pulls jam with ace queen. Works for him. Ripping in 400k with ace 10. This Jeez. What on earth? Yeah, I mean, long way to go. And I mean, it's not like it's the bubble. I, mean, I don't know. Cool. Right. Phil wakes up from his yawn. Just has ace king. He's looking around. He looks a little confused as well. Yeah, kind of surprising. But I guess when you're in for five bullets, patience has gone out the window. Yeah. Uh, I think Phil's, he's almost, he's kind of like, did not expect that. So far, so good for Phil. Sweat turns for sure. There Always a sweat turn. Easy. Whole host of outs. Matt, no. not one of them. All right. He left with 100k. Interesting. All right. I just, I'm mind blown by that. Yeah, it seems suicidal, but. Three or three? Three or four. Oh, three or four, yeah. Thank you. He Zhang left with just 100k. 
AK-13 Antis. This game though, easy to spin up. What do you get so many XP? Queen seven off. Jack six off. Jack six off. Is it off? No, way better. <laughs> way, way, way better, man. Once in a while, I get an okay hand, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not always ace. I saw ace off. nine earlier. Yeah, could I could have had ace nine. That was five handed. Nine off. That was five handed though. <laughs> the one that they show? No, he risked. It's nine off. Over oh, oh, that type of. <laughs> the button had twelve handies. <laughs> you happen to have Ace-9 off in that big squeeze here too, but I don't think that's hit the delay. Oh yeah, we're 30 minute delay here. On day one of this 50k short leg event at Casino Sochi. Phil Ivy way back in it. I mean, big uh, big hand there. Semi-gift, still nothing. nothing's just right. given. Always a sweat. So I got Limpin with the weakest pair in the game on the gun. <coughs> Pool with one of the best no pair hand in the game. Gone quite small, just over 3x against an undergun limp with the rest of the table behind. I can wasted no time before the Queen Jack clubs. Yeah, Ivy's got some newfound chips here at 600. He's in the hijack, still a player, two players behind him, and sort of a set mine in hand. So if he shoves, he can raise again. How much he has? 88. 16 to 50, that's 34. 88, 38. that's all, it's more than 34. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just 30. nice. 38 plus 50. I raised him 38, right? Plus 50. No, 34. 88. Just nice. I already calculated. That's funny. Yeah. That's yeah. a good start. Right to the exact one. Yeah, sure. That's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, you appear smart after, <laughs> after it adds up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, give me some credit. <laughs> That's pretty funny, yeah. right? He just took credit for it. <laughs> I learned from your president. <laughs> That's quality stuff. Oh, man. Grab the credit whenever you can. <laughs> Love it. For that sizing, if you're going to play sixes, I, I would think you might want to take a peek oh. there, no? Yeah, I mean. Getting a good price to smoke, to just pop your set, okay, maybe now. double. Open it up with a jam. 10 9. Okay, very short, having bought in at the last moment. He, oh, he's thinking about it with King 6 suited, he can't call. And Mikin's going to pick up those <laughs> anties. 50,000 he picks up no for that jam. The one call is like, no, no. The beauty of being short stacked. Lane Drake is over, right? Yes. Yeah.
Phil. Hey, walk! What a discount one yellow for you. So guys, six is in the cutoff. We lit them under the gun. He's certainly going to play them from the cutoff. Cool with a very nice looking ace Two. ten of clubs. I'm Hard sure. to imagine Two. he's not going to punish here. When it is, pick it up. You should take the chip right after, or no? The croupier. When you fold, you should. Take he should it. take him in. Yeah. yeah. Because. Yes. I got confused for. Yeah, a it second. gets confusing yeah. for sure. Uh, pull the anti in after. Yeah, they if they fold, take the, the anti, please. Because first I thought the nobody lean, but then I saw the the stack yeah. and I and I had to check to check again. Uh huh. He ripping in a six off, plus one, very short mm -hmm. stack now. Just looking for any spot where he can jam in. Picks up 50k if he gets it through. 64. Yeah. Has an ace. Pull in. Says, Pull let's in. go. So guy rejams King 10 off. One from the hijack. And Paul waking up with ace queen in the cutoff. Will it oh, be on his that. team, Jeff? Oh, Paul. Oi, oi. I'm afraid Paul's going to make the right play, but it's going to be. <laughs> He's got a chance that really shape here, King Jack is gone. King King gone there though. You're crushing, yeah. Yeah, Ace Queen. I like your head. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I think I think mine. <laughs> we'll see. Man, but well, can Ace Queen get on the board? If anyone can do it, oh my goodness! Man. Big Six flop. Figures. King 10 <laughs> is looking super. Look at 62%. There it is. Pull with three outs. Oh, there it is. oh my goodness. Yeah. Some guys can do it. I told you, if anyone can do it, it's this man. Wow, Paul. Double knockout. <laughs> what a run out. Three -way, three -way. Two birds, one oh, all in. Paul, they Got a destroyer. Paul doing the dirty work there. Two bust outs. Two Spaniards to the rail. Oh, four handed. <sighs> hmm. Wow, that's an action run out right there. That King 10 on the flop, 62%. Just had yeah, the full wrap, had yes. the whole deal. <laughs> Mountain and chips. How does Paul, pull, Paul just gets it done. 16. I know Paul wants that title so bad. So many seconds in these high roller events. <laughs> just another one the other day. chips now. Okay. Nearly two and a half times the average. Well, Kim Young with the worst of the worst. Ivy in there with also a pretty unattractive hand, even though techni I mean, technically, I technically in the lead. I thought you haven't even seen your card yet. <laughs> Check. Good, good. 
good start for Phil here. Yeah, both his opponents catch a piece. Jason gonna bet out again in this game. Every hand needs a little bit of protection. Figures uh, a 10 could be good here. I think we only have to bet eight. Well, it's not a blind, it's an anti-game. Are you good? What's the minimum bet? It's one anti or two? One anti or two anti? Probably two, right? No, a post post flop. Flop. Oh, really? You can bet eight and uh, so that's interesting. That's a little counterintuitive. <laughs> Crowd going wild for, for Paul in the Twitch chat. <laughs> said if anyone can do it, Paul can do it. The savior of Ace Queen, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Turn king. Let's check. Phil with Ace, not low kicker. Happy to check back. Makes Aces full of kings. Bad run up for Jason. Beats absolutely nothing now. King yeah, maybe King he's queen, thinking queen though, maybe he's thinking that maybe Phil could just have a ten as well. Right. So he's going really small here. Thinks his queen high good. might be good. Is that what he's doing? Wrapping quads. I mean, quad kings running. Eight K with a. I mean. <laughs> it's, it's, just, it's a value bet, right? It's a value block. I think it's also interesting. Like, there's not, I guess, weak ace makes sense to check back. We're trying to think what ace does Phil have that he call flop checks turn. Right. I guess makes, you know, there are. Nice weak aces, yeah, and he's on the button. It makes a lot of sense. He's gonna think about this time make on this, surprising a bit. Same time, what bluffs does Phil have when he calls the flop? Right. I mean, definitely plays a six, a seven, a eight, a nine the same way. Mm -hmm. so a lot of combos of value. <laughs> yeah, he was the dealer button. He was forced in there. You're saying basically at this point you think he's turned. 10-8 into a bluff, if you call here. An ace just as likely as a 10. An ace is always going to raise, a 10 isn't. Jason lays it down. But he was thinking. Yeah, I feel shooting him some glances, like, come on, man. Don't give me that. Don't give me that one ninth pot min bet. I deserve that. <laughs> Put 8,000 out there. I deserve to get smacked. Mm, so the rules is you can bet 8,000? Yes. Yeah. yeah, the mean one empty. This is the box. Should have made 50. Might have called 50. Seventy-five, I thought. All in. Good boy, you got one stack of orange behind us. Huh? Mm. Two, two. Two stack. Wow, okay. One point five. I think you have to put in front right. Everybody can see you. Well, I can get one through. <laughs> scary move. <Yeah>. Wow. <laughs> Secret stash. <laughs> and knock two guy out. Huh. Got the ball on the river. Got the ball. <laughs> post flop, ah. Uh, that means. I post flop already. Pre flop already all in. Pre flop ahead. I think that one. I ahead lah, deserve to win lah. Yeah, justice. <laughs> I behind deserve to win because I always lose every hand. <laughs> yeah, give me one hand. Percentage wise, I'm due to win one hand eventually, <laughs> you know. I had a uh, very big win. Hand he's gonna rip in. All in. All in. Hiya! I see. I said eight thousand. Fold. Why can't ducking and diving, Jeff? Getting Hanging in here with that three hundred k. Yeah.
under half the field left, 50 players. Payout, so I guess it'll be uh, like eight, seven, seven or eight, probably eight players make the money, I would guess. I don't think the payouts are up officially. Yeah, seven, seven would make sense for like one table. Mm -hmm. Seven max event. Cool. Oh, with a huge lead here and a suited ace on the button. Decides to take a check. He's thinking about it though. Get the old yeah. punish and stick out. Yep. Pretty dry flop here. Nothing for anyone. Jason does have a diamond. Look at this instinct here. Gonna bet, and this is gonna work, I think. And Jeff, I do think the payouts actually are out. Looks like eight mm. paid, 100k for eighth, up to a first prize of 800,000. Whoa. Bill with the back doors. 25. Sticking around with it. <laughs> sticking around, sticking around with interest. Little check raise. Nice play there. He knows. He's played enough with Paul. He knows what's up here. Yeah, so $800,000 first prize. Down to 22. A couple more dropping out. So over a third of the field will cash. Left. Queen Jack see him limp wide. Think this is going to be his limp range. He likes 8 9 suited. Queen Jack slumps a ton of stuff. This is a pretty good hand in this game. Ace 9 suited. These are the ones that ace, like these type of suited aces, I just feel like don't have much value, but we oh do see God. some players playing. Jason seems to rock this Ace 9 suited. I guess, what are they, four handed? No, five? I'm a little surprised. The ace 9, we got, maybe there's like, it's a trick in this game because he's, he's ripped it a few times. I mean, yeah. Five, four, five. One in three chance of calling. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Ace in the picture. <laughs> That's some Kerry Cat shit. He always says that to me, and I just like run into Aces every time. Be a king in the picture. Oh. Hmm? King, king in the picture, picture yeah. too. Yeah. I, was, I would have been okay with that. That was the one I was like. Ace King of Spades, I wouldn't have been so happy about, but the Kings, I'd suck out. Pass. Oh, man. Cold. Cold. limps. Why well, came with nines? Cool. Finally gets to limp in with a hand. I guess that's the thought on that jam with the. Yeah, I'm just I'm just crunching some numbers over here, Jeff. Looking at stuff. Obviously, ace nine diamonds. Like if you run into a hand like kings, you're, you're looking at 45 hey, percent. Big <laughs> um, little break. If you run into you know ace king. Then you're forty percent. Well, set for White Ken, not flush draw for Phil with what a gut shot six. We're gonna see some fireworks here. Yeah, young. I mean, this nines hand is. It's hot. It's been hot. Most sets for sure we've seen with nines. And so the thing is, with the set, you lose to. Even a boat would lose to a flush, but it's such a powerful hand. 72 in the middle, his stack's also right. low. He's short. It's Phil gets just 
I'm gonna call here. I guess he has uh, some good options. All right, you call here as well. Perhaps let a weaker flush draw in. It's pretty crucial. Has the button. Doesn't want to give up his position. There it is. Not a card why Kim wanted to see, which is just one out. Oh. Yeah, is there any merit to check it? I think so, right? That your opponent board does pair, but it doesn't matter because yeah. flush wins still. I mean, so he loses the quads and quads only, and would he ever bet queens on the flop? No. The answer is no. And I mean, listen, if you're going to lose not flush to quads anyway. It's Jack 10 of clubs is the only combo you lose to, and it's just, it's just not what's happening here. Yeah. <laughs> Nice fall from Wyken. Not falling for the, the check back. Yeah, there was almost nothing to be done at that point. His Phil's just hoping he has somehow the jack of clubs. All right, kicking things up. 10k anti, 20 on the button. Good ball. Insta play is it? Eight thousand. Oh, it's gone up. Has something been driven up? Yeah. Over here. Totally understand. Yeah. That's why right. once I'm full of calls, I'm yeah, uh, no good real. Don't need to. He, by the call, I still behind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I will fall second up last draw though. Yeah. With a pair, maybe king queen. Yeah, yeah how about? Four. It's the hand you always do. I have service. Mm. Okay, don't pass you. Nine nine. Oh, nine nine. nine. <laughs> At 7-7, seven, seven. let's see a flop. <laughs> Get up. 233, yeah. 9-9. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, it's like one of the... 31 in this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know what to do. <laughs> How much was the show for? 21 NT. 21 NT small, already put in two. Yeah, 23 NT total. 23 NT. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, maybe quite close. Yeah. You're behind. I have the best hand against 9 9. Hi. Mm. Jack 10. <laughs> yeah, <I> Jack 10. <laughs> <laughs> hey, actually, is Jack 10 really the best hand against 9 9? With wild ride. Should really, yeah. because he's blocking your straight out there. Cucumber salad. Uh, yeah. It's true. Okay. He's blocking your straight out there. It's like, just like the jacks against. Uh, uh, yeah, the grilled salmon. 9 10. Yeah, same with the if you hit If you hit a set, you can always have outs. Most, most likely you have outs. Outs to, out to draw. But he's not about him hitting a set, he's about counterfeiting him uh, and blocking his straight. Me too. <laughs> What is high is, yeah, Salmon's pretty good. Yeah, but Tanja has the most straight still, no? It still has more straight than Ace King. A lot of mercury and Salmon. Even with 9 9 But you don't need a straight, you just need to counterfeit no. his ass. Cool. <laughs> cool. They're uh, small. You can hit, hit a pair, but he, if you hit a pair, you could have a straight. Though. Salmon's the best. Of course, huh? Yeah, it's got uh, the best fat ratio, for sure. Like that, like ocean trout, salmon, family. Those are the best. Chase and the nutritionist. I was first year at Burning Man. We, we shared an RV, me, him, Antonio, and he was, uh, he we brought like the food, had everything laid out, like just dialed in, news it, bulletproof coffees Thank with you. the G butter. He brought his own setup. Definitely knows his stuff. Would, uh, would say he doesn't mess around with his fitness. He certainly does not. He usually travels with his own food, but I don't know about to Russia. It's a long hike. I don't know if he took a kit. Food's great here, so. I don't, you know, I don't know if you knew that or not coming in, but it's twenty thousand. It's really good. I don't think I played it with you much this trip. No, no, we haven't. This is the first one.
Oh god, an absolute mountain over there. It's really running up a stack. That ace queen was a was an important one. All in. All in. King Queen. Gonna get past the weak ace. So is it not a spot you love to call off? Gotta look how much it is, but still, two eights, just a vulnerable hand, and Paul. I've never seen someone get get this many shoves through in short deck ever. <laughs> What's that? I'm on it. Though. Strong. Yeah, but I'm still so 300. I'm getting it through. Make a difference, you know? I'm not making any. Yeah, we're just waiting to pop call you one time, take everything. I'm just not losing it. <laughs> yeah, wild rice. Just steal the small ones. And then someone was having like a cute, like a salad, but it was cucumber. Uh, Jason going deep onto that menu. Poor poor leading the way here. Day one of this 50k short deck, 1.4 million chips. Two Americans splitting the three Malaysians on this feature table. Mike and Young, the shortest, the last man to enter the tournament, trying to get something going. Of course, we have the final table of this event tomorrow, and then, yet again, we kick things up a little bit. 100K No Limit Hold'em event like starts tomorrow. <laughs> Keep yeah, like days keep in. getting bigger and bigger until we find the 250k on the weekend where like well, hopefully we just like hope that maybe way. just just maybe mm. jeff might give it a little spin <laughs> yeah send out a few feelers he's got open shove 60 anties with we'll eight off six handed under the gun six mm -hmm. yeah that was crazy to me glad that, that we're aligned there phil seemed even you saw his kind of scratching his head right My shove against you was a wrong shove that he's playing wrong maybe he wrong had game. a wrong game but it was actually plus ev but yeah of course yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Bill's getting it on his team. Half the EV of calling. Yeah. Oh, Ray's coming out with this one, huh? Yeah. Surprised, I guess. Shorthanded makes a little more sense. Okay. Right, you're stuck in a little bit deeper. You've got to start mixing in some razors rather than <laughs> limbs. How about you always have a stack, though? <laughs> you always got a big stack. Guys always got a huge yeah, stack. It's it? so crazy. I was down to my last one. <laughs> Managed to make it back up. Your one back. bullet? One bullet, then one sub bullet. Me too, I was down to my last one. I think I sucked out. Congratulations. Ten, guys. <laughs> <laughs> ten, ten, ten. Oh yeah, sorry. He doesn't talk often, does he, Phil? But when he does. <laughs> I put nine, which is just, that's just, what am I doing? Playing the old 918 level? I call. Certainly a hand, but he's still not, he's not really on a stack a little low if he wants to be coming in or if he wants to be just shipping it, but still enough to. Oh. Yeah, a little concerning, Jason, obviously under the gun. Mm -hmm. You've seen these really good players play hands at this 9-10 that uh, intuition says aren't that great, but obviously straights are very easy to hit in this game. So you get in there with some connected cards and you can yeah, make some hands. Speaking of making hands, Yalaba. Mike in. Top two, Jason gonna have a stab at holding a nine. Yes, Phil on the button has all sorts of garbage, doesn't ever have ace queen, doesn't have ace king, doesn't have kings. Surpri Mike in has been jamming a lot of hands, probably thinks it's a little weaker. A little surprised by that stab there, but I guess that may, yeah, I Phil is basically it, out of, Phil out of the match. Have it. So he's really just betting and ben, thinking. Ben slowly, but surely. Yeah, and wykin has been jamming a lot, so maybe he thinks he's also got kind of a junky hand. If that yeah. was his thought process, I'm, I'm on board. Yeah. Yeah, true. You have king nine. Plus. Better. Plus. Yeah.
Down to 21. Eight will cash. By King, and limping in once again. This time, King Jack. All right, Phil's gonna go frisky with Jack seven of hearts. Maybe thinking the same thing. Why can been jamming a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, also just awkward stack size. Like he's gonna make it 100 and find out. He's got a hand. He's gonna right. fold pretty easily with the jam. And and why can it's literally has you know there's there's less probably limp value than limp overall strategy. So Phil Ivy showing a couple moves here though. Short deck. He is bossing it. He has all those chips and he has a suited ace in the one seat. Abby, how much you have, Abby? Five, so six, how seven, fresh eight. does he look, you Jeff? I mean, it's, they've been long days every day and he yeah. just. It looks like he's ready to go yeah. another 10 hours. Yep. Yeah. Ivy chipping up here. Eight to six off. Lovely spot to get in. Try and flip a set. One of his outs are gone. We saw Phil Muck 10 6 suited. It's like playing deuces or threes and hold them. Yeah, you don't really see set over sets either in this game. It's been. We haven't, but I mean, obviously it should happen more often. We did see one aces and kings. Yeah, actually. that was a brutal one. Two, uh, the two snakes in the grass up front, Jeff. They were yeah. limped in. Second. Both trying to trap, and then Ty continued to trap post flop. Little did he know that he was trapping himself. Paul Benning and his ace on the board. Might seem to do a little bit of both here, but just cleans it up, takes down the pot. Yeah, I like that too. He's just, you know, Jack Queen, give all the Broadway gut shots, <laughs> charge him a bit, and he doesn't have to go crazy. He gets called to raise. If he raises, he gets raised. He folds. If he gets called, oh, slow yeah. down. Set over set, pre flop all in though. Oh, shit. Oh, pre -flop. oh. Just set no set over sets, and there's oh, another. He's going behind now. <laughs> AKK. Oh, fuck. Nice. Who won? <laughs> wow, bloody big stack, Moza. Yeah, one point. Okay. Right? Yeah, okay, one point. One million. Mike in and Phil both limping in. Limp Mike was turned to limp in with the sixes <laughs> Who had the from aces? the cutoff. Said Davis. Ah, your buddy. Call. King King, lean call. My belly. Sounds like Seth won a big pot <laughs> out there. Say, was it? Say. <laughs> yeah. Aces to kings, maybe I haven't heard. Yeah, sound like set of a set. Flop set was it? Yeah. <laughs> Just like the hand we had earlier. Mm-hmm. Nine and seven. Not a lot going on here. So he's with the gut shot. Yeah. No one else has even a uh, really a sniff here. Queen of diamonds, only diamond even in town. But all right, like him with a king. Phil and Paul both with gut shot draws. Jack somehow the best hand four way. And this may just get to showdown. Check. Check. Well, the most likely could, to have that seven. Right? Yeah, he could definitely take a shot here, but he nice. Why well, can't may look it up though? Hard to imagine Wyken having a better hand than this. Limped under the gun. Would have bet an ace by now. Has to be a little concerned about players behind, but the same. Remember, he, he would expect them to have bet their ace by now, so. Alright, let's it go. Ah, uh, yeah, don't think so long, Wyken. <laughs> bet too little, you should bet 60, you should, should go through. I'll be scummed, man. <laughs> yeah, so I, I would like to see a little more than that, but <laughs> in the cost, maybe, yeah. maybe it looks even so strong, right? Yeah, yeah, like 
<laughs> I had a decent hand to block the flop, but then I have a king. Cannot take. Hey, you have a king. Yeah, king. I Why damn hero? <laughs> this guy, <laughs> the senses. Feel <laughs> <laughs> it, this guy. Abusing his range. Advantage. Oh yeah, I forget. He is, must snap. get bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Phil and Jason limping in, as does Michael. Everyone. Given the option to wake in, who looks down at the absolute garbage. 6 7, checks back. But the other three, all holding broad bay combos. <laughs> Queen 6 7. Well, I said garbage. Mike Ken takes the lead. Bottom two. Phil with top pair and a king. Looks like he is going to bet this one. Check. No, he does decide to check. Check. Mike Ken with a clear bet on the button. Holding those two pair. What you play? Uh, three hundred behind. We're ramping it up. Level well, bit of a misstep here as it happens. Why came with bottom two, but. I don't see why I can do anything but calling. I mean oh, say Sage is calling. He's only got 300k back, actually. Yeah, the, the sick part is... This is uh, it just goes in, doesn't it? Yeah. Thought House Aces, Kings, more. Ace, Queen. 300 more. Oh, yeah. No, over his bed. Here. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, because also this is a function of, of Ivy's spot. So he's only really repping... You block sixes and sevens. <laughs> Like he's repping queens, would he raise queens like this? So it's kind of like you said, it looks like aces, kings, right. ace, queen, you know, queen, king, so. Wow, all around it. He holds. Just like that. <laughs> and you win, win the bounty for winning a hand with 7 6 all. <laughs> Look at this. Late reg, come in, almost triple starting, in for the min. Get to enjoy your day. Yeah, last and, man uh, in the just field. how he drew it up. Maybe last one in, last one out. Yes. Yeah. That's how, that's, that's trick it did it. It's good style to have. Yeah, because Ivy never has queen six, never has queen seven, limping under the gun. It's literally loose to like queens only. Boy, I mean, Ben from 20 antis. There's John Sin back in the game. Paul screwed us all when folding the nines when he should have called you. <laughs> maybe I, I thought maybe I double up too. <laughs> Doesn't matter what else you do in your life in poker, Jeff. You'll always just be remembered as the main event champion. That's the thing. Yeah. You'll always be that guy. It's good, good one to have. It certainly is. Jason getting a little bit low here. Gonna limp in the Queen Jack. Yes. Not been going as way pool. Queen 10. Now Wyken for the Mountain of Chips. Expect he'll complete. Ivy. Sees the limp from Kuhn. He's going to check back. Pretty hand to have on the button. Look at his equity. He's actually it said 30. I don't know if that's right, but that's yeah, what we're showing. Right. They just like took the equities away. Go to the flop. And, uh, Not bad equity now either. Big we'll see flop. Best draw. Even if someone had a flush draw, the straight draws come in more. So he's got the actual... He's got a pretty special board here for him. And again, he has 7-8, he has a 7 he has 8 8 that these other guys don't really have. Bad. 
I like it. Put a lot of pressure on ASEX and it's going to win. Yeah, I think you can kind of discount ASEX when it checks around for the most part. Ace 9 maybe. Phil's actually, his button, his dealer forced in. He's won a bunch of pots with that. He's, I mean, he made the nuts with the Ace 8. Won another one here, he goes with the 9 10 suit. He's had some pretty good boards. What is the deal with this? Total price money is 2.5 million. Ma. Oh, I think first place. Jason, same hand, same action. should be 750k. Here we go, Phil with a real hand. Probably just jam this, I guess, at this right. level. How many? Jamming five to win one. Time? Yeah. All in. All in. Oh. You're lucky. Maybe you're supposed to shove there. Like in with the spin up. Phil with uh, another hand he's going to raise. Make it a hundred. What do you got? What's it going to do? A little more. More and more. Bigger raise. Makes sense. I guess the bigger. Got to put what's not hold them. If he had called, that might be one Jason just loves to ship in there. Yeah, I was thinking that. Jason on the button. We've seen him jam a couple of times. I saw Phil sort of scout around the table when he was thinking about sizing there. That might be a trap. Short decks experts here. Paul definitely plays the highest stakes cash games in the world, I would imagine, or some of them. And Young here as well. You saw him get win the short deck 100K Triton main events. F definitely knows the game extremely well. And Phil Ivey also plays a ton of short deck from what we understand. And you know Jason Kuhn also. I mean, this is this is not not a lot to give here. Right. John Sin, I think he mentioned he's, he likes it now. He doesn't play, I think, a ton of it, but very aware of how the game works. Mike Ken raising things up. Getting deep here. 17 left all of a sudden. <sighs> John going to peel with that powerhouse. Not a good flop for Sin, just a gut shot. Why well, can top pair? And a, a relatively broken board uh, for this game. Certainly one he's going to want to see bet. Yeah, it's a bit of an injustice of a flop with how nice of a hand this is in this game. At least.
What a story be if Wykin really does run this up. <clears throat> Just sitting like a vulture, waiting for the last minute to register. Starts picking these guys off. Yeah. Here he is, Ace King. Now, is he gonna limp? Is he gonna raise? He's been limping a lot lately. Nice, continues to do so. Yeah, John and uh, Jace are getting a little shorter behind. They may jam some hands. Here we go. Jason takes the bait, and this is not the hand he wants to see. Paul also oh, with the pretty yeah, good this hand. Is, this feels like a spot Paul's going to go with, right? Mm, I 15. don't think with Yang limping, King Queen and Jason Shaw, I don't think he is actually. But I've been wrong. I don't no, think. you're right. What I think he's that Yang. Hey, I tripped me. Hey, yeah. That was strong. That was strong. Pretty strong. A bit though. Pretty well, strong indeed. Nine, strong enough. <laughs> Let's see. Can Jason get something going? Been running pretty badly here in Sochi. Ooh. Well, so far so good. Spikes a jack. Dude, why did he say it? I'm the worst at sucking out this week. Oh, That's not a good skill to be bad at. Wow. Good luck. I almost called King Queen. Have fun. Yeah. You pull King Queen? Yeah, you pull. This is how you find a table six, away. Six four, uh, King Queen, not King Queen. King Queen, King Queen. Lola, it's Queen, it's Queen. I can see your color already. <laughs> Taps the table and gonna... King Queen still, still good, for good news is there's still more events and bigger buy-ins coming up. Yeah, he's moving into the 100k stages. Yeah. He's done with the 25s, he's done with the 50s. Yeah, I mean, Jason's been around the block. He knows it happens like this sometimes. It's only a few days. He got 900,000. That's why they do this, though. They start with the lower and work up, right? If you start with the big ones and work right. down, it's like not a lot to look forward to. White can up to 1.2 million. Here we go. One of the big stacks. I think him, were him and Paul heads up at the Triton, the 100k. Yeah. So yeah, it was. It was a. It was kind of a surreal rail, wasn't it? With yeah. Uh, obviously, everyone at Triton was rooting. Pool to win, but at the same time, <laughs> Wyken, son of Richard. Yeah. No one quite knew who to root for, I think. Well, Paul's had the snide. He just seems to always get seconds and thirds. But he's in position here again, deep. A huge stack. Eight pay in this one. Sorry, eight pay in this 50k. I've been Fine event, for one year 16 so remains. So half the players left <laughs> will get paid. <laughs> Wyken and Paul English. certainly look likely with those stacks, but it is short deck. And it is a tournament. It is no limit. Yeah. Paul. What do you think of the King Jack off jam there? I guess just figuring that with his stack, I Young mean, is, Young's limping a lot at yeah, this he had stage with that stack. Full anti, 30 yeah. anti's left, 15 buttons. Um, why can it be limping quite a lot? Yeah. Uh, it seems fine to me. Pretty tor pretty dirty run out as well. Give him the dominating into a great spot. And then yeah, just the Jack 7 8 rainbow looks like one you might just hold on. Something for everyone on this board. Maybe out in front with top pair. A six. Betting 40, half pot. Not one he wants to get too wide about. Wow, the pool just had to go with a pair and a gut shot. Kind of surprised. Maybe because there's a break coming up. That was it. He's hungry. Yeah. Hungry or a, or a toilet break or something. But Jeff, as we reach this break, sadly, that is where we leave the coverage for tonight. As we as we do, Paul Pua and Wai Ken Yong leading the way on this feature table. These guys will continue to play down to, I imagine, the final seven. Uh, it's a seven-handed tournament, so I think they'll get to the final seven. And we will pick up the action tomorrow morning with them at 2 p.m. Sochi time. So please do join myself, James Dempsey, and my man, Jeff Gross, if you want to see how this one pans out here. And of course, when that finishes, we'll bring you coverage of the 100K No Limit Hold'em event here at the Millions Super High Roller Series. Good night for now.